Oh, welcome guys. I'm like, am I live? <laughs> I can never, I can never really tell. Hey guys, what's up? Um, I saw a guy, uh, Dr. B, do you have like a Twitter or something? Two months, still don't know how to get to the Discord. I'm pretty sure, it's been forever since I tested it out, but um, I'm pretty sure if you go to like your Discord settings, if your YouTube account's like connected to your Discord, it should like be there, I believe. Um, if not, just uh, message me on like Twitter or something and I can help you out and uh, try to get you hooked up on the Discord. Thank you for being a member though, sorry uh, about that. Hey guys, welcome. Can you guys hear me okay? Hopefully everything's okay. Yeah, unfortunately we're probably gonna go back on members mode in a bit, but I just wanna let you guys talk for a little bit. <laughs> I don't know, I was like maybe after, you know, all this shit goes down, we can have it off, uh, you know, for a bit. And we'll go back to normal for chapter four. It's just this chapter is very, uh, very spoiler heavy. And let me, how did I do this again? Uh, da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just see the chat moving so fast. <laughs> Clover, save us, Weeby. <laughs> there's no, uh, there's no spoilers right now, at least. It seems like, okay, I'm sorry, guys, but we're gonna have to, uh, yeah, go back to members mode, just so there's no spoilers. Yeah, there's been a lot of spoilers in chat, A, who's asking. Well, uh, beforehand, not so much the stream, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, it might be able to be okay for chapter four. I was like, I just really, I missed having like the normal chat, honestly. Like, it makes me so sad. I was like, I wanna have normal chat back on for chapter four. Like, it makes me so sad. I feel so lonely. <laughs> I feel so lonely because sometimes the chat doesn't move like very much on members mode. I'm like, dang, is anybody even watching me? <laughs> Am I just talking into the void? Hey, Epta. Hey guys, Nikkei News here. Here's the scoop. Yesterday I killed God and immediately got arrested. Oh, cool. <laughs> Good for you, Nikkei News. Good for you. <laughs> happy, happy for you, King. And thank you, Bless Bane, for uh, becoming a part of the Kinjo Cult. And then, thanks, Wolf Allen. Hey, we'd be watching this while playing Minecraft. Oh, awesome. Are you on the server? The server is so fun. I hope you're enjoying it if you are on the server. Okay. Um, welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I really do like having the regular ones on. Uh, the regular uh, chats on too, but uh, yeah, it's just probably best. Probably best. We'll just have to step it up by uh, talking more. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, um, let's see. So I wanted to give a shout out to some stuff on the Discord, or not the Discord, uh, the Reddit. <laughs> the other place. Okay, so this was just smart. two smartest girls and one stupid one. So is it Roha or Inori? <laughs> You know, I, this look, her hair really does look like kitten ears sometimes. So you guys can see this all pretty well, right? But, uh, Kokoro, I thought this art was so pretty. It's so unique. Two smartest girls. And, of course, Kanade, the best girl who did nothing wrong. This is by Andy7278. And then, uh, this is a comic that, uh, I saw this one was posted by That Bizarre Artist. And, uh, it was, uh, my trauma from the first, the first stream. Oh, gosh. Don't think about moving a muscle, Mikado. We're here to you. Oh my god. Oh my god, Ray. Slay Queen. Slay Ray. Slay Queen. Slay Queen. Mikado, you want me to slay Ray? Uh, okay. Mikado, wait. Ray, burn to a crisp. Rip. <laughs> Rip. I do not know how Discord works yet. I thought, didn't I think I saw you on the Discord. Or I thought I saw like a welcome message for you on the Discord, but uh, we hope you found the stickers order. I remember you said you were looking for them. I don't, I'm not sure if they got sent to my parents' house. I was literally just looking for them a second ago. I was like, uh, I don't know if, I'm gonna visit my parents this week anyway, so I'm gonna look there too, but I was asking my boyfriend, I was like, have you seen any stickers I ordered? I was like, I think they came when I was still in Mexico, so I uh, unfortunately wasn't able to like see them directly, but I was like, man, I wanna use those, cause I got the, uh, well, I got a Kinjo cold sticker, and then I got um, like, sorry I was born stupid. <laughs> I'm going to put it on my forehead whenever I uh, spell refrigerator wrong, just for like the memes. And uh, thank you, Makochi, for uh, joining uh, for joining the Kinjo Cult. And thank you, Zelda Lesbian Elf, for the donation. I appreciate it. And uh, oh, yeah, Lemon Brownie made a new wedding. This is uh, actually Minjo. It's a little hard to tell since it's not colored in, but Minjo is the uh, Kinjo Mitch hybrid that lives in the back rooms. Our wedding's also in the back rooms. Slay, sir. We love that. <laughs> we love it. So happy, so great. Good times, good times. And also I wanted to give a shout out, and this one is of course by uh, Lemon Brownie. They make a lot of really uh, really good art. Oh hey, there's actually more to this. I like, just only saw this one first. Jordan Casey, welcome to the Kinjo Cult. Thank you, appreciate that. 
Then, guys, help. Oh my god, my wives. <laughs> no, Reko, Reko loves me, okay? I might have had negative one fondness with her last stream, but she's still in love with me, guys. I promise. I promise you. She's just a little tsundere, okay? Just a little tsundere. That's, that's it. Bing. Oh my god. It's so... We fought. Oh god, Moid. No, <laughs> damn it. Is that Mitch? We finally meet. We be news. Oh my god, this is so much more epic than I thought it was. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice there was more to it than the first one. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh gosh. And then I want to give a shout out to uh, Monica11037, which I actually see you in chat right now too. Because uh, I just thought this comic was super funny. I didn't see it until after the last stream. And so much detail was put into it, and it just killed me how, like, uh, they spell refrigerator. If only they would have given me J as an option, I would have totally, would have totally spelt it that way too. But this comic cracked me up as well. So uh, thanks, appreciate it. I appreciate all the, uh, all the memes and stuff on the, uh, on the subreddit. It's super fun. I can't believe we've hit a thousand members too. It's crazy. It happened so quick. And let me go ahead and start trying to get the stuff all ready. I think um, I think it should be pretty close to being ready. But yeah, let's go ahead and start. Also, I might need y'all's help a little bit. I was trying to, like, remember some of the complicated stuff from the trial. That's, like, the only bad thing about, like, well, besides having to wait to do it, the only other bad thing, in my opinion, about having to, like, wait to do this trial was that... <laughs> so confusing, dude. I feel like I kind of got it when I was, like, playing it. Like, yeah, sure, Kanade, Queen, Slay, I think you slayed. Um... <laughs> I don't know, just like the timeline. Thank God I took pictures of like the swimming pool timeline and then like the haunted house timeline, but like I'm still kind of unsure about um, a lot of stuff. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, let me go ahead and get this down. Nice. Looks like it's all up. And get that down too. Sweet. Oh, uh, Mitsume, me and Sora are getting married. But wait, she's got to marry Yuruko. And if, I guess if I marry Yuruko, you can have Sora. It's <laughs> nice. <laughs> perfect, perfect compromise. But, um, it's okay, Weeby. I've gone over the trial a couple times and I'm still confused. Yeah, I still don't really know what's going on for sure. Oh, thank you, Makuro Kiba, for uh, joining the Kenjo cult. Let's see, hopefully the music's not too loud. You'll turn it down a little bit since we don't have voice acting this time around. Do do do. Won't lie, I had to replay the chapter to fully understand it. Yeah, cause like right now they're saying that like Kanade couldn't have done it, and she's like gaslighting us. Oh my God, she's there too. Perfect. <laughs> Last time I loaded this uh, earlier, it was Hibiki too. <laughs> they know. They know what chapter I'm playing. But yeah, I was like, I want to look at the bullets just a little bit again. It was like, Drew's account checks the inventory. Okay, we already used that one. The contusion of the octopus. <laughs> we got that. I don't think we talked about the missing abdomen yet, though, right? Fuse box. Oh, God. There's so much stuff. <laughs> so many things. Oh, I really need those stickers, dude, because I really am bored stupid. <laughs> I really am bored stupid. Oh, my God. There were so many good posts in the subreddit, too. Like, uh, there was, like, the Mitch... The the Mitch refrigerator, that was really good too, man. It's so hard choosing ones to like highlight each stream because there's so many good ones. Oh god, the fucking school, the fucking gate records. Oh, it's too much. Oh yeah, the flint, the, the flint, the, the pins by the flower beds. Okay, folding screen door, I think I already did that. We'll just, we'll look at it later and we'll figure this out for sure. Totally. Okay, I think uh, I can just exit this, right? Okay, let me double check that I got everything. I think I already did it last stream. Should be good. Zero gravity, logic craft. God, I hate that, <laughs> hate that mini game. Okay, TTS. Man, I can't believe I had all my TTS stuff and I was still uh, getting slayed. Okay, yeah, sketch was the main thing that I wanted. The main thing that I wanted. Okay, penalty for retrying. I probably need that, but oh well. Okay, cool, it seems like we're good then. Okay, guys, let's start it. Oh, I'm so excited, but I'm so nervous. Let's, let's do it. Gotta prove Aroha's innocence. I do still really think um, they use 
the Satsuki parade to travel the body. I think that's gonna be pretty big. I'm like, I wonder if, uh, did I say Flintstones on accident? The Mitchurator, yeah, that's what I saw on the, the subreddit. So it's like the top comment was like, not the, not the Mitchurator. It's like, oh my God. But, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I saw your uh, show by ship post too, like the heart opening up. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's the one you're talking about. Uh, thank you, uh, Zesticity, for uh, becoming a member, too. I appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, yeah, what was I saying? I think, yeah, the body is probably in one of the Satsuki plushes. Which, like, okay, Kanade, I... <laughs> well, I don't know if Kanade did it, but I think she... Mm, it's definitely one of the twins, and Kanade was definitely ringleading. I think, like, uh, ringleading it, probably? Um, but I don't know who did the actual kill itself. Like, who would get executed? That's what it seems like. Cause like, I think right now they're saying Kanadi couldn't have done it cause she was like at the parade or something and like the means of transporting them. I was like, I was literally watching the stream like right at that point, like <laughs> like with like 159, like wait, what was it again? What, what was it again? So it was like, uh, I think it was something with like traveling with the body that didn't add up. And also she was at the parade. I remember that or at the parade with us. So I remember that part. So I was like, if she could have gotten it to travel through the Satsuki plushes, then like, wouldn't that like still take off her suspicion? I don't know, because I was like, I still think she did it. Because like, I mean, honestly, she's definitely the most up fucked up character. Besides like Mikado here, I think that would do this. But yeah, it's like, I don't know who did like the actual slaying part, if that makes sense. But that's kind of like my, uh, can you even imagine a row up? I know, it's like literally, she's blaming the like dumbest character in the group. It's like, do you really, really expect me to think that a row up land the Sonori? Maybe a Roha? Nah, not so much. Oh, thank you so much, Clover. Gifted five memberships. Oh, that's so awesome. Yay, appreciate that. I'm sure everybody else who got the uh, memberships appreciates it too. That's so awesome. The one person who matches the criteria that Kanade mentioned is you, Aroha. Everybody's so dumb, they're gonna be like, oh my god, Slay Queen, Kanade got it again. What a queen, yes. Gaslight us all, sweetie. Oh yeah, I saw somebody else got a Mitch, <laughs> a Mitch Nut plush on the subreddit too. I was like, they're spreading. No, 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 wait. Why am I the culprit? Why this all of a sudden? Um. Then let me explain step by step. Are we really, are we really gonna expect that it was, <laughs> it was freaking Aroha who did this? I think you make a comment. Good luck with the trial. Time to look at more timetables for three hours. Yay. Yay. And not process them whatsoever. Sorry, could you show me the pool gate records once more? Okay, firstly, like Shobai said, Setsuka died in the pool in the morning specifically. Roha called Setsuka to the pool in the- God, she's such a fucking genius, sorry. You just don't understand. Her brain is so massive. That's how she did this. So Setsuka enters at 8.44 and Roha enters at 8.45. <laughs> Wait, I never entered the pool, like, ever! Shut up, you murderer. Oh my god. Oh god, by the end of it- by the end of this conversation that Kanade is having, Aroha's gonna be like, oh my god, I can't believe I did it. That's so crazy. I don't even remember doing it. That's so wild. Oh, thank you, Zesticity. Hi, Weeby. This is my first time ever coming to a stream because I'm Australian, but I love watching your videos. Hope you enjoy the rest of the game. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, I wonder uh, what time it is in Australia, actually, now that I think about it. Probably, probably the opposite time here, but thanks for stopping by. I'm sure it's late for you, so I appreciate that very much. Shut up, you murderer. You used my sister to murder Setsuka, then blamed the whole murder on me. Girl, you're the only one who knew about Hibiki's, like, forgetfulness, her Fergore syndrome. Now you're going to pay. But I, I, I never. So then what? McKay's buying this up, man. Then she killed Setsuka on the spot and left the pool at 922 to set up the signpost. And then she goes off to gather the tools needed to cut the body. So, everybody eating this up, dude, I can't. Oh, thank you, Brick, for becoming a part of the Kenjo cult. So that wasn't Hibiki entering, but Aroha leaving. Yeah, Setsuka's handbook. Kanadi is so smart, though, because I feel like she's coming, she's pulling like this whole story out of her ass right now, but it's actually, con it's almost slightly convincing me. I'm like, whoa, oh my God, Aroha did slay. Then Setsuka's ID, DJ, would show out an out, would show an out output. 
Then she returns to the pool at 9.54. This time, she has to use her own handbook. So nobody was in the pool since 9.54. She's going to the same log- she's going- oh, she's going with the same logic as Shobai, but I see that this approach also makes sense. These stupid logs are just too confusing, man. She finishes preparing the body for 12.54, and after eliminating any traces left, she leaves the pool using Setsuka's handbook. By doing this, Aroha will leave the pool, but an in output will be saved according to the records. Wait, let me get this straight. Shobai's theory was that the corpse was cut up between 12.53 and 17.54, right? Okay, so between these times was his theory. And then it was like, oh god, it was so confusing. It was like, Kanade came in, Hibiki went out, but then it registers as in, and then Ses says in here somewhere, and I don't know who else, Sora probably. Oh god, did you like the Kanibi post on the Reddit? Oh god, it was so cursed. It was so cursed. And I feel like it made her hands look even smaller. She already has like tiny hands, but then like my face was so big. Oh god, it was just so freaking cursed. But thank you, I, I loved it. I appreciate it very much. It's gonna haunt my nightmares for the rest of my life. So as you can see, I loved it. And thank you for the donation, by the way. Wait, let me get this straight. Shobai's theory was that the corpse was cut between 12 and 17. And you're suggesting that it was instead done between 9.54 and 12.54. So 9, 10, 10, 11, 11 to 12. So it's like three hours. What, what, or 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, 17. So that's five hours. So three hours versus like five hours-ish. Yeah. So that's pretty, pretty big difference. Well, I guess it's more closer to like four hours since it's almost 13. Yeah, three hours should be just enough time to do the job. I know extensively well. I can vouch for it for sure. And by this way, we solved the mystery of why it took three hours just to bring the dis dismemberment tools. You're right. You're right. Shobai's theory was acceptable, but not being able to explain three hours is a bit weird. Then the dismemberment process was already done by 1254. But doesn't that leave too much time until we find the corpse? Listen carefully, I'll explain everything. 12.54, Aroha kept all the corpse pieces into one place before leaving the pool. Later, at 17.24, she uses her handbook to in herself to bring the corpse pieces out. <laughs> Born stupid. And one minute later, at 17.25, she uses Setsuka's handbook to leave the pool. We can now perfectly explain the gate records of the pool by this logic. Oh my god. Oh, I better take a picture of this one since this is totally what happened. God, Aroha, I can't believe you would do this. Inori, after the last game, after I trusted you so much and loved you for so long. How could you do this? <laughs> my name's not Inori, Weeby! I see, so it's possible to rig the records, even without an accomplice. <laughs> oh god, we really are all born stupid. I still think Yuriko did it somehow. Of course you do. Of course you do, Nikkei. And I will refute you every single time. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. I guess it would have been for the culprit to create no out records to avoid any suspicion from the pool. But both mine and Shobai's theory has limitations in that regard. I guess there was a reason for the culprit to do so. Really? Did Aroha actually... Wait, I'm really not the culprit. I never heard of any of this. Shut up! I'm not done with my theory, bitch! And now- Oh my god, I love the, the drastic change! I'm not done with my theory! And now, anyways, I'm back to my uwu self. Now the next part, Aroha, who has successfully finished her job at the pool, moves the corpse. Pieces to Block C monorail station. Later, she herself runs to Block A. But isn't that the same as Shobai's theory? Oh wait, just a bit on that. Now's the important part. After Aroha arrives as Block- at block A, she needs to enter the ghost house at 1755. Here, it doesn't really matter that much whether she uses her handbook or Setska, but it was probably better to use her own. I'll explain this a bit later. As I said before, she goes inside to cut the wires of the ghost house fuse. Oh yeah, that's what it was. It was like something with the ghost house fuse box that I think also relieved Kanade of suspicion, but like, I don't know. I still can't. I still can't totally. <laughs> I still don't trust this bitch. I'm just gonna say. Anybody who has those psycho sprites, I do not trust. Especially during chapter three. I'm just gonna say. I'm just gonna say. 
Inori never lives past the third chapter. Sad face. That is so true. It's just a theory. I cannot a theory, but obviously it's fucking right because I said it. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff, for the dono. Wait, wait. What the hell are you on about now? That's exactly what you said was impossible when I brought it up. Setsuka's hand is at the monorail station of Block C. How are you going to turn her handbook on? Uh, I was going to ask that too, but I guess he was faster. I, I totally thought about that too, guys. I also have a brain, probably. <laughs> I feel like she makes this face whenever she's like even more pissed off. Like those other creepy sprites, she's kind of chilling actually. But this one is when she's really like, shut the fuck up, Shobai. <laughs> the theory you're trying to propose just substituted the culprit from you, from you to Bubblehead. With everyone else, you're basically saying the same stuff. Honestly, can you even hear yourself? You just have to carry the hands, right? But Konati, didn't you yourself say that that was impossible? It would be impossible for Sis, but definitely impossible for Aroha, because she's just so freaking evil. <laughs> By the chat with a smiley face. It really doesn't look exactly like that emoji, though. Aroha actually has a pretty handy tool to hide the hands. <laughs> Get it, guys? And what's that? Her hat. Uh, oh god. What? <laughs> oh my god. That's so fucked up. Both sis and I have no ideal space to carry the hands without being seen. The pockets are too small to shove the hands in. If we try to hide it within our clothes, it would stick out and seem unnatural. You need both to not be seen and also be able to pull it out whenever needed. This is a case where every minute and second matters. The hand must have been readily available whenever the situation called for it. Oh, thank you so much, Kev. I appreciate it. Oh, whoa. Oh. Thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. Sometimes my, uh, sometimes, I don't know, my YouTube studio just, like, glitches out. I'm like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> is there an outage? It seems like it's okay. The hand must have been readily available whenever the situation called for it. And you're suggesting that the hiding place was Aroha's hat. I wonder if Monocro gives them like a bunch of copies of like the same outfit that they wear. We never really talk about the fact that they just wear the same outfit over and over again. Is it like they have just one outfit that they have to like wash every day? Because if that's the case, then there are probably like some leftover blood or something within her hat, right? Unless, I guess like, well, I guess like, what should we call it? Didn't they say they like sewed up the limbs or something so they like, wouldn't bleed that much or something like that too? So I guess Kanade could gaslight her way out of that too i don't know i don't know and you're suggesting the hiding place was a rojas hat if you put the severed hands on your head and put the hat on top you would hold it in place and it wouldn't seem unnatural not only that but you could also pull it out whenever you wanted to turn the handbook on so it matches every condition i've just mentioned and technically speaking a rojas hand isn't a tool but an attire, oh hat, hat isn't a tool, but an attire she always wears. So she wouldn't cause any suspicion as well. Yeah, it'd be pretty weird if Kanani showed up with like a top hat. <laughs> this is my new look, guys. I'm slaying, okay? Literally. So basically she put the hands on top of her head. Ugh. Why would I do such a horrible thing? And the one who entered the ghost house was Hibiki, not me. I saw it with my own eyes. Ah, uh, she is the perfect person to blame since you could say like, oh, well, her alibi is just bs that's exactly why i'm su suspecting you aroha if you perhaps lied about seeing my sister you have no alibi but i'm not the only one hibiki tell the truth i don't even know where i am right now aroha i don't know i can't remember shobai is there anything left bothering you oh god shobai you're the only one who can save us king i'll take that as a no and then let's continue Aroha causes a blackout at the ghost house, then moves to block a monorail station. When the monorail resumes its operation at 18, she rides it back to block C to move the corpse. Okay. At 1800, she rides it back. What's the time is that? Like, six or something, I think? That part is the same as Shobai's theory. Wait, okay, so it's like, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, it's six, okay. That part is the same as Shobai's theory. This is the important part. Aroha must have hid the body parts near the ghost house. The place that I suspect is the small park in front of the ghost house. Oh, like where the pins were? I think she might be talking about like the flower bed, not like an actual park though, right? 
There wasn't like an actual, there wasn't like an actual park there, right? Oh, thank you, Downbeat Di Dialga. Can't wait till the third chapter English dub drops because the dialogue during this trial is cracked. I know, I cannot wait to see how Kanade's voice actress does this. Oh, I'm gonna be super stoked because did, she did such a good job in the last uh, trial series. This is gonna be really like a great time for their talents to like shine. Ah, oh, so cool. I can't wait though. I think uh, I definitely will probably play it at least like in my free time just to like hear the voices and stuff. Or I guess they might upload the trial too on YouTube. I can listen to it there. Perhaps in one of the bushes there. Wait, but then we're stuck at the same place as before. You guys searched block A, so if somebody had hidden that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's why I'm suspecting Aroha. Because, yeah, Aroha was looking in that section, I believe. It was Aroha who investigated the park area. Ah! Uh, Shobai said it just now, didn't he? That all the culprit has to do is hide the corpse in the place they were supposed to investigate. While I was unable to do so because I investigated the place furthest away from the ghost house. The park that Aroha investigated was right across the ghost house. Is there really a park there? Like, just, just... Oh, you know, I think there is, like, a park now that I think about it. Like, with the clock and stuff. It kind of looked like, I think, a little bit like, you know, like a mini version of the park in the first island, maybe. We need more Bubblehead. Bubblehead Aroha merch. Oh my god, that'd be so cute if there was, like, a Bobblehead Aroha merch. That'd be so, so freaking adorable. The park that Aroha investigated was right across from the ghost house. In terms of distance, she'd have no problems. She just pretended to investigate, and she lied about there being nothing, just like Shobai said. Liar, liar, pants on fire! Aroha, you're not doing a good defense here. Exactly what part is not making sense to you? But, but, it was you who told me to investigate the park area, you bitch! How was I supposed to know beforehand that you would assign me to that place? I see. That was my bad. I must have just been manipulated by the mastermind of Roha into doing that, you know? I'm a very vulnerable person, Sora. I can't I can't do anything on my own. Little old me. Little old me. But I had no idea you were the filthy culprit back then. However, even if I told you to investigate some other place, wouldn't you have volunteered to investigate the park? What? Anyways, Sora investigated near the ghost house, so the only option left for you was probably the park. So that's why you chose that place. It was pretty it was a pretty smart act considering it was coming from Aroha. You deserve some praise. No, I, I, I said I'm not the culprit! B believe me guys, please! After that, well, you knew all the drill, right? She hid the corpse and came back to us, much like a TTS with uh, with freaking Aroha. <laughs> so you had to do with all the characters except for Kanadi, because there's just no way I could have done it, right, Sora? She starts like flirting with Sora to try to get on her good side. That's when Yuruko is finally like, hey, I think I think there's something sussy going on here. And pretended to join in our investigation and carries the corpse from the park to the ghost house once Sora leaves this place. It was around 1942, since the last time she used the ghost house gate, she used Setsuka's handbook. She used her own handbook to enter the ghost house. Oh god, are we gonna go back to the logs? The way she's, she'd be able to create an ID from around 1750 without an out record. Also, from here on out, speed is key. As such, since it'll be difficult to use Setsuka's handbook, so she would have used her own handbook for convenience. This is why I told you before that Aroha would have used her own handbook first. Ah! Poor Roa, dude. She's so dumb she can't even remotely <laughs> defend herself. After entering, Aroha prepares the final step to her plan. She puts the body parts on the altar, uses the blood packs to create a bloody mess, then hides behind the sliding screen near the entrance. After the body announcement, she pretends like she just entered the place, and voila! From corpse moving to false alibi to false evidence, she did it all by herself. Um. Um. Roha. No, no, I told you I'm not the culprit. Yeah, if seeing Kabiki entering the ghost house was a lie. The hairpin. How do you explain the hairpin from the ghost house? You obviously just stole them beforehand. Sister was clearly not herself after the motive reveal yesterday night. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Kanadi should teach yoga with all these stretches for real. For real. It really does seem like everybody in the trial is just like, oh my god, I can't believe this trial solved again by Kanadi. She did such a good, such a good job the first time. Oh, thank you, Brian. 
Hey, Weeby, can't stay for long since I have to move out of my apartment, but I hope you are doing fine and that you enjoy the rest of the trial. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate uh, the donation. Yeah, I was like, surely somebody like uh, Zora is going to be like, is she really is she really smart enough to pull off like the most complicated death scheme or like a murder scheme in this entire franchise? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, thank you, uh, Sailor Ray, for the donation. Appreciate that. Even a toddler would have been able to take it from her. And you're, like, basically a toddler. I mean, look how short you are. You're even shorter than me. That's saying something. When did I ever have the chance to steal that? You were the only one who told us that Hibiki refused to come out of her room until this morning. That was still this morning. I have no idea of where she was and what she did afterwards. I only met her again after we found the corpse. So she's... Okay, so now she's saying that Hibiki is not involved whatsoever at all. So, like, I still think Kanate did this somehow. I'm still going with the Satsuki plush parade idea that I had. Because I think that clears her, like, alibis or whatever they were. I don't know if it really does. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if it really does because there was something with the fuse box, I think, also that they said. Clear as Kanate of suspicion, but whatever. She's super sussy and she's being, like, super... I don't know, she's coming in so strong during this whole trial. But like, oh god, I lost my total train of thought, dude. Head empty, head empty, totally. Oh, thank you, witty things. Fan theory, Kanade, you do realize Aroha is the dumbest character of the entire series. The chapter three curse happened again. Hashtag save Aroha. <laughs> Aroha's actually taller than Kanade, really? Oh my god, seriously? That's crazy. Um. I was like, I kind of wonder if she's just blaming Aroha because, like, she is the dumbest, so she knows that she can't, like, defend herself, you know what I mean? But I'm still interested to know if, like, she somehow got Hibiki to do the actual killing, you know what I mean? So then Hibiki would get executed and not her. I kind of, if the, if my theory on all of this is right, I want that to be the case. I don't know. I, it's so hard because I love Hibiki, too. I love Hibiki. She's so sweet. I feel like... I could see it going two different ways. Like, either Hibiki was the one who did, like, the final blow, and so we execute Hibiki, and then Kanade stays, and we're like, that's not good. Because <laughs> if she really did do this, she's super fucked up and not really somebody we want, we want to have around, you know what I mean? But um, if Kanade was the one who actually did, like, the final blow and stuff, then Hibiki could live and, like, have some development, you know what I mean? So there is that as well. Um, I could see it going either way, honestly. I'm not totally sure uh, how it'll happen. Kanade's arms must be hurt from all that reaching. No, guys, she's on to something. It was truly Aroha who did it the whole time. Damn her. And she really is a Nori in disguise. Mitch Nori. Oh, my God, another Mitch? More Mitch lore added on? I only met her again after we found the corpse. Oh, thank you, Justin. I just got a dog. Say hi to the dog. Hi, dog. I love dogs. Tell him, hey. Tell him he's a good boy or a good girl, depending on uh, what their gender is. <laughs> And tell them I said hey. And tell them I told them to serve, not slay. I think you, uh, Crystalline. Kanade really cannot slay. <laughs> yes, she did. She sure did. Well, that, I can't, um, um, I'm not trying to blame you or anything, but didn't you arrive late after the body announcement? The body was found in block A, yet you arrived even later than Yuruko and Nikkei who are in block C. Why is that? I wonder. But that's because I was the only one who didn't receive Setsuka's message. You told me later that you received a weird message, right? Oh, thank you, Aison, for becoming a part of the Kenjo cult. Yuriko is heading towards the ghost house anyways because of that message. That is true, but based on our observations so far, the message was sent by the culprit as well, right? What? Sure, all messages from Seska today was sent by the culprit. That is all the more reason that the culprit needed to carry Seska's hands at all times. As I said before, the only person capable of easily transporting Seska's hands is Aroha. So, God, I wish I would rewatch like all that stuff too, because I'm like, when was that message sent? It was like right after the parade, I believe. Was it sent when like Aroha or Kanade? Or Hibiki was around, you know what I mean? Like, we could... I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think, man. Ah! Ah! Well, this is... 
So, Aroha really did! Of course, we get fucking Teruya in this game, too. Not like Kenja or Rei. Somebody who would be like, Are you guys serious right now? Teruya's like, I can't believe this shit! Teruya and Yuki, the two. <laughs> two of the dummies from the last game. Shoba, I'd like to know your thoughts on this. Oh, God. Her theory itself has no contradictions. But the fact that the bubblehead girl thought of a trick this high leveled, that itself could be considered a contradiction. He's right! How could someone as stupid as me think of a murder this complicated? Use your brains, guys! You're saying that about yourself? Well, she could have been acting all this time. A wolf in sheep's clothing, if you will. That's not true! I'm innocent! Please believe me! If you claim you're not the culprit, then where's your rebuttal? Yeah, I, like, I mean, I guess, like, um... It also is the fact that she saw, like, Kibiki and stuff, too. Um, I put that, I, she probably, I don't, I don't even know what's going on, what the fuck's going on anymore in this whole game. I guess she probably did actually see Hibiki and not Kanade, since Kanade was with us, right? Anyways, um, I feel like, yeah, she is targeting her, though, because she's stupid and she can't come up with a rebuttal, you know what I mean? This is literally the same situation that we put my sis in. Tell me, what is the difference between you going on about your innocence without any logic to back it up and sis bawling her eyes out? Woo! <laughs> Girl! Is anybody else seeing this shit? Nobody? Nobody else is seeing this shit? Like Yuki, Dooku Lee, Teruya, they're all just like, yes, Kanadi's making perfect sense right now. <laughs> Nobody sees that she's literally possessed by Satan right now, right? Nobody sees Nobody sees Satan physically coming off of her body. Illogical nonsense. <laughs> oh god, I need my Kinjo cross, right? My Kinji cross right now to like to like baptize her, dude. Does anybody have any holy water on them? We oh god, we need Kinji here, dude. When is Kinji when you need when you freaking need him, dude? You're asking to be executed! Oh no! Roa, don't bully her! She has no brain! She can't help that she was born stupid! And more cute sprites. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Kanadi really said gate scan, guilt push, girl demon. <laughs> girl demon. Oh my god. I can't, girl demon. That truly her, truly her personality in a nutshell. It seems like Roa is backed into a corner. Is she really the culprit? Guys, we need Kenji and Chad to freaking, uh, <laughs> to freaking slay this demon right now. To yassify her. Kanadi and Shobai did most of the reasoning, and there doesn't seem like there are any contradictions. Freaking Monica in the background. Okay, so you guys, you guys ready to go to Mexico again? Then I guess the Sora, come on, girl, 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 what? No. Correction, not possessed by Satan. She is Satan. So true, bestie. So true. I got that. I got confused for a second. My bad. My bad. Then I guess they're right. God, no. Not again. Not fucking again, dude. How many times are we going to vote for the wrong person? Hum. Silence from both the attacking team and the defenders. Have you come to the conclusion? I uh, finally get to use those sombreros hiding under your, uh, hiding under your podiums. I'm sure you're all aware, since this is the third class trial, you can, since this is the third class trial, but you cannot take back your decision. No, God, not again, not even, please, show by, show by, King, I know I disrespected you so many times in this Let's Play because Let's be real, you were kind of a dick to me, but save our ass. I need you, King. I need you. Oh, thank you, cool Mitch. Crying. Emma, come back. I need you. I'm scared. Oh, God, I miss it. Well, it was just Emma gaslighting us and crying. I miss this. I miss that, dude. Will that be the truth or not? <laughs> are, we, are we really voting? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Somebody. Who else has a brain? In this stupid, in this stupid group, besides Shobai, we're fucked. Oh, hey, Mikado! I almost forgot about you, homie! Yes! Objection! I'm not letting the killing game in this quickly! What? Interrupting the voting again? I think Kyoko. Will Kinjo be able to put her in her place? Oh, God. I don't even know if Kinjo would be able... Well, God, Kinjo would be having, like... I don't know, dude. He'd probably just like fall unconscious having to see 
Epic to see her, dude. Honestly. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, by the way. What? Interrupting the voting again? What is it, Mikado? Something was bothering me all this time, and I finally know what that is. Oh my god, Mikado Redemption Arc! Mikado Redemption Arc! Sora, look at me! Give me a kiss, baby! Um, we're not a thing at all. I'm not trying to side with Aroha, but I saw something back then. Saw what? According to Kanadi's theory, Aroha should have dismembered the corpse between 9.54 and 12.54. Correct? But I saw Aroha goofing and painting pictures near the harbor around 11. Just imagine Aroha. <laughs> painting pictures of like a, a stick figure. <laughs> what? Oh yeah! I was drawing pictures of the port at the time. I totally forgot about that. Wait, why weren't you investigating? Well, I thought it would raise my spirits or, or something. That isn't the important part. If Aroha was at the port at that time, then that means Kanadi th kan Kanadi's theory is completely wrong. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm kind of like wondering if this whole trial is just going to go in like Kanadi blaming people and getting like more and more mad every time we prove it wrong. She's like, no, wait, it had to be Yuki Dookley who did it this time. And she goes on, gives us huge ass explanation and reasoning why. And then there's like one slight hole in the theory. It's like, no, I saw, I saw Yuki eating pickles at the time. Oh yeah, that's right. I was eating pickles then. Oh my God. Mikado, I take back every bad thing I've said about you. Thank you for helping me. I most certainly didn't do it for you. Now that it's come to this, we're back to square one once again! My, my, what a troublesome situation! Wait, can we even believe- Oh, Shinji, no. Shinji, no, 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 please. God dig it. It just had to be Mikado, didn't it, that said that. Wait, can we even believe this guy? What's wrong, bro? He's like the one who wants the killing game to happen, like, the most, you know what I mean? I mean, how can we tell if that's true or not, when it's Mikado of all people? Mikado has always meddled with us, so this time, he might be trying to stop us from getting the answer right. Um, excuse me? Why would I lie if not getting the answer right also costs my life? I mean, I guess the voids also end up, like, dying willingly too, you know? How should I know? Maybe you're behind all this and did it to survive on your own! After all, you're the one who gave us those motive videos, right? Ah, he's yeah. God, this is totally gonna work. Shinji's right. You're at, you're seriously saying that after all you've done so far? What makes you think you have the right to speak? I wonder if it's just gonna be that we have to catch her like saying something, like slipping up. You know what I mean? Doing something like out of character that would catch her, because it just seems like we can't find any holes otherwise so far don't speak such nonsense Aroha was definitely at the pool at that time I'm sorry but I also can't believe his words that easily if it wasn't for the his testimony Kanadi's theory is perfect but he doesn't gain anything by lying out of this if it was anyone else Shobai even I would have at least tried to believe it, but Mikado, I kind of like this, uh, this setup right here, because it looks like she's looking at Kanadi like, you okay, girl? And, I'm perfectly fine, Yoruka, why do you ask? Oh, thank you, Aftab. Shinji, I, I love you, but, but, but please, for real, same, same. Oh, God, it's like, basically, she's gonna blame you next, Shinji, too, since you're probably the second stupidest in this group. Am I that untrustworthy? Of course, you're the mastermind for crying out loud. Technically speaking, you're the reason we're doing this class trial in the first place. Just, just this once, guys, please. Please believe Mikado. No, please believe in me. I, I really am innocent. I would rather place my trust on dog's droppings than on him. Guys, if Nikkei says that it has to be wrong. Or wait, whatever Nikkei says is wrong. That's what I'm trying to get across here. How cruel of you all. I'm not higher than dog crap. At least take this seriously. Is Aroha really the culprit? Aroha does seem like she's telling the truth. Of course, it could be her acting. Mikado is saying that he saw Aroha in the morning. I should think of something as well. Think of any information regarding Aroha. That could be the missing key to solving whether or not Aroha is the black end. I have no idea. I literally have no clue. Can I pull up the truth bolts right now? No, I can't. Okay, logic craft. Which one was this one again? 
No, damn it. <laughs> no, I hate this one. It's okay. It's okay. I got, I got, uh, I got the, the cheat thing. It doesn't, I think it like, should make it easier to move through. Okay, hold the Z button to increase the height. Okay, it was Z to increase the height. Wait, I took notes too. I take notes as well on all these things in case I needed to be reminded. It's nice they give you it again anyways though. Okay, I did not take notes on this. That is so sad. <laughs> Forget about that. Start <laughs> Splockle Fly. Player can ascend by holding the Z key. When the Z key is released, you automatically descend. When colliding with a block, damage is taken from the shield gauge. <laughs> it's like voice. This is so much worse than Flappy Bird, to be totally honest. The shield gauge can withstand a total of five hits. Any more then that would result in a retry. Likewise, when all your power is extinguished, your health is reduced by one. However, the damage varies according to the color of the block. One for green, two for yellow. Red is dead! It's the color of Kanadi's eyes! Blue blocks are laid on top and bottom. If you touch these, take one damage. If you prog progress through certain stages, a branch will appear. You have approximately seven sections to read the question and answer it. After, go to the corresponding branch. Oh god, I'm so nervous, dude. <laughs> you got the thing, so it's just arrow keys, I think? Yeah, I was wondering. I was like, I guess we'll just see. I'll try the arrow keys first, and then... Because I was like, yeah, it doesn't say anything about uh, if you have the ability, you know what I mean? When selecting the branch, the aircraft does not descend. You can fle freely move around. Uh, so true. If you break through all three stages, you'll clear the logic craft. And <laughs> good luck! And <laughs> good luck! I'm gonna need it! <laughs> I'm still so scared, dude. Okay, girl, come on. Okay, cool. Huh? Oh my god, this is so much easier. Oh my god, I love it so much. God bless you, Yuri. I'm sorry for all the shit I talked about you. I love you, kid. Oh god, okay, I still am fucked up. Okay. Oh god, okay. Still, still a little hard. Still a little hard. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. Whew, that does help a lot though. That does help a lot. <sighs> okay, before the parade, when was the last time we met Aroha? Oh shit, 30 minutes during breakfast? Uh, during, oh God, I really don't remember. I don't remember, no! Oh God, I should have rewatched this. Was that right? Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God, okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for becoming a member, whoever you are. I appreciate you. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck that shit, dude. Oh my god. No, that's such crap. Okay, don't go down. Don't go down. I now know what to do. Don't look down, down. Okay, uh. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so cheap, Monocro. That was some bullshit right there. This would literally be impossible otherwise. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. We made it. We made it again. What did we do with the Roha? <laughs> Don't remember at all. Talk about watched her painting? Drink her oh, drink her coffee? Did Roha make the coffee? Who made the coffee? I thought it was like Mikado, or was it Roha? I don't fucking remember. I just remember we drank coffee and then I went. God, did she drug me? Wait, 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 wait a second. Why is this making her more suspicious? It's like, yeah, after I had that coffee, I went unconscious for a whole dire day. What was up with that? <laughs> oh God. So next time I'll remember to rewatch the entire chapter before <laughs> doing playing a trial when it's been two weeks. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Oh my god, that was actually kinda good. Easy oh, I was gonna say easy, but knock on wood. What happened after we drank a Rojas coffee? Uh suddenly felt sleepy. Girl! It was a Roha? I thought it was like Mikado who made the coffee or some shit, dude.
turn super sand. Oh yeah, that freaking that was funny, dude. That was a good answer. Okay, okay, look at a little sussy room. <laughs> Looking pretty suspicious right now. I did not expect to actually suspect you. Oh, thank you, Hikakuma, for uh, becoming a part of the Kinjo Cult, even though your profile picture is really, really cursed. Thank you, Matoshi, for becoming a part of the Kinjo Cult. And thank you, Amon, the power of friendship, or Shobai, comes through. I don't know if friendship is exactly what we <laughs> is exactly what we have right now. Whatever we got going on. Acquaintanceship, black market dealers. Hey, I got a C. C's get degrees. C's slay. And Aroha might slay. <laughs> I'm like so. Proves Mikado's theory in Aroha's innocent. Oh, somebody was trying to frame her. That would make sense. Cause I was like, <laughs> she really a genius. This whole time she really was a genius. Kanadi was so right. <laughs> Wait, everyone, what's wrong, Sora? This just came to me. It doesn't have anything to do with Mikado. But Aroha may not be the culprit. Ah, Sora, thank you so much! What, what's up with you? Actually, something very suspicious happened this morning. After breakfast, I was going to start my investigation when... A sudden wave of irresistible sleep came over me. I told you about the reason I was late for the parade, remember? Oh, you did. You suddenly felt sleepy. And when you woke up, it was evening, right? I cannot, <laughs> cannot get over Kanade just standing there. <laughs> the fucking face. <laughs> oh gosh. So I did a totally screen shot that I probably looked really weird there. But it's not like you were all you were awake all night, right? And you slept through all afternoon because when you drank coffee, even when you drank coffee for breakfast, that's exactly it. I saw Roha wasn't drinking her coffee during breakfast. I thought it was a waste. And naturally, being a can of coffee, I drank her coffee instead. I was okay up until then, but after that I felt incredibly sleepy, as if I was drugged. Oh, oh okay, 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 okay. Since I was, I was just a little uh, confused since I couldn't remember exactly. I really should rewatch that whole section just because it's been like two weeks or something since I've seen it. But yeah, that's what it was. So we drank a Rojas coffee, and that was the coffee that was drugged. Ah, oh, so somebody really was trying to frame her. Hey, a Rojas not a psychopath. For a second, I really was like, wait, wait a second. <laughs> Did she give me drugged coffee? I was about to freak out, dude. Hey, Wavy, just wanted to say thanks for all the times you showcased my art on stream. I really appreciate it. Also, bless Yuri for his skill. Oh, thank you so much, Luvi. I appreciate that. You're also a lemon brownie, right? I believe so. But I really appreciate your art. It's so good. I love it. It always makes my day. So I appreciate all the effort you put out. It was an unnatural wave of sleep. It did? So what are you trying to say? Someone drugged the coffee with sleeping pills. Exactly. What? Now listen carefully. The coffee that I drank was meant for Aroha, right? What would have happened if Aroha instead drank the coffee? Ah, uh, yeah, no alibi. Well, Aroha would have slept until evening. Then that would mean that Aroha wouldn't have had an alibi from morning till evening, right? Huh? Are you guys gonna finally start suspecting Kanadi again? Or she's just gonna girl boss her way out of it one? Or girl demon her way out of it one? Another time, she's just gonna keep going. Wait, so someone tried to use sleeping drugs to prevent Aroha from having an alibi? Ah, eh. Sorry for interrupting this, but was there anything like sleeping drugs on this island? There are some of the pharmacy section at the Mart. Okay, I always check on all the items there, but I didn't notice a difference in number. Do you open the packages and check the insides? God, they're so smart. Cause yeah, I was gonna say, if you just put it back in the box and put it back there, then nobody can be able to trace it. Well, I can't, I would take, it would take forever if I did that every day. For a cup of coffee, one pill should be enough. They probably didn't need to take the whole package. Yeah, for real. Anyway, especially for Aroha, cause she's so tiny, you know, I feel like it would hit her harder than like, you know, most of the taller, like bigger characters like Shinji, you might need two pills or something. Anyways, let me get this straight. You drank a cup of coffee that was drugged with sleeping pills? But why would someone prevent Aroha from having an alibi? What would they gain from that? Framing her, duh. Wait, I know, there is someone who would benefit from all of this. 
someone who's trying to frame Aroha by, by preventing any alibis. We're like, yes, Yuki, yes, he's getting it. He's getting it. Go, King. And he's like, yes, it can only be Nikkei News. Oh, my God. Right, if Aroha's the culprit, it doesn't make any sense. The coffee she was trying to drink was drugged. Aroha's not the culprit. The culprit was the person who was trying to make Aroha drink that coffee. <clears throat> Wait, if Sora drank the coffee that was originally intended for Aroha, then Aroha being outside during the morning was something unexpected, even for the culprit, right? That's right, so Mikado's account of seeing Aroha at 11 is something entirely possible. How could you not believe me? I'm so disappointed in all of you. Hold on, if Aroha's not the culprit, then the real black end is... Nikkei New. Why is everybody blaming me? It's something that just came to me. But if we use this info and reverse the thought process, we can easily track down the culprit. The culprit's identity. The culprit is someone who had drugged Aroha's coffee. The culprit is someone trying to frame Aroha by erasing her alibi. Someone who is trying to frame her just now. God damn it, Nikkei News. I can't believe you did this again. You, you were so close. You were so close to getting away with it too. Uh, so freaking close. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> that face. That freaking face, dude. <laughs> oh, God. What do you got to say now? How are you going to girl demon your way out of this one? Out of this one, sweaty. The culprit was someone who was pressing on Aroha just until now. Oh, thank you, Jolly. When someone makes demon vases, vote for them easy. I know, right? That's what I was saying. I was like, nobody nobody notices the demon face she's making right now. Nobody notices, like, the, the red eyes, the fact that she's Satan. F flames just suddenly appeared around her, and she's speaking, like, backwards right now. Nobody wants to, like, think that maybe... Maybe she's the one who did it. Maybe she's actually evil. Nobody? Okay, okay. The culprit was someone who was pressing on Aroha just until now. Kanari Otanakoji, it's you! <sighs> Wait, hold on. I thought little sis explained to us how she couldn't be the culprit. Um, I'm grateful you proved my innocence, but Kanari being the culprit? But that being said, Kanari did act weird during breakfast. Usually she would have chased after her sis right away when Hibiki left. But didn't she hesitate a bit? Oh, to make sure that Aroha drank the coffee, right? That's probably why she wanted to stay in the first place. Um, sis? I'm gonna take a rest in my room. Wait, sis, where are you going? You haven't even finished your coffee! <laughs> I made it special for you! Hibiki's condition seems to be getting worse. Come to think of it, she broke down the most out of everyone yesterday. She became very dependable after Emma's case, but she seemed to have reverted back to her old self. Um... Well, we can't help it. It seems like everyone except Aroha has finished their meal, so let's get moving. Oh, uh, that's exactly why literally everybody except for Aroha. Connie, you stay at Bicky's side for now. Um, but, um... You don't have to mind us. She's your family, right? You should be there for her. Go on. Ah, this is where you fucked up, Setsuka. All right, then. Oh, God. She likely followed when Setsuka told her to. I assume that was to make sure Roha drank her coffee or not. Unfortunately, unbeknownst to Kanade, it was Sora who actually drank the coffee. If Kanade really is the culprit and considering her fucked up personality, she would have made sure that Roha did, in fact, drink the sleeping pills. Okay. But how is that possible? Just how unlucky can you get? Well, aren't all matters like this? Oh, thank you, Jeff. Kanade, suspicious. <laughs> no way, impossible. Next, you're gonna say Monica, suspicious, and she would never. Well, the matter. Well, aren't all matters like this? Something that shouldn't have happened somehow did. Well, something that doesn't happen that should that should doesn't happen at all. Bullshit. What? A show by, and now you. What is with you people and trying to frame me as the culprit? I shared my theory, showed you the contradictions, and through my reasoning, proved that Aroha is the culprit. Just how much rebuttal would it take for you to be satisfied? But Sora has a point. If Aroha had fallen asleep with that drug, she would have been confirmed as the culprit without a doubt. Really? Do we have to take the long way? Alright, fine. I'll show you. 
first, the fact that the coffee was drugged is a stretch. It's not like I was the one who prepared the meal. How could I have drugged the coffee that Mikado had prepared? Okay, I was right that it was Mikado. I was like, he's usually the chef. You know, the Gordon Ramsay of this game. It isn't impossible. Toriyu would know just how quickly Mikado prepares our meals. Oh yeah, Sora and I arrived early in the morning for breakfast a few days ago. And the meal was prepared even before the morning announcement. Oh yes I do, you know what they say, the early chef dominates the culinary world. I wake up at 3am every morning for my besties. My besties just prepare food for you guys, oh, aren't I so sweet? I prepare the food way in advance before you even wake up. You heard him, so if you just arrive at the dinner before everyone else wakes up, you would have ample time to drug Aroha's coffee. But you wouldn't really know where Aroha will actually sit, would you? That probably isn't the case because I usually sit at the same place. In fact, most of us usually sit at the same place every morning, don't we? True, unless the seat's owner died and someone sat there instead. That was usually it. After what you lot have to say, things start to make sense. Ah, oh, finally we can get rid of that little, that little bitch. What did he call her? Little shit and littler shit? The little shit. Three hours of space between 9.54 and 12.54. That was the time deliberately left blank by that girl to frame Bubblehead. So that she can say it was the time Bubblehead spent on dismemberment. So she had a plan to frame her sister. And if that didn't work out, she had a plan to frame Aroha afterwards. Dang. Also, I noticed that uh, Setsuka's got these like little, uh, uh, like, uh, pool balls. <laughs> around her. So it's like the sticks and then like the balls too. I was like, that's kind of cool that they did that. And I still got my eyes closed even in this picture, Weeby. Just how quickly can- Just how unlucky can you get? The bubblehead was actually seen by Mikado Sanoji. Hump, the irony of fate. Ah. Didn't Aroha just mention that it was Kanade who was signed to look around the park near the ghost house? Yeah, literally. Literally planned it out. Come to think of it, perhaps that was also something she did in advance to frame Aroha. That's not all. Aroha was invited to the chat room. That was created- Oh, wasn't invited to the chat room. That was created for Setsuka's handbook. Oh. They probably separately told Aroha to come to the mirror mansion so that Aroha could see Hibiki entering the ghost house. Oh my god, this plan is so complicated. This is crazy, man. Her brain is so huge. Gosh, we should just let her uh, get away with it because she put so much time and effort into this plot. And later claimed that Aroha was lying, making everyone suspect her. I still want to know why she did it in such a fucked up ways, though. Like, in such a messed up way, though, you know what I mean? Told you, the culprit is Kanade Otanakoji. I don't know how we got here, but I was right. That's all I'm getting right now. Obviously, that bubblehead can't come up with a trick of this level. He's making fun of me, isn't he? Hold on, this trial is a bit tough. The culprit keeps changing. I don't know if it's telling the truth or not. One thing is for sure. Sora's consuming the sleeping pill. Sora consuming the sleeping pills and Mikado witnessing Aroha can't be coincidences. It's like a wonder or two if like... Since a lot of people aren't super bright, it's gonna be like one of those things where we like barely win at the end. It's like a vote of like four to five or something crazy like that. You know what I mean? We'll see, we'll see. And the one who orchestrated that was Kanade. <laughs> I hate that sprite. I hate it so much. <laughs> Yuruka, you better shut your fucking mouth right now. I'm gonna shut up for you. <laughs> so Kanade really is the culprit. Why is that sprite so much scarier than her demon ones? Kanade. Kanade? Even Hibiki's. Okay. Okay. Okay, yes, yep, um, <laughs> yep, all right, sure. Um, Kanade, here it comes. Here it comes, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm not mentally prepared for this. Yes, it seems like you used your damn stupid brains to reach a conclusion. As you said, I don't have any logical rebuttal against this. As all of this is just a presumption, I have no evidence evidence against this, yes? But being the generous and merciful and beautiful and amazing, perfect, beautiful queen that I am, I will go over your stupid delusions. Yes, suppose I did drug Aroha's coffee, yes? 
Then, how about we go back to when Shobai was suspecting me as the culprit? Yes! Oh god, her faces are so creepy. It really does remind me so much of the Kokichi sprite, too. Yes! Try to deduce things under the proposition that I am the culprit. Yes! Just how did I murder Setsuka? Quite an unstoppable mystery. Yes! I feel like her, uh, her facade is definitely coming off, though. Yes, yes. Why isn't anyone answering? Yes. She's repeating herself a lot, dude. Yes, come on, answer me. Yes, yes, yes. Um, well. Ah! Because I feel like uh, I kind of had that same, uh, that same like red sparkly little thing as well. Like uh, when um, Hajime came out. <laughs> oh, God. I who cannot carry the hands. I who cannot hide the corpse near the ghost house. Oh my God. I who was with you all throughout the entire parade. <laughs> oh God, that's right. It's so fucked up. <laughs> Oh god, oh god. Get some donuts on the really quickly. Monkey Kanade Cole, get your fucking dog! So true! Kanade looks really pretty right now. Where is Monkey? I want to see Monkey's reaction to this. <laughs> oh god, Monkey would probably be like, step on me! Isn't Kanade adorable, Weeby? So kawaii, so cute. We love her. We stand. We stand a girl demon. Kenji, get over here. We need holy water. We need. Oh my god. I, I think she's too far gone. I think she's too far gone for Kenji at this point, dude. Not even Kenji can yassify the demon out of her. Oh my god. I was like, uh, people keep sending me this meme where it's like, uh, let's play hide and seek. I hide and you seek therapy. <laughs> like tagging me and they're like, we need a Kanade. I just want to say, true. True, that is exactly, exactly how it is. Exactly how it is. Oh, thank you, Kyoko. I don't even think Kokichi would be comfortable. <laughs> You'd be like, uh, even I'm kind of freaked out right now. Can, can you stop that? Oh my god, I can't wait to see Yuruko next to, <laughs> next to her sprite like this. She's like, can I, can I change seats? Can I, can I please, pretty please change seats? Sora, you want to switch with me, wife? Makaka, we need your help to exercise this demon. I have no blessed magic. Sorry. And nothing strange about Kanade here. She's doing great. She's doing wonderful. We need Makado, Makako now. Oh, God. Oh, Makako, not Makado. I don't know why I read that as Makado. I get their names kind of confused. We do need Makako, though. Oh, God, no, gamer bro. <laughs> no, too soon. Too soon. Explain to me how the hell that managed to kill Setsuka, despite all these alibis and... Oh yeah, let me uh, make sure my thing's not on my face. Move the damn corpse! Anyone! Anyone! Home! Yes! <laughs> give her the Kenjo voice after all this time. Show Why is it getting closer? I want to get farther away! I want to get farther from her, not closer, game! Can you back up? Can you back up? Show by Sora Yuki! Anyone! Come on, let's hear it! <laughs> <laughs> I want to see everybody's reaction to this right, right now. Oh my god. Thank you, PZD Anime Nerd. Rid PR, thank you for the donation. I need to hear this. I gotta hear this dub, dude. I, oh my god. I cannot wait for the dub for this to come out. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, just... <laughs> Kanade, you're scaring me. Oh my god. Thank god I always black this shit out. I wonder I wonder why Hibiki has like an emotional response where she just forgets entire traumatic events that happened to her. I wonder what or who might have caused that. Who might be close to her in life that might do fucked up things to her that would cause that. Oh my dear sis. Relax. There's no way that I'm the culprit. 
<laughs> You're not the culprit either. We're completely innocent. So there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> I'll solve everything for you. I will. <laughs> Nobody stop <laughs> Nobody spoke another single word. The trial ended there. We could not. There was nothing else to say. Was it because we were intimidated by through sheer by through the sheer insanity of Kanade? Partly that, but Kanade wasn't just raging upon us without any logic. It was completely different from the breakdowns of all the other culprits, even all the other chapter three culprits. They were simply just two man contradictions to point her as the culprit. Even if she really was the culprit, her defense against that truth was too hard for us to break. The woman was too stunned to speak. Oh God, that is the correct reaction, Sora Shobai Yuki. Yep, yep, I'd say that's, uh, I'd say that's about, I'd say that's pretty correct. Thank you for the donation, by the way. My, my, cat caught your tongue. Everyone, try and focus. Use your tiny little peanut bra brains, okay, guys? Maybe we've all just missed some sort of clue. I don't want to die just as much as you guys. So let's start this over again. Now let's put our heads together on this. It's impossible. There's too many contradictions if we assume Kanade is the culprit. Maybe- Oh my girl! Girl, did you not see that? Did you not fucking see that, Sprite? Did you have your eyes closed during this? No! Maybe Kanani really isn't the culprit, guys! Uh, and of course, me too, girl! Oh my god, Delulu. The amount of Delulu her and Shinji are on is like, it's like a drug, dude. It's like a drug, man. Like, I cannot, I cannot deal with them, dude. Hey guys, Nikkei News here. Mom, come pick me up, please. I'm scared. <laughs> me too, same. Same. Same, 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 same. Oh god. Oh, thank you, Dara. Oh my god, Kanade must be bitch in a Vicky Mitch. Oh my god, that's so true. The the revenge of the bitch. It's all revenge for not being relevant in the last game. This is so sad. Now now I get her, you know. That's and that's why wait. <laughs> Never mind. I was thinking of something stupid. Oh god, thank you for the donation, Dara. Wait, what about the deal with the sleeping pills? If Kanade wasn't the one who drugged the coffee. Then who was it? I honestly think it's possible that Sora could have lied about this. Don't even start, Nikkei. Don't even start. The Super Delulu Bros, for real. For real, dude. We only have Sora's hordes to back it up. Right? But if Sora was lying, then there goes my account's credibility again. Is she gonna frame me? I just know she's gonna girl boss gaslight me. I'm just waiting for it. I really thought she was gonna do that when she did to Aroha. Am I the third backup Kanade? But if Sora was lying, then there goes my accounts of credibility again. As if you had any cre credibility to begin with. But that isn't the only thing that made Kanade suspicious. Not to mention that Kanade didn't outright deny the fact about the sleeping pills. I have no idea what's going on and who is right or who is wrong. All I know is that my bestie Kanade would never do this. Queen! Queen shit! I think you witty things. Fan theory, that image will be nightmare fuel for the rest of my life. Why? Why did you make... Who made that thing? Who birthed that into existence? Lanouge. I think, I think we need to help Lanouge. Are they okay? Are they okay? I, it just all comes back to, are you okay, Lanouge? Don't like send them like a donation when they be like, hey buddy, you doing okay after chapter three of Dog and Rapa, another two? I'm kind of, I'm kind of wondering. You, you doing good? You doing all, you doing all right, buddy? Oh my God, everyone, the Lulu phase are real? Yeah, basically, <laughs> basically. <laughs> yeah, they're all just like on uh, high on that copium. Basically, got super high on the copium right before the trial, it seems like. Uh, Shobai, any, any ideas? I thought you saw me as shit. Now you're running back to me because you're out of ideas? It's like you're the only one here who has a brain besides Kanade. Well, the main problem is how the culprit was able to move the corpse to Ghost House. Satsuki Flesh, Satsuki Flesh. If we think about the whole timeline, the concept of hiding the corpse in Block A is entirely impossible. Still, they must have used the monorails, but we've missed something here. Something. Oh, I got- oh, Girl, don't even- I got it! I know the culprit! It's Emma! Ro Ro girl, that was, that was the last trial. Wait, what? Wait, didn't Kokoro die? Where am I? Who am I? I am I a Nori? It's Mikado! Oh my god, girl. Mikado used magic to teleport to the corpse inside the ghost house. He keeps talking about the school rules, preventing him from using magic. But who knows if that rule is actually fake? 
Aroha, might Aroha, might I kindly ask? <laughs> what the actual fuck are you talking about, you dumb, dumbass? You dumb, dumb piece of shit. No offense, peace and love, but you dumb motherfucker. Why would you even spout that nonsense? Oh my god, I'm dead. What do you think? Fan theory, really, Aroha? Really, really, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, I'm dead. She's so dumb. Or maybe there is a secret passage that they use to transport the corpse. Aroha, maybe it's best that you stay quiet for the. Does anybody have any tape? We can just tape up her mouth or something. Don't lose your focus, Aroha. That's not a theory. That's just your delusions. Ah, Delulu, he said the word. Dar oh my god, what the fuck is that thing, Dara? What the fuck? Kanade phobic, hashtag. I think I might be. It's weird. I love Kanade, but I also might be Kanade phobic. I don't know. I can't defend her. I could defend Kenji, you know what I mean? I can't. De I cannot defend. I cannot defend her. I can only accept her for who she is. Aroha's trying her best. Her best is not enough. It's not even remotely close to being enough. Oh god. Aroha, sweetie, I love you, but you're you're better than this. <laughs> is she? Is she though? Oh god, she's so cute. But I understand where she's coming from. There really is no logical way that this could have happened. Teleport it inside. Secret passageway. The ghost house was shaped like Shobai. I got it! Slay, serve Shobai. There is a way, there is a way that Kanade Otanakoji can move the corpse. And I'm not gonna tell you, tell them, Sora! Oh my god, you're the ray of this game. Really, what is it? The problem is solved if you can move the corpse inside the ghost house without using the gates. And there is one passageway in the ghost house that matches this condition. And where is that? A passageway in the ghost house that connects to the outside other than the gates. Yes, perhaps there is that one thing inside the ghost house. If we could pinpoint that. <laughs> I don't know if I totally understand. Um, let's see here. Block A. Um... I feel like that probably is it, but I don't know if that really makes sense exactly what they're saying. Oh, the fireplace? Maybe. They're saying another way inside the ghost house? I feel like it is the plush thing, but uh, maybe the fireplace too, maybe. Yes, I'm very scared of Kanade. I'm Kanade-phobic. Wow, Kanade-phobia in 2022. Hey, let me try this. Okay, nice, it is. Whew, the chimney. What? Shobai, are you perhaps referring to the chimney? Sometimes I just get stuck on my own theories too hard and I'm like, it plush, 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 <laughs> even if it doesn't make sense. That's why I was like, might be the fireplace instead. There's a fireplace at the ghost house. If there's a fireplace, then that means there was a chimney that connects it to the outside. Bingo! If you throw the corpse through the chimney, the corpse would get thrown down to the fireplace. Okay, that's why we found the bags there too. The fire was put out, it wouldn't stand out, and it wouldn't be near the altar as well. Ah, oh, the chimney, you're kidding me, right? What are they, Santa Claus? Oh my god, Kanana? 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 I'm sorry, already getting ahead of myself. Kanada? Kanada? I cannot, why can I speak today? Kanade, Santa Claus, Kenny confirmed. I guess it would be Kanana. Kanana. <laughs> Queen. What an outstanding turn of events! By throwing the corpse in through the chimney during the parade, you don't have to hide them beforehand. You can enter empty-handed at 1942 after the white-haired girl leaves the ghost house. The corpse is already in the fireplace, so you just have to move them to the altar the, and flood the place with the blood packs. Okay. And that's got no, uh, c Canada. <laughs> oh god, I actually said that. <laughs> just in case, did you search the fireplace when you were investigating the ghost house? No, I didn't think that Setsuka was dead at that time. So I investigated places that a living human being could naturally be. Not to mention that it was especially dark near the fireplace. <laughs> All right, so no contradictions there. How's this, twins? A new challenge for you. Let's see you sing and dance around this one, <laughs> get it? 
Uh oh, here we go. Kanata Inori did it. Oh my god. She really did it this whole time. Oh shit. That's a lot. That's a lot of uh, choices. <laughs> Kanata is crazy. Kidding. Maybe let's not use that that uh that uh, thing though. The culprit. Uh, but that actually. But is that actually possible? <sighs> no, it's absolute nonsense. There weren't any clues left in the fireplace. We don't even have to discuss the clues. Do you have any idea how tall the ghost house is? How would you throw a corpse into a place that high? I guess the culprit rode a plane or something, yes? Honestly, I agree with that bit so far. I'm no fucking. My magic could have pulled it off, sure, but I am bound by these cursed rules. Shinji's account. What is Shinji's account? It's not distracting us with nonsense. Um, yeah, let's not talk about hate groups, please. I got distracted by the dono too, please. <laughs> Maybe let's not make jokes about that, so. <laughs> but thank you for the donation. Shoba has finally found some decisive clues. Let's not waste this chance and listen for contradictions in uh, Kanadi's words. Okay, um, let me look at this. I got, I got distracted. I wasn't really reading it. Um, Haru culprit. Oh my god. Um, let's see. What was Shinji's account? Let's try today. Pool is expecting no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to. Uh, okay, through the corpse, inside through the chimney. Oh, unknown plastic bag. Is that it? It might be that one. There's some unknown plastic bag that was crumbled and thrown into the fireplace of the ghost house. The use of it is unknown. Oh, okay, it's probably that one then, right? I think so, if I had to take a guess. I don't know exactly. Unknown plastic bag, oh wait. Use it, okay. There weren't any clues. Oh yeah, there it is! Yes. Ah, gotcha! Got you, bitch! <laughs> oh God. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, cool, we got it. Talking about Canada, did I actually say Canada at some point when I was coming up with a Kanade Claus? <laughs> Kanade Claus, slay! It's, it's okay, I can tell her to slay, guys, because she already slayed, okay? She she really took her slaying seriously. Wait a second, about that fireplace. There was a suspicious black plastic bag near the fireplace. I'm not sure what that could be, but I'm positive it wasn't there from the start. Plastic bags near the fireplace. What's the deal with that? If we deduce it based on Shobai's theory, that bag would probably be the one that contains the body parts. Eek! The fireplace was always lit, at least until the culprit turned it off. The bag was there before, it would have long burnt away. So the bag was put there after the fire was put off. In other words, the day of the crime. There is other evidence that they threw the corpse through the chimney. The ghost house is pretty higher than you, it's pretty high, it's a lot higher than you think. If the corpse fell through that high of a height, there must be some traces left on the body. Oh, the bruises? Maybe, traces on the body. The culprit threw the corpse into a place that high. The corpse would definitely have some traces of it. And that evidence is... Oroha's account, okay. <laughs> the contusions of the octopuses. You're talking about the bruises on the corpse, right, Shobai? You bet. Bruises? Girl, it's okay. I don't blame her for not investigating this time. While Setsuka's body was cut to pieces, each piece had some trace of bruises. It even said so on the monochro file. If the body fell straight through the roof like Shobai said, it would be natural that there would be a few broken bones here and there. Conversely, there would be no explanation for those bruises if it didn't fall through the chimney. The murder weapon was something sharp, so it's highly unlikely that those bruises could have occurred, would have occurred otherwise. Oh, what nonsense are you on about? The chimney? Oh, thank you so much, Richard, for becoming an ultimate supreme leader. Appreciate that. You guys said it yourself. The ghost house is pretty tall. Considering the inclination of the building, it would be impossible to even climb up the damn thing. So how would someone manage that? I honestly have to agree. <laughs> Wait, Canada Ottawa Noji? Oh my god, that's beautiful. <laughs> I think we're disrespecting Canada though, <laughs> right now. 
At the same time, though, Kanade is queen who did nothing wrong. Honestly, I have to agree. After all, the ghost house is the tallest building out of everything in Block A. There's no other place that's taller than the ghost house. Then how would you manage to throw someone on top of it? There is one place you can reach higher than the ghost house. <laughs> Just thinking of like that ride that like shoots you up. Kanade got on the ride with the bag with Setsuka in it. And then she threw it off of that slingshot and it went perfectly into the into the fireplace because Kanade is just that freaking good at basketball. Slay queen! What? Someplace aforementioned in my theory. The mono- oh the mon- oh the monorail. Okay, I was literally just thinking of like uh, what are those rides called? The ones where they just like shoot you up really fast? I was like, she really just like throw it off of that like a basketball? I'm just that good. The monorail. The monorails go right past the ghost house roof. Okay. Are you seriously suggesting that they threw the corpse while riding the monorails? I guess my whole Sasuke theory was totally wrong, Rip. No, I'm not suggesting it. It's the only possible way. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this isn't a fantasy world. Or would you like me? Or would you like me to get you incarcerated into another world? Because I'll fucking do it. I did it to Setsuka. I mean, I didn't do it to Setsuka. And I'll do it again. I mean, I didn't do it before. <laughs> Kanade Ballin. Drip to Oh, drop towers. That's what it is. Yeah, about that. I have some... Well, someone... I have some otherworldly... Someone otherworldly right next to me. I'm not a fantasy creature. Treating me in such a way is a cruel... It's a cruel and sensitive act that ignores everything I've done so far. Oh, thank you, Downbeat Diaga, for becoming a part of the Kenjo Cult. Not to be that guy here, but I think it's impossible too. The monorail is pretty slow, granted, but it is still a moving device. If they miss the shot, all would go to waste. Would they risk that kind of a shot on a moving platform? There were the courts at the chimney when the monorail goes past it. So I'm like, uh... I'm trying to think, uh, oh, okay, it's truly possible for a human being, and a high schooler of all people. If there's any proof that this was possible for Kanade, then Shobai's theory would basically be confirmed. Let's trace our memories back. Let's recall the memory related to Kanade's physical abilities. Uh, oh god, no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Balin is the word. <laughs> I hate this game. Get my camera ready. Guys, just know I would never cheat and I would never, I would never, um, uh, I would never say, I would always say that it's bad to cheat. I would always say, I'm just gonna cheat automatically. Oh, okay, I was like, for a second I was like, whoa, what is that? <laughs> Mix and match the cards. Remember the derail details for the previous events. Pick the card in the correct order. So you just do like Z, right? Or something. Cards will only be shown for five seconds. And this time you should try to remember where the card is located. I'm not. Once the cards are all hidden, you'll be given a few letters at the bottom right of your screen. Your objective is to find the missing letters that were displayed on the cards. Match two cards with the same letters to punch in your answer. The two cards you pick are the same. Uh, the correct answer, they will be placed at the bottom left. Not making the correct matches will reduce your score. Making a match that isn't part of the answer will reduce your health. Once your health reaches zero, it's game over. Memorize the cards, mix a match, da, da, da. good luck. I think it is just Z. Okay, I'm just gonna cheat, guys. <laughs> I'm not good at this mini game. I just like, well, I think it's honestly probably, maybe it is just an excuse, but I have pretty bad like OCD and like, oh God. What? Remain? Leba deba 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 do. What the fuck? <laughs> I think that's Hibiki? Remake? Remade? <laughs> what? <laughs> I have no clue. I was gonna say, one of my like major things is I just need like constant reassurance. <laughs> I need to like constantly like, I don't know, I just have a really hard, I have a really hard time second guessing myself. And I think that's why like sometimes I mess up a lot at like uh, H I, so H I B I. So I know that, I know that one at least. But uh, that's like, so these types of games are really bad for me, especially if I'm like super nervous. So I just kind of wanted to like, Explain. Uh, it's Hibiki something. Remald? Re. Remage? Remake? Remade? Remade? I have no idea what that other thing is. Okay, H I. Guys, cheating's wrong. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so smart. This is crazy. This is so crazy. It's better than watching me do this for like 30 minutes, okay, guys? <laughs> 
Oh, remark. Okay, that makes that's like the only thing that actually makes any sense, huh? Remark. Whew. Wow, that was hard. <laughs> Guys, don't, don't judge me, okay? I don't know. It definitely is something I need to work on. I think um, cause like I don't know. I just like I second guess myself so much, and like that's I second guess like my memory all the time too. That's like probably one of my biggest like hardest. I don't know like. Sometimes there's something that I like have to kind of get over. I probably need to work on it more in like therapy or something. <laughs> but I think that's the reason why it's so hard for me to like do these types of memory things. Oh wow, lots of deleted messages. As long as you cite your sources, it's not cheating. So true. Cite it right here. <laughs> oh yeah, there is proof. Cause it's like either, either I fail and it's super awkward or I just cheat and I'm good. I'm good, I'm just gonna cheat. <laughs> I might have been it might have been possible to throw the corpse into the chimney for Kanade What really Hibiki? Um, Hibiki listen to me uh, Oh what you told me on the first day on the third island at the casino remember the Kanade's accuracy is impeccable She always hits her target. Yeah. Yeah, it's the casino. I believe yeah that one time she even scored a goal. Oh my god, she really is balling! No way! She even scored a goal from the school rooftop onto the sports grounds basketball rim. I doubt that because I doubt that the casino is the best place to make profit out of. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I know. That's why Kanade is throwing the darts. Uh, what does it have to do with anything? Lo and behold. Lo and behold, Kanade is here actually. The semi-ultimate thrower darts our child's play to her. Huh? Never knew she had such a talent. Kanade is amazing. Oh, one time she even scored a goal from the school rooftop onto the sports guard's basketball rim. Um, you're revealing too many of my se- Oh my god, <laughs> I love seeing her to the side right there. Iruka, how you doing, girlfriend? I'm not doing okay, Sora. Please, let's switch place if you love me. If you love me, then you will switch places with me. Ah, I'm not listening. Have the no English. Is that even possible? What? Wait, if it is. Yes, throwing a corpse into the chimney while on a monorail should be a piece of cake. I knew, knew Kanade. I never, probably never knew. I never knew Kanade had such an ability. Is that really true, Hibiki? Um, well, it is true. Kanade is always... Shut up! Shut up, Hibiki! Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Shut the fuck up, Hibiki! You're ruining my plans! Just die already! Um, you should have just kept quiet. What are you getting flustered for? Your reaction just gave credibility to what your sis said. Come to think of it, Kanade looked a little flustered with that remark. At that time, I thought it was because she couldn't keep up with Hibiki's pace. But thinking back now, she might have already thought of this plan way back then. Way back then? That was a few days ago. So she was already planning to murder someone even then. Ah! Uh, that would mean that Kanade thought of this trick as soon as she understood the structure of Satsuki Land. Kanade like going the monorail like, yeah, I can ball pretty well. I can make that. I can make that. Fufu, aren't you the scary type? If that's true, then it's actually possible for Kanade to commit the murder. Actually, the only one who has those abilities amongst us is Kanade. So the murder would be impossible for anyone other than Kanade. Kanade? Stupid sis. Well, sure, I'll let that pass. It doesn't matter, really. Even if I had used that method to move the corpse inside the ghost house, the monorail was active during 1800 to 1900. The only time possible for the culprit to throw the corpse. But have you all forgotten? That time was when the parade was going on. Oh, that's right. Come to think of it. Yeah, she was, um, she was there with us, right? Kanadi watched the parade with us. So it wouldn't make sense for her to also be on the monorail throwing corpse, <laughs> throwing corpses. <laughs> I don't know why. It just sounds so funny, like, uh, saying it so, like, just offhandedly like that. Yeah, it'd be really hard for her to throw corpses at that time. We, we ourselves are the witnesses. Wait, that means we're stuck again? Did Shobai make another mistake? Wait, but little miss sis didn't deny the chimney theory. To be honest, the reaction she just showed wasn't something from a totally innocent person. I'm not the culprit. I just didn't feel the need to object every single detail. I have an alibi after all. Um, it seems like we've hit yet another roadblock. 
Ha, if you're gonna act like that, you two can play that game. Everything would make sense if she was able to ride the monorail at that time, right? Was there something with the monorail going on? Like, uh... I think, no, yeah, it did say that it was, like, um, not going on during the, uh... Whatchamacallit? During the parade, yeah, so... I thought there was something... I think... I was thinking maybe it, like, ran once during the parade. I don't know. Mitch would be proud of Kanade's ball skills. <gasps> Kanade Mitch confirmed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, Kanade, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Now I'm gonna be exposed to Mitch Nade freaking edits on the subreddit. No. No, I can't take it. Oh my god, that's so funny though. <laughs> she really is baller. And who else was baller? <laughs> the worst boy. A Mitchy Witchy. Oh god. I told you I was watching the parade. The others there are all witnesses. But that, was that really... Uh, oh. Was it Hibiki? But was that really you? Uh, what do you mean? The Mitch lore continues. Oh gosh. Stupid shit. You got fooled one last time. This is literally the same trick, dickheads. Last time you mean when Emma disguised herself as Kokoro? That's right, Bubblehead. Don't you all get it by now? Recall who I suspected as an accomplice when Kanate... Uh, when Kanate Otenoji. It can't be! I can't believe Nikkei disguised himself as Kanate. God, when... When will he stop? Uh, uh, Sora, I, I think you're... I think you're on the wrong track. When will he be stopped? I think he disguised himself as Kanate. What? No, wait. It isn't entirely impossible. It actually makes sense. Yeah, because the only difference really is, like, the chest size, and they could probably- she probably just, like, stuff her bra or something. Hibik and Kamani, Kanani are identical twins. A bit of disguise, and no one would ever be able to tell them apart. Hibiki doesn't have an alibi today, so if she was disguised as Kanade, the person without an alibi throughout today was actually Kanade. Oh, so that's how it is. I don't know how that changes the records. I'm probably just not gonna even ask. Are we parent trapping this? No. Oh my god. Not the parent trap murder scheme. Mission Kanadi shippers were. Oh Jesus Christ. No. No. Hell no. Hell no. Mission Kanadi shippers, where are you at? Oh my god. If Modki was here, you would be dead, Justin. You would be dead. Also, what's the story behind your username, Weeby? Uh, so. It's not like a huge uh, story. So me and one of my best friends, we have like a inside joke where like, we just called each other weebs like all the time. So I grew up in like Alabama and like, I mean, I was like born in like 94 too. So like when I was in high school and like middle school and stuff, liking anime was like not cool. And so, and also, I don't know, there's just like a lot of connotations with it. It was not cool at all to like anime. So we'd always kind of make fun of each other by calling each other weebs and being like, oh yeah, like let's, hang out and do like weeby stuff so that was basically where the name came from just because i had said the word weeb so much with her whenever i was talking about like anime or like video games i liked so i just decided hey i'll incorporate that into my youtube username because it was just the first thing that kind of came to mind honestly but thank you for the donation i appreciate it when the person without an alibi throughout today was actually kanade we should double check just in case has anyone seen hibiki even once after morning um, nobody. I hope you're not just ignoring me this time. The case had already started this morning. Of course no one has seen them. They basically switched their alibis through disguise. Oh yeah, another reason why I named myself Weavy was because I knew when I told my best friend I made a YouTube channel dedicated to Danganronpa, I was like, she's gonna call me a fucking weeb. <laughs> so I'm just gonna call myself Weeb. <laughs> Weeby, so that way... That way I'm already calling myself Weave and she can't call me that. <laughs> that was another big reason why. I thought it was funny. I was like, oh, oh, you can't you can't call me a Weave! Because my name is literally Weeby. <laughs> they basically switched their alibis through disguise. The first time we saw Kanadi after breakfast was during the parade. <laughs> so the Kanadi we met there was probably a Bicky. The real Kanadi was hiding the monorails, moving the corpse. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking, I don't know, every time she does that sprite, dude, it just cracks me up. <laughs> Who is that, Yuki? You're dead. You're a fucking dead man. And meta Kanade Otenokoji, you're not just some ordinary high schooler. You're smart, cunning, and careful, even more so than me. Beats me why such a talented girl is in a band for some reason. But let your guard down. 
Sir, sure, you put up a pretty high wall, but you've left some holes here and there. <laughs> no, not the Chad with the Kanade face. <laughs> what? She's so scary. It's like on par with her other scary sprites for me, honestly. Oh well, my turn is over. It's yours now. Any rebuttals? I haven't had such a battle like that in ages. That was honestly a bit fun. Though it hurts my pride that I had to get some help from the likes of you along the way. So you're admitting that? I thought you would just try to take all the credit. I told you, I'm a calculative guy. We all die a happy death if I make a mistake while I stubbornly press on with my theory. It's much more efficient to give up your pride and put your brains together in these cases. He's getting the character development, I love it. Oh god, no, the chat's getting scary. <laughs> no. To think that to think that you'd be on the same wa wavelength as us. Can I offer you a friendship bracelet? Hell no. I think this is the first time you've spoken this much. But it doesn't change the fact that you were all hopeless as shit until I took over the stage. Yeah, that's true. You had to rub it in. Especially you, Aroha. <laughs> Um, uh, Kanade, you, you okay, girl? You okay? So let me get this straight. The one watching the parade was actually Sis, and I was actually on the monorails. Yes? And while the monorail went past the ghost house, I threw the corpse into the chimney. Congratulations, you've gotten every single thing wrong. Another rebuttal! Please, would you give me a break? You're definitely the culprit here! <laughs> if you lack the brains to think, then don't talk at all! People like you are the reason the term trash journalism exists. What's that like, uh... It's like you're basically TMZ, okay? Come on! I, I take offense to that! What did you just... Okay, I just did one internship at TMZ, okay? I'm a real journalist! Don't come at me with that! Uh, finally, someone who knows how to put up a real fight. Come at me! And now I'm going to start with the throwing corpse part and go through everything from there. Seska's dismembered body consisted of the head, torso, each hands, arms, legs, and the feet. She's gonna try to say it was too big or something, but then the torso wasn't there, so I feel like that might be when this finally comes into place. So 10 pieces all together. Now here's a simple question. How many times does the monorail go past the ghost house during its one hour run? Oh god, did she do one body limb every hour? Oh, wait, no. How would that work? No, wait, 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 no. I think I might be, uh, I might, I might be unsure. I might be thinking of it wrong. Huh? You're not seriously suggesting that I threw all 10 pieces at once in one go, are you? Okay, so it's multiple pieces. I was like, that would take like nine hours if she did like one at a time, you know what I mean? The monorail is quite slow, but it's still as fast as a speeding bike. Yeah, so. Probably to separate into like two or three uh, sections or something like that, right? Um, yeah. To summarize, you can only throw one piece at a time each time you go past the ghost house. It's really one piece at a time. According to Shobai's theory, the culprit starts off at block C to ride the one heading to block A, right? They throw their first piece there, and after 15 minutes, where it takes a round trip, they throw the next one. Okay, so it's every... I get confused with the monorail, too, so it's every 15 minutes. So it's like four times within the hour. So it would take like four, eight? Yeah, no, 15. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, so four times every hour. So it would be like... Two hours to get like eight pieces, but she would keep the hand, right? To do the uh, the finger stuff. But I guess we haven't figured out everything there yet. They throw their first piece here, and after 15 minutes, where it takes a round trip, they throw the next one. They throw each piece at each round trip at the 30, 45, 60 mark. Wait, who would have guessed it? Our precious hour has already passed with the four long trips, and the monorail isn't active for the next hour. What are we to do with the remaining six pieces? How are we to explain this? Well, she definitely makes a point. The idea of throwing a corpse into a chimney was remarkable, but the number of throws needed needed thus far needed us far too much. Ah, uh, we have a much bigger problem at hand, really. Throwing the corpse inside the chimney is actually impossible for a different reason. She is still doing like a pretty good job of defending herself, but I do feel like. 
the further we go on, the more, like, holes in her arguments. Like, uh, I'm surprised she didn't say anything about the torso missing, like, when she was describing the body parts. Uh, it was, a, uh, I don't know, I thought that was kind of interesting that she didn't even, like, mention that. Sure, the legs, arms, hands, and feet are all small enough to fit inside the passageway. And the head, well, she did have a relatively small head, so let's let that pass. But what about the torso? It's like, yeah, like I feel like she's really starting to kind of lose her, uh, her girl bossness, her girl demonness. You know what I mean? Because like she's trying to bring up the torso, and it's like, girl, there was no torso there. Like, at least like me and Shobai can refute that because we like did a thorough investigation. I think Nikkei did too, but you know, Nikkei, God bless his soul. He's got the, <laughs> his brain is just like an empty bag of potatoes. <laughs> potato chips like that is what I imagine in place in the case brain is just like a Lay's chip bag just full of air not one single chip in there not one single chip oh gosh oh hey bun thanks for coming to the stream time for some math word problems with Kanade oh god please no no more no more no more math I remember how bad I was at that in Amori how was it possible her torso is missing an abdomen right then it wouldn't have fit without it you can break the joints to fit any other piece of the body, but you can't do so with the body. Not to mention that her chest area was particularly larger than anyone else, besides me, of course. That part would surely get stuck halfway through. Pump, so you're gonna play that card, eh? Then you can just move the torso separately, you know, through the gates as normal. But how? <laughs> Little tiny hands. The reason we're talking about this damn chimney theory is because Passing through the gates is practically impossible, remember? If you want to prove this theory, you need to be able to move each and every body part through the chimney. With whatever reasoning, we throw a Kanade, she vigorously defends back. If we can't penetrate, penetrate, <laughs> penetrate, penetrate through this defense, we won't be able to accuse her as the culprit. As Shobai admitted, he can't win against Kanade alone. Let's think through this together! Besties, me and Shobai. I got our bracelets being made right now, Shobai. Love you, King. Do, 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 do. Pins by the flower bed. Okay. Oh, I don't even know if I actually see the uh, abdomen in there. Okay. The torso does not fit in the chimney. In other words, you would need to move the torso in a different way. Of course, such a way it doesn't exist. You could have just taken the torso separately. Eh, already discussed that. While Kanade is busy throwing corpses, Hibiki moves to the ghost house with the torso. Impossible, I was watching the parade then. Even if that was this disguise, at least one of us needs to watch that parade. But then by that logic, who was the person that watched the parade? What if she separately took the torso and hid it somewhere in block A? Impossible, you can only throw four pieces total. There are six pieces excluding the torso, so there's too much risk. Then we're out of any options! If we exclude the chimney theory, there are no other ways to move the torso. And even that chimney option is made impossible by the monorail schedule. In conclusion, I am not the culprit! I think it's the last one. And maybe the parade dolls now? Maybe that finally... I was like, I feel like that's a thing! I feel like that's a thing, okay? It's like, I don't know, it just like... Sometimes I get like aha moments when I'm like playing games and sometimes they aren't actually right or not. But it's like I want them to be right, you know what I mean? Is this really a contradiction? Were we really wrong? There must be a room for rebuttals. Let's look through the evidence again. I think it's that one? Okay. It's kind of hard to read some of those. I'm like tilting my head like eh, eh. I think I think it's probably that one though. Cause I think technically you could hide it in the Sachin parade doll. Sachin doll, one used during the parade. Yep, they are stored in the warehouse block A. Now and before the parade occurred. Yep, that's totally it. Yes, my theory. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, I just feel so, well, I guess I'll see if it's actually right or not. Before I like hype myself up too much. Okay. Out of options. Come on, girl, say the thing. Say the thing. Yes, I was right. Yes! Slay, slay, slay! Serve, serve, serve! Slant! Oh, yay. Oh, so happy. It just feels so good to, like, realize something, you know? Because I remember when I first got that evidence, I was like, how the fuck does this fit into this case? Uh, it's just so satisfying. That's probably one of my favorite parts about Dying and is when you have, like, those aha moments, you know what I mean? 
No, Kanadi, there is a way to move the torso without throwing it into the chimney. Moreover, by doing this, you could also move the torso from block C to A without getting caught. Does such a way really exist? Impossible, there is no such a way. Well, there is. It's by using the parade. How dare you? I can forgive a lot of things, Kanade. I can forgive a lot of things, you know? Being Satan, I can, I can forgive that queen. Killing Setska. <laughs> Axe is gonna kill me for saying that. <laughs> I'm kidding, I won't forgive. Well, do I forgive her for killing Setska? I do love Kanade. I don't know, man. I just love, I just love evil, evil women, okay? I can't, I can't help it. She's just such an interesting character. Like, I can't wait to make, like, an analysis video on her. Like, she's the type of characters I get, like, super excited about. But anyways, my joke was gonna be that the only thing I couldn't forgive her for was, uh, <laughs> desecrating the Satsuki dolls. <laughs> well, there is. It's by using the parade dolls. But I, I'd forgive her for that, too. I forgive her for everything. Parade dolls? This was just a spark of idea, but the dolls move on their own, and they are empty inside. So if you put the torso inside the doll to the storehouse of Block C before the parade, the torso will automatically get sent with the parade without gather gathering suspicion. Okay. <laughs> I love that face. <laughs> I'm impressed, Whitey. That was what I was going to say. In addition to what she said, the torso would inevitably arrive at Block A storehouse after the parade. Which was exactly the place Kanade Otanakoji was supposed to investigate during. D during. <laughs> give him, why don't I give him like a Jersey accent randomly? During your search! Oh, so she had a way of retrieving it back. Then the torso was hiding in the storehouse. Oh, uh, thank you, Slee Bedrock, for becoming a part of the Kinjo Cult! Oh, uh, Bedrock too, that reminds me of Minecraft. I've been playing that so much. In the six minute gap between 1936 when Sora left in 1942. She went inside the ghost house during this time to retrieve the torso. Yeah, in addition to that, Hibiki Otanakoji was probably hiding in the storehouse as well. Okay, when the white haired when the white haired gang white haired gang oh girl probably. <laughs> she calling me a gang now when the white haired girl started to search block A, that girl headed straight to the storehouse and switched places with the real Kanade Otanakoji. It's kinda crazy like how she got um Hibiki to be so Involved in the case, you know what I mean? It's kind of crazy. After that, the littler shit confirms that Albino left the ghost house and signals this to her sis using the handbook. I, did she really convince her that, like, the demon summoning thing was, like, uh... The demon summoning thing was, like, uh, gonna work or something like that? Like, is that really what she thought? I don't know. Uh, and the little shit who was standing by with a torso on the storehouse heads straight to the ghost house. Meanwhile, the littler shit returned to the white hair gang. Oh, thank you, Sunny, for becoming a part of the Kinjo Gold. We previously, we previously thought that six minutes would be too short of a time to move the corpse between the storehouse and the ghost house. However, that was because we considered moving all the body pieces. If it was just what the torso, it would have definitely been possible. Yeah. Amazing, Sora. <laughs> and so what? As previously mentioned, the monorail only passes through the ghost house four times in the span of an hour. I feel like if you put it in the bags, you could just like kind of keep it like closer, you know what I mean? My favorite Dangan characters, Kanana and Canada. <laughs> Both stand Kanade. Thank you, Crystal Land, for the donation. I appreciate it. We have five more body pieces to take care of, even excluding the torse torso. How do we move this? Well, yeah, about. About your crap about the monorails. You mean seven times, not four, you lying little shit. Oh! It really did work. It really did work, because I totally forgot, too, what the exact monorail times were as well. Because I was like, was it four? I was like, I think that sounds right. Because I was like, she literally could just lie about that. And, like, we'd all believe her and be like, yeah, of course. Like, totally. So true, queen. That's exactly what it is. Because it was so freaking confusing. It takes 15 minutes for a round trip, and the monorail becomes inactive after one hour. There are two different kinds of monorails, one for each direction. To go past the ghost house, you need to take the track between block A and C. Oh my god, Shobai, I'm so glad you're here. Simply said, if you transfer between the two monorails to ride only the track between block A and C, there is no need for a full round trip. I don't know, like, Lanuja's comments on this trial, because, like, this is so complicated. Like, I was thinking if I really was the protagonist, I'd be fucking dead. 
<laughs> I'll be just like Sora, dude. I'd be so dead. Like, I cannot. It's so hard to rebuttal her claims. Like, she has so much backup for everything. Like, it must have been so complicated, like, coming up with this plot. I wonder if Kanade is actually, like, Lanusha's favorite character or not. Just because uh, I feel like. I don't know. There's just so much, like, effort put into her plan. You know what I mean? And thank you, Star Daniel, for the or for having a part of the Kinjo cult. Need for a full round trip. Eh? Oh, wait. How did the order and the direction of the monorails go again? Hold on a sec. I had it written down just in case. You guys calling her Rat No! <laughs> Rat Nade, no. Oh my god. <laughs> Rats in the chat for Kanade. <laughs> oh gosh, she deserves that. But she still did nothing wrong, guys. And here it is. At every hour, the monorail starts at block and goes along the path of BAC. And five minutes later, another monorail takes his departure towards the other direction. I totally forgot about that. Serve, Shobai, serve! Hold on. So if we draw out the timetable... Quit wasting time. Here, give me that. I'll draw for you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Not another diagram. I can't take much more of these. <laughs> My brain can only take so many diagrams, dude. Okay. Sorry, I keep bumping the mic, too. I don't mean to. B A C B A C B B C P B B B B B B B B B B B The focal point here is starting from 1800 or 6 p.m. The culprit was standing by with a corpse at Block C station. When the trail heading to Block A at 1810, she rides to this to Block A. Here she will go past the ghost house for the first time, and she throws one of the pieces here. One down. She arrives at Block A at 1815 and waits five minutes on the platform. Not the rats and shit. <laughs> That's so sad. That is so sad. She arrived. Oh god, Justin with a Kanade smile. She arrives at block A at 18 at 18.15 and waits five minutes on the platform for the train heading to the opposite direction. When the train eventually arrives, she rides it back to block C. During that time, she passes through the ghost house again. Two down. Block C again at 18.25, but this time the train shall transfer has already arrived. She transfers right away to head. To head block A, three down if you repeat this process. That is so true, King. I got it. For sure, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. Could recite it myself. I already knew this, Shobai, so like, there's not even a point of you explaining this. Well, do I need to go any further? You all got it by now, right? Shobai is showing off his high level intellect. He really is very, very smart. I gotta, I gotta give it to him there, dude. He's right! Using this method, you can go past the ghost house a total of seven times! And the last train arrives at Block A at exactly 1900! Oh, you know what? I could give Teruya more of a southern accent to, like, differentiate their voices. Maybe I'll do that, because he does say, like, what in tarnation and stuff sometimes. I start, I start to think you need a degree in something to figure out all this mess. A degree in Danganronpa-ism, <laughs> basically. <laughs> oh man. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the donation, by the way, Claude Cast. And thank you, Wabiki43. Fun fact Lanouche prefers Hibiki over Kanade. Oh wow, really interesting. That's crazy. I like both the twins a lot. I probably do like Kanade just a little bit more because I like I like fucked up characters. But I love Hibiki too. She's also one of my favorite characters from this game. Ow. Scratch my nose for a second. Perhaps Kanade even took this into account when choosing the crime scene. I see. I made a mistake. So it seems like you would be able to throw the seven corpse pieces through the chimney. But what different does it make? Even with the torso carried by the parade dolls, that still leaves two remaining body pieces. Oh, thank you, Batsume, for becoming part of the Kinjo cult. Quite a mystery yet. What happened to those two pieces? And how did I move them? Yes! doing this because you're a snake Kanade she's not a rat she's a snake answer me can't you fit the two pieces with the torso inside the parade dolls even if the storehouse is a bit far away I'm sure six minutes is enough to manage two additional body pieces I doubt it her torso is quite large and heavy after all what about the small parts of the bodies like hands and feet they seem pretty possible hands Yes, that's it! The two remaining pieces should definitely be hands! That's what I was thinking too, because she has to open up the iPad or whatever. Or the monopad. What do you mean? Think about it. Aroha said Hibiki entering the ghost house between... Saw Hibiki entering the ghost house between 1755 and 1757. That's 755 and 757. Or no, wait, no, 555, 557, yeah. That means she used Setsuka's handbook. 
which means she had Setsuka's hand needed. She had Setsuka's hand and needed to turn the handbook on. She's like, I'm not gonna take this shit, especially not from you, Yoroko. <laughs> so the remaining two hands were carried by Miss Older Sis herself. Um, hold on, that's right before the parade. Hibiki was disguised as Kanade. Yeah, yeah, so. So, that, so, so it's Kanade that she saw disguised as Hibiki or some shit. <laughs> She would have to meet up with us right after, so she would have been able... She would have had time to hide the hands. That means she had hands with her when she was with us. That's exactly the problem, bro. If she had them, then if she had them, we would have definitely noticed them. <laughs> Finally, some sensible logic. You're absolutely right. Even if it was my sis that was with you during that parade, no one knows the whereabouts of those hands during that time. Do you finally see the contradictions? No, it might not actually be a contradiction. Sora? I have a hunch on where that hand could have been, actually. Sora? <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up. Perhaps you're under the false impression that you're smart just because you were able to tag along with Shubai's theory, but you're not, you dumb bitch. Ah! <laughs> no, not again! Oh, not again! Oh my god, I need like a jump scare warning for her! You're just a disgusting parasite that always leeches off of someone else's ideas and theories. The sheer arrogance in your face, as if you figured out something on your own, it's disgusting! Would you please stay out of my sight before I throw up at the sight of your disgusting face? Uh, so she's just like, eh, I'm used to it by now. That's just little old Kanade. <laughs> Little snake naughty, rat naughty, whatever her name is. Moid naughty. No Kanade. We'll just see. We'll see just who's being arrogant here. This should be Kanade's final line of defense. Break through this, and we might be able to end this. Trial once and for all. Who? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Are we already? Oh, my God. No. Okay. 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 How do I? Oh, God. Oh god, no. Please, god. Okay. <laughs> did I just fuck up? <laughs> yeah, girl, I think you did. Oh god. Okay. Oh no. Okay, okay. Oh god, there's so many of them! Oh no. <gasps> Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God. Oh, my God. No. Oh my god, this is so hard. <sighs> oh god. Oh, I love her voice. Do you ever try thinking? <laughs> Everything's a contradiction. Okay, this one's two. Three, two, 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 three, two, three. Stupid sis! <laughs> I like her metal outfit. That's cool. Oh god, okay. Two, three, two. Whew, got it. Almost. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, one. Oh my god, no, damn it! <laughs> ah! 
Oh god, I actually shot the wrong one for a second. Whew! Okay, using... Oh, oh, using hands to to correct body shape? Oh god, okay, okay, we got it! Whew! Oh god, what the fuck? <laughs> Fan service time, I guess! Okay, whew! Oh, good. Okay, I think that went okay. I think that went okay. Oh, man, that one stresses me out so much because there's so many of them, and I feel like you just have to, like, decide, like, uh, decide, like, uh, what you're allowing to, like, take damage with at some point. And, like, sometimes I just forget, like, okay, I'm like, which one's the three, which one's the two, and which one's the one? Oh, God. <laughs> She's a ten, but she is Kanade. <laughs> that's, the, that's the true question right now. Maybe a good TikTok, actually. Her chest. She must have hidden... Oh my god, she used it for... My... I just now got that for a second. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking of her using, like, her own hands. I think, like, I was just so stressed out from the TTS, but she was literally... Never in my life fucking heard of somebody... <laughs> Stuffing their bra with fucking hands, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so fucked up. Oh god, that like just processed to me. I'm like... <laughs> she did one now? Oh my god! Whoo! What the fuck? Once again, I'm asking if Lanouge is okay. <laughs> Lanouge is therapist. I wonder what stories they have to tell. <laughs> she must have hidden Setsuka's hand inside her clothes. Or should I say on her chest? <sighs> her chest? Even if Ibiki looks identical to Kanade, they're not completely the same. Particularly their body shape is different. The Kanade we saw at the parade was identical to Kanade to the point where it's almost believable. Almost unbelievable that it was actually Hibiki. Then we can assume that she probably used some object to correct her body shape. <laughs> Go fund me for Lanouge's therapy. <laughs> for real. And you're saying that the objects used were Setsuka's hands? Yes, considering the black plastic bla black plastic bags, black plastic bags near the fireplace, they probably used those to carry the corpse pieces. <laughs> what is wrong with these twins, man? Like how, how in God's earth, how did Kanade convince Hibiki to stuff her bra with Sitsuka's hands? Like, I just don't understand. If you wrap the hands with multiple plastic bags and hold it inside your clothes, you can not only carry the hands without suspicion while also correcting your body shape. You could even make a small hole in the bag so that the fingerprints would be exposed so that you can open the handbook just by I cannot fucking- I cannot with this fucking chapter, dude! Oh my god! Yeah, it's okay, Vicky! I thought Setsuka was your bestie! And you're gonna use her hands to stuff your bra like I cannot with this, dude. Oh my god. Using this method, you could even freely use Setsuka's handbook to manipulate the ghost house gate records. What the fuck? I see, if she didn't use the hands to correct her size, there must have been evidence of some other object being used, which there wasn't. But how in the world did you come up with that idea? What Kanadi said a while ago gave me an inspiration. She said that if you put on your clothes, it would stick out and cause suspicion, right? But if it was Hibiki using it to disguise into Kanade, it would seem natural. In fact, she actually needed the hands to stick out for the disguise to work. So fucked up. <laughs> Sora, do you really think I'm that fucked up, Sora? Do you really think that me, a little old Kanade, could pull that off? Yes, 110 million percent yes. You're the only one fucked up enough to do this. But do you have any evidence that my sis had those bloody damn hands on her breasts? Please, don't tell me we're gonna be like, show us your <laughs> Like, please, God, no. Please don't. If you simply wrap it in plastic bags, people would soon notice if you just move a little. Evidence that Vicky used the hands on her breasts. Oh, wait, is it the pins? Is that where the pins come into place? I was wondering, I was like, when do those pins come into place? That's like the most confusing piece of evidence that I've seen. I didn't notice them during the investigation, but that item was probably used here. If I had to take a guess, they had like pin it to her bra or something. This is so fucking weird. 
I just gotta say. I just gotta point out how weird this is. <laughs> oh, God. Because I think they switched out around that place anyways. And that's the only thing I can really think of that the pins would be used for. I think there's the last piece of evidence anyways. Right? Yay! I have proof, Kanade. There were pins found near the ghost house, presumably used to fit something in place. I just, like, I need... I need Hibiki to remember everything so she can explain herself. <laughs> so she can explain herself. I wondered about his existence during the investigation, but now I know exactly why it was there. Those pins were used to hold the hands and close by pinning them together. And she threw them away just like that. Girl, are you a genius or an idiot? Make up your mind! That was probably because the older sis needed to quickly undisguise herself before entering the ghost house. Undisguised? I thought Hibiki disguised herself when she was leaving the pool. If the disguise itself was used to carry the hands, why would she suddenly undisguise herself in front of the ghost house? Probably whenever they both appear together, right? Moron. You have Bubblehead to thank for that. Recall who she was in her t she was entering the ghost house. Stop calling me Bubblehead! I'm just like, I'm really trying to think so hard about like, how Hibiki got tied into this. Because Hibiki loves Setsuka so much. I'm like, did she really believe in that stupid, that stupid thing in the ghost house where you like cut somebody up and you put them on the altar and it grants your wish? Like, was she really able to convince Hibiki of that? I guess she was like in a really vulnerable state. And that was how she was able to do it. That's so like fucked. I, I want to see flashbacks of like all this going down. Like, cause I feel like, you know, even if like that's the case, like Hibiki like would still, I don't know, man, like, uh, I don't know, man. I feel like... Let's see. I'm trying to think, dude. I got uh, distracted for a second. I didn't realize a rat was a bad thing to say. Sorry, guys. I didn't actually know that. I just like, got distracted by that. Sorry, guys, because I think I was making jokes about it, too. I just thought I'd heard it from, like, Stan Twitter, <laughs> honestly. And I, th and I thought Yuri was messed up. Oh, thank you, Monica. Appreciate the donation. I know, for real, right? She's definitely the worst. What was I talking about? Um, but yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry, I didn't realize that... Uh, I didn't realize that was a bad word to say, so I apologize for saying it. Sorry, guys. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I was talking about Hibiki, though. I wanna see flashbacks of her convincing Hibiki, because I feel like Hibiki must have been like, I don't know, man, like, it really messed up through this whole thing, like crying and stuff. Like, how did she act so calm during the parade? I just can't, I can't understand that, dude. Stop calling me Bubblehead! <laughs> but you are a Bubblehead! It was definitely Hibiki. I know they're similar, but their hairstyles and hairpins differ. Differ after all. Okay, not gonna lie, I didn't know it was bad either. Okay, yeah, sorry guys, I had no idea, so I'll definitely not, uh, definitely not say it anymore. I had no clue. I know they're similar by their hairstyle and hairpins. Their hairstyles and hairpins differ after all. For Kanade to make Aroha suspicious, she needed Aroha to witness Hibiki, not Kanade. So she must have thrown away the pins there. Dot, 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 dot. Oh god, she's pissed now. I don't know anything about that. So when we were watching the parade, we had Setsuka's severed hands right next to us. Oh god, I know, right? It's like, how did she stuff that in her bra and like, act chill about that? Like, I just cannot. Like, I can see Kanade doing that, but Hibiki seems like an actual human being with like emotions, you know what I mean? So like, I just, I don't know, man. Um... That's horrifying! Oh yeah, that's horrifying! <laughs> Yeehaw! Kanade, we have no solved all three of the contradictions that you have pre We've now three solved all three of the contradictions you have presented. The monorail's time schedule, the transportation of the body, and carrying the two hands. I believe there aren't any contradictions left. I don't want to continue this trial any longer. God, I need so much therapy after this. Just please, for the love of God, Kanade, admit to it already. Please don't pull an Emma and cry your way out of it. Uh, this seems like a kind of new sprite, too, actually. Um, stupid sis, she ruined it all. Giving out a conclusive testimony, throwing away the pins. I could almost laugh at her stupidity. Okay, all right. Yes, I am the culprit. Ah, oh, she's admitting it. Hmm. I feel like there might, I don't know. I'm still, I'm still thinking she might pull a but who was the one who actually did the final blow because i feel like that's her last 
resort. I feel like I could see that being a really good last resort to use in this trial. And she's so smart, you know? She has like a backup plan for everything. So it really was Kanade! So you finally admit to it. Um, if it was just me, it would have been a perfect crime. But my fucking stupid ass dumb bitch of a sister had to ruin it all. But trying to use sis as an accomplice ended up getting me cut. <laughs> hey, don't be disappointed. Have some confidence. You are amazing. Aren't many people that have smarter brains than you, even in my world. I can guarantee you at least that. It's too bad you're probably gonna die soon. Do you honestly think that would make me feel better? That aside, I have something to ask of Kanade. From the looks of Hibiki in this trial, her memory loss was genuine, right? If Sis didn't have that trait, I wouldn't have even tried to use her as an accomplice. Even without any memory, she's this stupid. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> she's so mean. You would have to be an even bigger idiot than her to use my moron of a Sis as an accomplice while she was herself. Uh -huh. But then, does her personality change when she's in that state then? Never mind, you already admitted to your crimes after- I know- I wanna know the details too, dude! It hurts me to say this, but I think this is the first time that my crime has ever been exposed. <laughs> I knew it! All those fucking stories she was telling about, like, it was so sad when, like, Hibiki's best friend died, and her dog died, and her cat died, and those people who worked with died. Like, that was so crazy. What's that supposed to mean? Whatever, what does that all matter now? Is she a void? I really want to know. Let's end this now with our votes. Okay. Wow. Wait, do I do a... Do I do a closing argument or no? I didn't even need... Dang it, I didn't even need to attach that stupid bullet thing, if that's true. What <laughs> astounding. Astounding this class trial was. A series of intense battles between you that surpassed any trial before. As a teacher and judge, I must say this was very interesting. Well, now that you've reached this answer, it's time to see if that answer is the truth. Nevermore would there be a trial like this, but it's time to reach out to the truth! Now then, vote for the culprit with a switch in front of you. I kind of feel like I might get interrupted again, let's see. Will that answer be the truth or not? I was like, are we really not doing a closing argument? Foo foo foo! No! Kanade is the culprit. Ah! Or, 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 is it the thing I was thinking? Is it the thing I was thinking? Wait! Something's wrong! Wait! Okay, I think it, yeah, I think it is gonna come down to that. Because Kanade is so smart, dude. She's got a backup plan for freaking everything. Everyone, wait a minute, don't vote just yet! Whoa, you startled me, Sora! Oh my god, how many times am I going to be interrupted? How many times, dude? Not this again, what now? What's the matter, Sora? I was about to push the button. Well, what is the matter indeed? Kanadi herself admitted it. The case had been solved. There shouldn't be anything wrong. What is this feeling? I can't shave off this feeling that I shouldn't let the trial in like this. Like as if some unknown force is behind me. What's this unsettling feeling? Shobai, what? I want to ask you, as the person who almost single-handedly solved this case, are you sure we're going to be fine ending this trial with Kanadi as the culprit? But as the only one with a brain here, I need to double check with you. What? I have no reasons. I don't even know myself why I'm doing this. But I'm not just saying this. I'm serious more than ever right now. Ah, uh, sorry, are you alright? You seem a bit weird right now. I don't think Kanadi is the culprit. Oh my god. What in tarnation? <laughs> See, it's perfect for him. Um, Sora, what are you on about? Even I'm confused right now. Well, the thing is, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what I was on about. Why is she... She's acting really weird, man. Sora, perhaps a long trial has taken a toll on you. We've been going for like five hours or something so far. You look tired after all. You're right, I mean, the case is basically over right now. Um, um, please, just once more. Let's discuss this just once more. We've missed something. I feel like we've missed something very important. But there is literally nothing more to talk about. Although I can't give a good reason, please, believe me. I beg of you. Even if you say that... No, do what the girl says. Shobai! I thought it was over as well. 
But there's something left. We need to we need to discuss that something. I mean, for me, you're basically basically extending my life a bit, so whatever, I don't mind. But as the culprit, I don't know what there's left to do. Sosie. <laughs> Are you so evil, Sosie? Is Kanade not the culprit? I mean, uh, sorry, I thought she was talking to Kanade for a second. I thought she was saying, like, sissy. Oh, I don't know, but I know I shouldn't let the trial end this way. Then I'm gonna trust Sosie. Honestly, I cannot grasp the reality of the situation. I don't have any memory of today. Kanade killing Suka. And I hope that I don't... I don't want to believe any of that. Poor, oh, poor Hibiki, dude. I feel so bad for her. So even if I'm terrified, I'm going to trust Kanade once more. A really, really a terrible idea, honestly, sis. Kanade. Kanade is my sister after all. I literally just admitted to it. <laughs> okay, whatever. Seriously, what is going on with this trial? I can't follow this at all. Sora. You know what? I don't know what's going on, but I'm on Sora's side. Me too. I'm gonna trust Sora. A little more discussion isn't gonna hurt anyone after all. Oh, freaking Nikkei, dude. I'm telling you, it's a waste of time. I honestly can't understand the logic the logic behind all this. This is like her pro tag moment. Da da da, yeehaw. I don't know what I have done, nor do I know if it was the right thing to do. If it was some force other than my own conscious, then my own conscious was controlling my actions. I might be troubling everyone with a random thought that had no basis. But still, it cannot go against this forest. All that's left for me is to follow it. Oh, scrum debate is about to begin. Yeah, it's just the same thing. You just like choose. Scroll through and choose. Two phase complete. I should probably go through it once. I think last time I messed up. I'm pretty sure it's just the like normal one by one. Your side, tiny rocket. Team, team, the banana. I know, it just makes me feel better to go through these. <laughs> oh my god. For example, if someone on the opposing team were to say the narrator is the best boy. Oh my god, so true, narrator coon. We stand narrator coon. Then you look for a narrator keyword on your team. No, that's wrong. Use directional keys and select with Z. Okay, cool. Once you have a mix and match each keyword with the opposing team armaments, you learn into the crouch bound where you have to press that stuff. It's during this phase, you make the final push, full counter opposing team. Smash buttons on your screen. Sample, it's A, you smash A, blah, blah, blah. Okay, good luck. Do, 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 do. I love this game debate, it's so fun. Do, do, do. Team Lunar, Team Solar. Do, 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 do. This game is so good, man. I can't believe this is a fan game sometimes. Do, do. Even Kanade's on the other team. Uh, it's because you totally, totally have this, like, set up as like a backup a backup to a backup to a backup plan i know i'm on to you girl i know what you did i know what you did girl <laughs> hey we got coker on our side we obviously know what we're doing okay i'm the culprit what shirt more should we discuss when i admitted it okay culprit probably for that one we saw every trick we can't just let this in trick okay there it is there's nothing left to discuss about what's wrong with you guys. Discuss? Discuss about? Nothing left? Oh yeah, discuss. There it is. It's not like we have any other theories. This was a waste of time. Theory? There we go. Are you suggesting the involvement of a third party? Then we'll be back to square one. Oh well, he's on the other side? I'm surprised. Are you saying that there was another suspect that even I, the culprit, was unaware of? Suspect. Okay, cool. We need to come up with a rebuttal for each person. Okay, I think I, I, think I got it. Need to logically match our points together. I don't know why, but I shouldn't let the trial end just yet. Hopefully I can get to it quick enough. And to do so, I'm going to convince everyone! Ah! Okay, discuss. We don't know for sure until we actually discuss the matter. Okay. Nice. Oh wait, that was wrong? We saw every trick. Can't we just let this in? Is that it? There may be some unsolved tricks left. I believe in Sora. Was that wrong? Okay, yeah, the first one was wrong then. There's nothing left to discuss about. What's wrong with you guys? Um. Oh, wait, did I choose the wrong one? Oh, god dang it. Just a waste of time. That was theory, third party. Oh, my, my bad. I think I chose the wrong one on accident. Saying the third, the, huh. I guess I must have just accidentally clicked the wrong one or something. I guess so. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Go with a rebuttal for each person. Logically match your points together. I don't know why, but I shouldn't let the trial in just let yet. Okay. My bad. Discuss the culprit. Discuss. Oh yeah, there's, wait, there's two discusses? Trick. 
What's wrong with you guys? Oh, there is two. What's wrong with you guys? Let me ref. What's wrong with you guys? Suspect? Is that the other thing that I didn't get? Fist of time. He decided they evolved to scare one. Okay, so discuss for Nikkei. No, that's when suspect comes up. Trick, culprit. Oh, is it culprit then? I think it might be culprit. Come up with a rebuttal for each person. I guess I was just wrong. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> okay. Let's try to discuss. Um, I think so. Trick. Okay, so no trick. Discuss. Theory. I already missed it anyway, so <laughs> like, I'm just gonna double check. Third party. So it has to be culprit. She didn't say anything about culprit though, right? Oh. Oh, maybe suspect then. Saying another suspect that even I, the culprit, am unaware of. So suspect's the last one. Culprit's the first one, I believe. I think so. So culprit's the first one, suspect's the last one, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Even a suspect. Culprit's the first one, suspect's the last one. Okay. Okay. I believe so. Did she even say suspect? Did she even say that? There are no other suspects. However, we cannot do a trial like this. Trust me. Am I stupid? <laughs> Was I born stupid? <laughs> Whatever, dude. Let's just start putting some of the stuff in so I can at least kind of figure this out. <gasps> I'm sorry I was born stupid. Discuss. That's the matter. Was it culprit then? She says both at the end. So that's why I was like, not really sure. Just theory. Unless, no. Okay, cool. That's right. Third party, that one's obvious. A third party, my ass. Quit your bullshit. <laughs> I love Shobai, dude. He's so funny. Okay, so culprit's the first one. Kanani's not the culprit. We may say so. Okay, so culprit's the first one. I think, I don't know. I think I just got uh, confused. Okay. Culprit's the first one. Suspect's the last one. Okay, where is culprit? Kanani is not the culprit. We have made a mistake somewhere. Slay. Trick. Okay. There may be some unsolved tricks left. I believe in Sora. Discuss. We won't actually know for sure until we actually discuss the matter. Other theories. Not like we have any other theories. Sora isn't trying to suggest new theories. She's trying to discuss more about the case. It's a third party, maybe. Who knows? A third party. Quit your fucking bullshit, you dumbass. I love Shumai, dude. He's so funny. Another suspect that even I, the culprit, the no other suspects. However, no, not in a trial like this. Trust me. Okay. Crutch mind. Z. X. Oh, wait. Fuck me. A. X. X, 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 A, A. I was like, well, I got my X and A confused for a second. Nice. Full counter. Oh, that'd be a good thumbnail, too, actually. Oh, I think I did bad on that one. Oh, a C, guys. C is good degrees. Remember that. Remember that. And remember to, to slant. Okay. <laughs> See the trial. I feel like usually I'm pretty decent at those, but that time was not so much. So what are we gonna do about this? We should listen to what Sora has to say, you know? She's not the type to do this without any reason. About that, I don't know the reason myself. But we should talk about this more. Then maybe we'll get rid of this unnerving feeling. Um, but the culprit has already been exposed. Is there anything left to talk about? Oh, why don't we all have a small chat like the friends we are? And if you agree with me, you can't take it back. No take backsies. You know why I agreed with that girl? I also felt that something was off. Though, thought I didn't notice it until she mentioned it. Even, we've definitely solved all the tricks. The culprit is Kanade Otanakoji. But is that truly all there is to it? It feels like there should be more to this. That kind of feeling. The Trial 5 Danganronpa 2 feeling. Exactly, Shobai! I felt that too, like we've missed one last thing. 
Would you stop sharing that just between yourself? Oh my god, would you stop flirting with the show? I thought I was your wife, Sora. Can you stop standing him for like two seconds? Would you stop sharing that and just between yourselves let us in? Sora said she didn't know why she felt like that. But Shobai, do you know the reason why? There are two things that I felt suspicious about. Oh my god. I'm gonna freak the fuck out. If it really was Hibiki that did like the final blow and then Kanani survives this chapter. That would be so crazy. That would be so wild, dude, if that happened. Like, oh my god. Like, I'm getting chills thinking about it. Oh god. Is she still in the game? I'm starting to think that might be the direction it's gonna go in. Oh my god. There are two things that I felt suspicious about. First, what happened to the missing abdomen of Setsuka Chibakuro? Secondly, why did Hibiki Yotanoji help her sister with this whole affair? That's what I want to know, dude. The missing abdomen and the... The missing ab... <laughs> I keep forgetting giving him this other voice. The missing abdomen and the reason for the cooperation. I feel like my bangs... Okay. Oh god, I, like messed it up for a second there. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> I, like emo bangs for a second. Let's talk about the first one. My normal bangs are, like, just a step away from big emo bangs anyways. Uh, I mentioned that the victim's missing abdomen... I mentioned about the victim's missing abdomen during the theory a while ago, remember? You said it was because of the different... The wound marks would make it based on which hand they used. Kanadi was left-handed, and to hide the stab wounds, she threw away the torso. Thanks to that info, we were able to suspect her. But where is the abdomen, really? They would have gotten rid of the abdomen as well as some of the intestines. It can't drain the flesh bit by bit down the drain, but... Oh, God! That's not the important part. The important part is, what was that really the only reason? Since you've oh so kindly admitted your crime, I want to ask you, did you really get rid of it just for that? Of course, that's what you've deduced, remember? It's just like, I don't know, like... I feel like the weird thing is, like, okay, we've almost voted so many times. And if she really is trying to do a trick where it's, like, Hibiki did the stab, like, the final stab to Setsuka or something. Like, we find out, like, oh, there really was, like, a right hand stab wound in there somewhere. Then, um, why was she so cool with, like, letting the trial in beforehand? Because we almost voted for Hibiki as the culprit, and she was cool with that, even though, like, she, well... I guess, no, yeah, so if, he, so if Hibiki did it and we voted Hibiki, she would survive. So I guess she would be cool with that. But if we all voted for Aroha, then it's not like she would survive. So it's like, I don't understand why she was like so hell bent on framing Aroha if it really was like Hibiki who did it last minute. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's where I'm getting kind of confused because I feel like I'm onto something with that, but like, I don't totally understand why she was so cool with that otherwise you know what i mean like uh with the voting for aroha of course that's what you decided or deduced to remember for my inspection the only lefties here was aroha and me because like um what else was i gonna say like i totally lost my train of thought oh it'll come back to me probably if i didn't take care of it it would have come back later to bite me I did try to abuse this to frame Aroha, but that plan also failed. Oh yeah, I was gonna say was like, um, what would be like her motivation for doing this? Like, would it be to one, escape the killing game, two, just to fuck with Hibiki? <laughs> Cause like, if it's just to fuck with Hibiki, then she probably would be okay if Hibiki actually did do it. And then we voted for her and then Hibiki just died. She could be like, oh my God, slay <laughs> me. Me getting in a way with another murder and nice. But like, maybe that was her reasoning for wanting to do that in the first place. But I just don't know if I really understand the Aroha part, if that is, if my idea is right, but yeah. I tried to abuse this frame to Aroha, but that plan also failed. How could you? Really? Huh? I'm not the type to brag, but I've got an eye for talent. You, a person with that big of a brain, of all people, shouldn't have done things this sloppily. I don't know, it's pretty good to me. You say that, but in the end, Kanade did choose this method, right? She herself admitted it. I feel like it is just gonna fit him, the center accent, I like it. If this was done by spur of the moment, she might have taken this route. But from drugging Bubblehead to rigging the gate records, she definitely planned this way ahead. Oh my god, she planned all of this. <laughs> A double labor, a double layered trap of framing your own sister as the culprit, and as a plan B, framing Bubblehead. And even after that, she was busted. She calmly pointed out contradictions to the theory of her being the culprit. 
and that the same person forgot about the stab wounds. Precipitately, precipitately used her left hand, presumably used her left hand, and only then took care of it. She might, she might have not known about the difference between stab wounds beforehand. Have you even been listening? By the looks of her dismemberment skill, she's used to this kind of business. I can guarantee that there was no way that a person that level didn't know about the stab wounds. But she's the ultimate guitarist! Considering her profession, isn't it unlikely that she would have reached that kind of level? If she really did murder Setsuka, she's probably a void. The void is a criminal syndicate, so that might be entirely possible. Shobai does have a point. The fact that she got rid of the abdomen means that she would have known she would be caught by the left-handed stab wound. Or there's a right-handed stab wounds. And she, I mean, it could be either one. She just wants it to be a mystery, right? If she knew that, she could have stabbed Setsuka with her right hand. Why would she have gone through the hassle of getting rid of the evidence? Maybe she was going to interrupt if, like, I didn't with the Aroha part. I'm not really sure. Like, this was all just, like, her super big... Lelouch light Yagami tier plan of like, I'm gonna make him think this, then think that, then think this, then think that, and then I'm gonna make it to where they vote Hibiki out. <laughs> or they vote me out, but it was actually Hibiki who did it. It's like, oh my gosh. It's just that I only realized it after I stabbed her. As you might have already guessed. The knife used to stab Setsuka was the folding one that is in everybody's room. I stabbed her with my left hand without much thought, and only then I realized the potential danger of leaving that kind of evidence. I never imagined there would actually be someone who'd suspect me because of that. But, but that may be turned into a reality by you, Shobai. You're just so smart. That's all there is to it. You who planned this whole mind fucked, stabbed her without much thought. Okay, now I know you're hiding something. That would have definitely found another method. Even I can think of many options off the top of my head right now. Using your right hand to create more stab wounds so the stab wounds won't be visible. And repeatedly stabbing her with both hands so he won't be able to tell which one was the first blow. Are we really continuing this? Are we seriously doing this, guys? Come on, let's just vote. Vote, 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 vote! Do you know what I hate the most? Repeating useless stuff that's already over. Just execute me already. <laughs> it's not gonna be me who's executed, though. Wait, Shobai, enough about that. What about the second suspicious thing? The reason Hibiki cooperated. We really didn't go over this in detail during this trial. But why do you think Hibiki Otonokoji cooperated with her sister in the first place? Huh? I don't know. Why did she? Didn't Kanadi mention something about the altar? That she believed that sacrificing Setsuka's body would grant her wishes? That's right, the Moda video! Kanadi said that her video featured her parents, right? She helped kill Setsuka to save her parents, even if it meant she bloodied her own hands. Wait, is that really how that went? That's always been my assumption too, but it does seem a little too easy. Yuki, even if she really believed that concept and put her body on the altar, that definitely is possible, but that's not all she did, right? Oh no, oh my gosh, so she really did do it? So she really did do it? Is that it? Is that like the altar thing? It was like you have to be the one to kill your most beloved and then put them on the altar? Oh no, I think that is it! I think that is it. It's probably the wording of that. I didn't even think about that until now though, but I bet it is! Oh my god, is this me? Kanata is gonna live through this fucking chapter! <laughs> she disguised herself, rigged the gate records together with Kanate. Isn't that weird? I feel like I could see that. I could see that being the case. All she had to do to grant her wish, was it? Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm Delulu. <laughs> I was like getting so excited. I'm just totally, totally Delulu. Isn't that weird? All she had to do was grant her, all she had to do to grant her wish was put each body part on the altar. There was no reason for her to follow the rest of Kanadi's plans. You're right. Hibiki wasn't quite herself this morning, granted, but it wasn't like she had lost her mind or anything. Even if seeing Setsuka's dead body made her go mad, this is definitely not normal. Maybe we should think more about this. I wonder if, like, I mean, Kanadi probably knows her really well, so, like, she could probably just, like, trigger her to go into that state by, like, mentioning the dead dog or, like, any other kind of trauma that she caused poor freaking Ibiki growing up, right? And so that would just push her into the state, and then she could convince her to, like, stab Setsuka. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe we should think about this more. Maybe we should ask her about this directly. Hibiki, why were you this cooperative to Kanade's plans? 
Even if you ask me, I have no memory of this. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's what. Considering that she's been next to useless this trial, that would be a waste of time. The trick wouldn't have worked without Ibiki helping Kanade with everything throughout. Why did she agree to all this? If it succeeded, she would have died. And if it failed, her sister would have died. You're right. Come to think of it, this is pretty weird. The culprit is only one person, but Hibiki doesn't have any benefit by becoming an accomplice. Uh-oh. What, what do you know, Shobai? What do you know? Ah. Shobai? I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, that's it. So that was it. Holy mackerel. This one's gone bonkers as well. I've got it. A crazy theory that solves all of our questions. Tell him, Sora. Oh, God dang it. Really? What is it? Hibiki Otonoji, you're also the culprit. What? So, are the culprits Kanade, isn't it? Did you even head to what I said? I said also. They're not just accomplices. They're both the true culprit. Oh, so, so wait, did they like stab her together or something? What? Uh, what are you talking about? How would that even work? <laughs> we are one. We are one. That's impossible. There should be only one culprit according to the class trial rules. It's against the rules for there to be two of them. Since when did the rules say so? What? Don't believe me. Pull out your handbook right now and read rule number six. Hold on a second. Rule number six. If two murders, each performed by different black end, occurs consecutively, <clears throat> only the one committed earlier is acknowledged. So if they do it at the same time, then they're both the culprit? Oh, dude, no wonder then. So we would, okay, 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 okay. So I think this is making her plan make more sense then. I think so, because then, wait. Yeah, if we vote Hibiki, we're wrong. Because if it's just Hibiki, we're wrong. If we vote just Hibiki, we're wrong. If we vote just Kanadi, we're wrong. If we vote Aroha, we're wrong. So that's what it is. Oh, no. God, she is so freaking smart, dude. I wonder if she checked with Monocro, though. Acknowledged. The part we need to focus on is the part about consecutive murders. This is considered when there are two different Blacken who separately kill two different victims. In the case of two separate Blackens, Tardy one victim. Oh, thank you, CH. Upgraded to Ultimate Supreme Leader. Oh my god, I appreciate you. Thanks for uh, becoming an Ultimate Supreme Leader with an army of 10,000 members. There is no rule specified about it. Wait, then what happens if something like this case happened? If it isn't a special case like Rule 6, normally the person who last injured the victim while they were still alive becomes the culprit. What do you mean by that? To put it simply, let's say Aroha stabs Teruya with a knife. If I stab the dying Teruya before his last breath, I would become the blacken that killed Teruya. It's like, are we, are we referring back to uh, not the maid? It kind of seems like it. So it becomes a game of who made the last shot. Did you get that reference, guys? Um, if there were two separate victims and a culprit, and culprit pair is the one that took place earlier, gets prioritized. But for two killers and one target, yeah, I think it literally was because Kazuna was stabbed twice, right? But for two killers and one target, the one who made the finishing blow is the culprit. Excuse me, did you really have to use me as an example? But what still, that still means that only one person can become the culprit at the end, right? You still don't get it. If the person who makes the finishing blow takes the name of the blackened. Yeah, dang, dude. Oh my god, that's crazy. So that's what it was the whole freaking time. We were wrong the whole time, dude. God, we were so close to dying so much. So much, so often. Then if two people enter the victim at the same time, they both become the culprit, capiche? So that's okay, because I was like, I thought it was a little weird if she like just reconfigured it to where like, um... I don't know, you know, like, uh, whatchamacallit, like, it's gonna be Hibiki, who is set up as, like, the culprit or whatever. But this makes a lot more sense, because let's say she does love her sister in a weird way, so she'd want to escape with her, but, uh, yeah, gosh, she's so freaking smart, her brain is so huge, dude! They didn't outright stab her, they knocked her out and stabbed her together at the same time, dang! 
That's wild. Y'all are out of your mind. Even if they stabbed her together, there should have been some time difference between them. If one stabbed her just a bit later than the other, then that would be the sole culprit. We gotta ask Monocro, because it's like, how can he, like, um... Because, like, okay, so, like, let's say, like, they're both stabbing at the same time, but Hibiki's, like, one second off. You know what I mean? Then, like, I feel like... I don't know, like, if Monocro can't, like, calculate that or whatever, then you would just state them both as the culprit. I guess it would just depend on, like, how high tech of, like, you know, whatever stuff he has to, like, determine that. But I kind of doubt it. Probably would just be that they would do it as both. But that was just a thought. Double blocking idea is smart. But it also, it's also probably something you should ask yourself when two relative twins are involved in a killing game. Yeah, I guess it's true. <laughs> Thanks for donation, by the way. That's so cool, though. That's a really interesting way to twist the chapter three. Because I was, like, so confused when there was not two victims. I was like, I guess there's going to be two victims next chapter for some reason. I don't know. Maybe. That's crazy, though. That's such a good idea. Oh, that's sad, though, because that means they're both going to die. I like them a lot. I like them both a lot, too. Damn. Oh, really? Then let's take it to the judge. Yo, bird. I was kind of happy that at least one of them would survive otherwise, but I guess... I guess we can't always get what we want, huh? <laughs> I guess not. Bird. Bird. I prefer to be called a crow. That aside. Hmm, rule six, you say? That was put in there just in case two separate murder cases happened in the span of one day. Imagine the troubles you would go through of solving two cases in one trial. This is a defense against that. I really like how Lanouz tries to like push the boundaries, I feel like, with um, these trials. Because I feel like I especially saw it in like chapter six of the last game and in this one, trying to just like do different things, you know what I mean? I feel like uh, they're really good at, I don't know, being creative with these trials. Like, uh, it's definitely a big talent. Reminds me a lot of like the actual Danganronpa games, even like adding twists upon those. And it's like, you almost think that like, there can't be any more twists. Like even Kadaka in an interview was like, oh, I can't make another, well, he changed his mind since then. But a long time ago, he was like, oh, I can't make a fourth Danganronpa game because I've already done everything. But it's like, no, you haven't. This game is proof of that. Like two culprits, like in one chapter, you know, in one chapter, like there's always stuff that you can do to manipulate the rules and stuff like that. And I think uh, Lanouge proves that and they're very talented at doing this, you know? I really appreciate that. That's probably one of the other things I really like about these games so far is how like, uh, yeah, what they did with making like Yuki, the um, mastermind, taking like that kind of twist and making it their own and then doing this too. I think it's really creative and cool. But this case is a bit difficult even for me. If they injure the person at the same time, indeed. So it is possible or not. Theoretically, yes, but in reality, it's next to impossible. The murder occurs anyway as the high-tech sensors of Utsuroshima detect, who it lasts down to 0.001 seconds. If anyone was even that little late, they would become the official culprit by the records. You see, it's impossible. What if we get down to the same 0.001 seconds? Oh, they can do it because they're twins. Um, well, I, um, will measure it down to 0 0.0001 seconds. And if they do it within the same 0 0.0001 seconds. <laughs> Yo, Shobai, what are you leading up to? If the time difference was next to zero, according to the records you're saying, well, if it was that pinpoint, then I admit it, they both become the blacken. Oh, shit, dude. Fucking bingo. Yes, serve, Shobai. Oh, my God. He is serving. He is slaying in the good way, and we love it. Wait, wait, wait! That's only theoretically possible, remember? Even if they thought they did it at the same time, there's naturally bound to be some time difference between them. Unless they were, like, machines or something! Nikkei's right! I mean, girl is... <laughs> of course, she's gonna go with that. I mean, I am capable of doing everything perfect, because I'm just so fucking talented. But for my sis, she's so stupid, you guys! She could never do that! It would be impossible! Um, why the sudden passivity? Are you hiding something from us? Uh, oh, what did you say? It would have been possible for you twins. If my theory is correct, then that was exactly why you couldn't have let the torso be. Of course, I'm not saying this without any basis. The proof that you two can do it with exact timing was ironically provided by Newsy over there. Ah, yeah, me, what do you mean by that? Oh, I think I know where this is going. If you guys remember the interview that Newsy did on the twins back on the second island. How on earth would we remember such a minor thing? He is really smart. How rude. My interviews are never something minor. 
You remember how I did that TMZ like interview with the clickbait title? Of course, they always remember every detail of my interviews. I even have it written down, but why would you remember that? <laughs> even Nikkei didn't remember it. Barely, or like, remember to make it relevant to this. That isn't the focus here. Just shut up and listen. If you have it written down, then that's better. Read the part about the secret behind their synergy. Let's see here. So, you two have shown us a fantastic performance, especially the unbelievable synergy between you two. What is your secret behind this synergy? Oh, well, we do practice every day and night, but we aren't like any other twins. We two, uh, we are two as one. If we're in beat, we can play within the- Oh my god, they literally even said that! So that's why Shomar was going like so down pat with the seconds. Hey, Nikkei! You were relevant this trial! Oh my god! K King shit! We love Nikkei! He did something! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Nikkei, I'm just bullying him so much. You know, I think I did shoot down some other people besides Nikkei in this part of the trial, so he's got that going for him, too. I think he just decided to stop talking in the, uh, in the, um, uh, uh, in that minigame. If we're in B, we can play with a margin of error of less than 0 0.000001 seconds. Isn't that right, Kanade? Huh? Oh, yeah. I see, I see. So the fact that you're twins is a crucial factor. This is a scoop in and of itself. He is unstoppable. Well, as Shin said, we better get going before it's too late. You gotta be joking. Oh, wow. I'm helping! Wait, doesn't this mean... They just had to play some songs in order to in order to get synced up properly. Poor Setsuka, dude. It's like, what's that music? da na 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 uh, now you get it. It's not a completely outrageous idea we're dealing with. And she said that come it themselves. Even Kanade, Otsuka no Koji affirm this fact. For these two, it would have been possible for them to use their special sense of beat to stab. Doing like a boots and a cats and a boots and a cats. Okay, okay, Vicky, get ready. A boots and a cats and a boots and a cats and a boots and a cats. Da -na -na. Getting ready. Dude, that's so weird. It's so, so strange, man. Simultaneously, without any error between them. And they really did? Wait, I feel like that was just an exaggerated and playful comment by Hibiki. Logically speaking, this shouldn't be possible for two separate people. I feel like, ah, uh, poor Hibiki, man. Like, she doesn't remember this at all. I, like, I feel so bad for her. Like, Kanade, like, okay, I love Kanade as a character. She's super interesting. Queen, gotta be, like, the best murder scheme I've ever seen in Danganronpa. It's, like, definitely at the very least on par with Nagito's from Chapter 5. Like, this is a really, really good scheme. But, am I, I was like, is it better? I can't tell. <laughs> like, definitely on par. It's like really, really good. But, I can't really feel bad for her considering, you know, it's kind of my, not a messed up person, you know. Kind of did a lot of shit. So, I can't really feel bad for her. But, Hibiki, I feel really bad for her because she, like, doesn't remember anything at all. You know what I mean? So sad. Oh, thank you, we are a sashay away. Alicia got a good show before she went. <laughs> I guess so. That's true, that's true. Oh man, like, she's gonna be like, it was fucking Hibiki screwing it up all again. Logically speaking, this shouldn't be possible for two separate people since it was Hibiki who said that in the first place. This is impossible, within the bounds of logic, you meathead. Uh, meathead? I met a lot of people around the world working as a trafficker. There was a lot of weird bunches when it came to twins. Twins who had the exact same physical abilities. Twins who could reach out, reach each other's read each other's minds. It's about time I met one that had identical rhythmic senses. Hibiki and Kanadi are identical twins, right? They said that identical twins are almost the same down to the genetic level. They usually have the same personality. You know those stories where twins who were separated still lived a similar lives when they were apart, right? So does she, like, turn into Kanade when she gets her, like, Forgot Syndrome, her Forgore Syndrome, you know? A Hibiki, I mean. I see, if this theory were to be true, then that explains the reason they got rid of Setsuka's torso. If they were able to time, they were able to time the stabbing with their rhythmic sense, they must have used their primary hand, the hand that they use when they're playing the instruments. They probably couldn't risk one of them forcibly trying to use the other hand and failing. That would also explain why they couldn't have made additional stab wounds until Setsuka was most surely dead. They would have had to leave only the stab wounds that they made simultaneously. Because it's a system where the person who last injured the body becomes the culprit. 
But couldn't they have stabbed her after she was dead? Why did they get rid of the torso then? No, that's poss impossible. Stab wound made before and after a person's death, 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 dead, after the person's dead differs in opinion. If they managed to stab her simultaneously on the first try, they would have then waited for Setska to die naturally. That means she died. Oh, fuck you guys. Oh, okay, no. Fuck you. Fuck you, Kanade. Oh, God. Can I blame Hibiki for this or not? Oh, my God. Poor Setsuka, dude. She was such a sweetheart. Oh, God. I'm the worst person ever. I feel so bad. I was so mean to Setsuka, dude. I was so mean to her. I still kind of think she was a void, but she was a good void if she was a I don't know. Maybe she wasn't even a void in the first place. Maybe I'm just an asshole, dude. Oh my god. No, dude. Uh, I was hoping at least, like, they maybe did, like, a quick kill, you know what I mean? But, like... <laughs> fuck you, Kanata. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> fuck you. You're interesting, but fuck you. If they created a stab wound, after that period of time, the difference between that and the first one would be soon found. Then someone like me would have questioned it, thinking of it as suspicious. How exactly can you distinguish the two? Go read a book about in the library, dipshit. <laughs> oh my god. I was just curious, okay? Why are you gonna be so mean? Uh, it's starting to lean towards the possibility of them being the culprits. One more thing, you know what's scary about that girl? During that very interview, that girl clearly showed... Girl, almost a girl again. Something thought. God dang it, I missed my line. Dang it. For gore. You know what's scary about that girl? During the very interview, the clear girl showed distress when her sis was giving out any information without any thought. Oh, so she was. Okay, that was what I missed. That was pretty important, too. And when the first trial started, that girl asked Monokuro about the existence of accomplices. In other words, Kanade Otanakoji was already planning a double blackened murder way back during the first trial. That can't be! Kanade helped us numerous times during the last two trials! That was obviously an act to hide her true self. And she didn't even do a good job of it. She was still showing those evil-ass sprites. Come on. I myself didn't know what I was dealing with until this trial today. <coughs> In the end, every decisive testimony, one way or another, all started from your damn foolish sister. You could have left the stab you could have left the stab wounds be, since only I would have been able to tell the difference. But because you were taking that interview into account, you had to get rid of the abdomen. Identical down to the genetic level, eh? Ironic. You two couldn't have been more different. Shobai, the feeling of discomfort has vanished within with your theory. This was it. That Kanade being the culprit wasn't all there was to it. Hang on, if they're both the culprit, then if we didn't listen to Sora and just voted for Kanade... Whether we voted for only Hibiki or Kanade, we would have been wrong and would have been punished. Gosh, that's crazy. So Sora was right in the end. Amazing, how did you think of this? I don't know, honestly. Shobai did most of the thinking. I'm just kind of here. I don't even know how to spell refrigerator, guys. Don't ask me any more questions. Uh, so the two of them did it together. Is that the public opinion right now? I honestly still have doubts about this, though. I agree. As much as I want to trust everyone, we have no evidence of this claim. Sure, we have no concrete proof. But if this theory were to be true, then we can also explain Hibiki's cooperation. They both become the Blackened and win. They both get to escape the island. So Hibiki had an incentive to become an accomplice, yeah. Uh, I'm- God, poor Vicky, man. She can't even remember anything, though. She forgore. This is the true ending of this trial. The Otanakoji twins are the true culprits of this case. That is so crazy. I never would have guessed. Oh, you cannot admit that. No! Oh, God, I do have to do this mini game. Oh, Sora, do you really think that makes sense? Yes? I and I alone was the culprit. You think you're something special after hearing that disgusting theory from Shobai? I tried to admit my crime and die peacefully, but it seems like I can't even do that without taking a crack at your damn theory. Oh god, yeah. I had a feeling like she's gonna go back to these sprites once we were actually, uh, actually getting this. Open your fucking ear holes and listen. Oh god, no, no. I'm so scared. Oh god, I'm scared. I'm scared of this minigame and I'm scared of her. 
<laughs> okay, I think it's S to lock it in and then like Z to shoot or something like that. Oh god! <laughs> Jacob's shoot the top of the main. The next to keys change lanes. Use Z to fire. Words that appear only show for one to three seconds. Fail to hit them. We lose health and score. I suck so bad at this mini game. This game you'll need more health than your opponent. Like a non-stop, your opponent will have a weak argument. You'll have to hit the weak point with a reputation arrow. Of course, reputation arrows, yeah. Okay, so yeah, it was F to equip, shift to switch arrows. So yeah, I think I just kind of go over here for this. And I'm pretty sure it's uh, Z to hit it, right? Beware, shooting weak points with normal arrows will not work and you will lose progress. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, Kanadi about to slay Weeby. Yep, I'd say that's pretty accurate. I'd say that's pretty accurate as to what's gonna happen. Focus, listen, listen, listen to what? They don't speak, I have to read it. Find the contradiction in your opponent's words for everyone's sake. <laughs> I'm so scared of this mini game, man. Like, I am so scared of it without the voice acting. This is gonna be so, it's gonna be a lot. I'm just gonna say, it's gonna be a lot. Oh God, battle showdown. Oh no, please spare me, get on it. Use antibiotics, Aroha's accounts. Swimming pool gate, unused. Oh, unused antibiotics? I think we haven't used that one, right? Okay, um. Oh my god! Already! <laughs> no! <laughs> Spare me! Spare me! Spare me, queen! You've done nothing wrong! Oh god! <laughs> there were no logical contradictions! Most important, if you're the culprit in the double, you lose and win the trial! Why are you this desperate about the rebuttal? Oh god! <laughs> Don't I tell you, good grave, the love that could probably the Debena, even I've lost the battle with Humph and Debena without any evidence that the miss a damn time! <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! This is so hard! It's so scary! It's so scary with the sprites! And then it's so hard to figure out the order of what she's saying! I have no idea what she's saying right now. I just think I haven't used the unused antibiotics yet. So I'm like, hopefully, hopefully that's it. I don't know, man. I may have to ask the mods to give me the answers for these. Like, I wonder how other streamers did this. I need evidence. A clue that's not been used yet. Just the one clue that hasn't been used yet. Weeby. Oh, God. Who? 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 Okay, 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 okay. I got it. Kanade onesie. Weeby two. I just need to focus! Oh my god. I was gonna talk to just the disgusting can't wait and the twins ability is an evidence. This shade with count convention, it's just pointless. Passing army, hear me, have end of the details, not knowing. Okay, advance. I think it's the last one. I think I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> Blackhead theory, double black and theory is wrong and you win the trial. I don't Why is it those best about this rattle? <sighs> Didn't I tell you? Get to the grave. Da, 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 probably have a perfect. Da, 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 da. Oh god. Okay. S. Uh! Oh god. Oh god. I actually pressed it. Wrong button. Okay. Oh wait. What do I? What am I doing right now? X. Cancel. Oh, no! No! <laughs> no! Damn it! <laughs> now I pressed the wrong button. Okay. 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 It's fine. It's okay. Could have stopped. I've backed up for now. Okay. 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 I can do this. Okay. No. Um. No. Okay. 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 Oh, is she winning? Oh my god. Oh. Oh, it's okay. We'll see if I get it right, and then I'll let you know if we need to look up the answer. Thank you, though. Okay. I did not mean. Oh no. God damn it. I pressed. No, I did it wrong again. Damn it. Did you say she calls autist? What the fuck, Kanade? <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't read that last part. It just goes so fast. Okay. Okay. Killing it. Killing it. Sling. Okay, that's advanced. That's not that one. Oh, I think I breathe there for a second. I need some water. I need some water. <sighs> I'm like shaking. <laughs> oh God. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure it is that one. I just, oh God, I'm so mad that I pressed the wrong button. I think that is it. Okay, okay, okay. Don't 
<laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god! Ableist Kanade! I know, right? I was like, what the fuck? Oh hell yes! <laughs> That's about what I expected. Hey, you know, honestly, I'll take it. I'll take it, dude. I'll take it. I'm gonna go back to C. I'm gonna go back to see, like cancel Kanade for what she said, not for the awful murder that she did. <laughs> oh god! Oh my god! What the fuck, Kanade? What the fuck? Oh god! I'm so glad it was the last piece of evidence. <laughs> it would have taken me so long to feel like otherwise. <laughs> proof? You say there is no proof? Obviously, it was impossible from the start. A flawed theory. Let me ask Show by himself. Do you have any proof? Yes. I can forgive murder, but ableism is where I draw the line. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Plus Bane, for the for being a member. Oh God. Ah. And you claim to say you know something that even Show by is unaware of. Of course not. In the end, this was all just a baseless theory. No, I have proof. What? After hearing what Shobai said, I looked through every evidence I found once more. There was one single evidence that didn't have a place anywhere in his theory. Yet, nobody knew what it was for. The bottle of antibiotics near the pool. Antibiotics? I don't recall ever seeing that by the pool. But antibiotics in the pool? That's a pretty weird combination. What was that doing there? We can deduce its use if we combine it with Teruya's testimony. Teruya, when you testified about the blood packs, didn't you mention another chance in the infirmary? The infirmary? Oh yeah, the medical kit disappeared for a while and somebody put it back. Are you trying to... Are you talking about that? Medical kit? So, was that bottle from that kit? Well, I checked the inventory of each room three times a day. Morning, lunch, time, and evening. And the medical kit that was definitely there yesterday evening had disappeared when I checked the room this morning. I was gonna tell you guys. But I wasn't... <laughs> it feels so weird giving him a different voice. It's just I've been doing his voice for so long. But it wasn't like a murder weapon, and I just assumed somebody else needed it as an emergency. Then I saw it sitting there back in its place at lunchtime, as if nothing happened. So that means somebody used the medical kit this morning, right? What does this have anything to do with the theory we're dealing with? It looks unrelated to me. Oh yeah, um... I think I might have missed a dono or something. Okay, I think it was shocks. Oh, Lero, thank you for becoming a part of the Kindred Cult. I don't know if I welcomed you or not. I feel like I might have been doing the, uh, the rebuttal show. <laughs> I was so stressed I couldn't pay attention to the chat, like, at all. <laughs> oh, gosh. And thank you, uh, Shox, for the offer. Thankfully, I got it. I'll probably just try it, and then if it takes too long, I may have, like, you know, somebody look for the answer or something. So, we are replacing the amount with Kinji to Yassify. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. What could, uh, Kanadi's? Kanadi's def- well, Kanadi's definitely slay. <laughs> She is definitely a girl who slays. We do we do know that for sure. Thank you, Bunny, for the donation. What well, does this have anything to do with the theory we're dealing? Looks unrelated to me. As Terry said, a medical kit can't be used to kill someone. And since we're dealing with a murder, a medical kit used to save someone seems far off from the evidence we're looking for. However, I don't think that's the case. It was an insurance used by the culprit to create a double blackened situation. Situation. Insurance? You said that they used their primary hands to stab Setsuka simultaneously without any error, right? But as Shobai called it, Kanade is an extreme perfection. Yes, true, we have learned that. What if they managed to fail the timing? Oh no, they didn't! They were gonna use the... They were... They were gonna use it to heal Setsuka back up if it failed? Oh, wow. Oh my god, really? Exactly, Kanade had taken the medical kit with her for that exact reason. Oh! So that was why it was unopened. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Preposterous! How could you know if you had succeeded or not in the first place? Dude, Monocro exists for a reason, you know. So they stabbed Setsuka together and called Monocro to check if it could be accepted as a double blackened murder. Ah, uh, okay. That's what I was thinking because I was like... I do feel like Kanade, you know, she's like such a perfectionist for sure. Like, uh... She's such a freaking perfectionist, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, we should have the regular smile for Kanade. I love it because it's not a spoiler, but like, if you played this trial, you know why. <laughs> you know why it's so creepy, you know what I mean? Oh, that's cute. I'll have to see if we have any emote slots. Maybe I could replace uh, one with the Kanade smile. <laughs> I love that smile. Oh god. Murder. Yeah, is Monica even allowed to tell them that? 
I mean, there's no reason not to. Telling the Blacken that they are the Blacken shouldn't be a problem, right? Um... That aside, that bottle was decisive evidence. I never saw that during my investigation. Where the hell did you find that? I just kind of saw it rolling around near the pool. Oh. Uh, new sprites too! Bullshit! Gosh, she's got the most sprites out of anybody. I never even opened the damn thing! There's no way that I dropped the- Oh! oh got him! Got him! Celeste move right there! Puff. Ah, what now? Never opened the thing? You should have said that you never even took it, idiot. Now you admitted it yourself, that you took the medical kit. You realize that, right, Kanade Otanakoji? No, this isn't! You're making a mistake like that. That wasn't very like you. Was the bottle being on the ground that nonsensical? That aside, did she just confess it herself? Unbelievable! Even if I had dropped it, I would have heard it dropping considering its size! Or at the very least, I would have noticed the weight decrease from the medical kit! I didn't even leave it to Hibiki! I did this part myself! Just in case stuff like this happened! Oh, wow. Finally get to see her pride, like, uh... Her pride now come, like, crumbling down. Cause she, uh... She actually was the... The fatal flaw in her own case. Oh, that's nice. Cause I was like, it kind of feels bad if it's, like, just Hibiki that, like, messed up, you know? Unbelievable me! Making a mistake like this? No way! What rotten luck! Well, it seems like for the first time in this trial, we were able to see you getting truly flustered, Kanade. Well, we don't know the truth if you did or did not open the medical kit in the end. But if you were this surprised by this accident, then for us, I guess it was truly luck from the heavens. Kenji, blessing us. Um. Kanade, so can I take that as a yes? That both you and Hibiki murdered Setsuka. Okay, welcome. Damn, we're still going. Yeah, this is a really, this is a really long trial. And this is just the second part of the trial. We've already been streaming for how long? Three hours? <laughs> a little over three hours? That's crazy. Now that I think about it. So I think this one actually probably will be close for like four hours. Dang, that's wild. I cannot imagine if I tried to do it all last stream. That would have been... I think I would have been just like brain dead by the end of the stream. <laughs> Thanks, Kev, for stopping by. Play this game, by the way. Un unbelievable, this can't be happening. This doesn't make any sense. This can't be. If you still can't admit it, then I will go over this case from the start. You won't be able to escape this anymore. Yay, it truly is the end. Okay, I think I remember all this, but A key to see the details. Then what was the other one? Z to choose. And then I think just like this to look. Okay, that was mainly the thing I wanted to look at, honestly. Z to select the image once you've chosen, blah, blah, blah. Z to confirm, blah, 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 good luck. Yay, Aroha, cheat with me, queen. <laughs> oh God, I love this one now that, uh, now that I get to cheat. It's so nice, so relaxing. <laughs> okay, I don't know if it matters who read these or not. Sleeping pill was repaired in the morning meal while everyone was still asleep. It's kind of nice too, honestly, cause like, they already go through the case, so I don't know if there's really any point in me like reading these. So I said that's kind of weird. Oh, she looks so beautiful, Setsuka! No! Oh, poor girl. God. I'm interested to see the after trial. Oh, she looks so pretty! Ah! She's so disheveled and beautiful and like, oh, I just love her, man. She's so beautiful. Yeah, I'll just wait to read these afterwards because they're gonna go through everything again anyways. So I said it was kind of weird the closing argument goes into like such detail again after you uh, kind of go into detail yourself looking at these, you know? Come on, come on. Oh my god, you psycho, you psycho, psycho twins. Why, why would you do this? Hibiki, why? Girl, I thought you loved her. I thought you were a Setsuka stan. Oh, thank you, Madison. I think the most messed up thing in this trial is them, be, is them bringing the antibiotic. Imagine healing Setsuka, I know, and killing her repeatedly if they failed, like, I know, I was thinking that too, because it's not like they're gonna heal her and like, you know, make sure she's okay after we're just gonna keep doing it again and again. That's so odd, so my stuff, dude. I know, it's awful, dude. Yes, Kanade slay, yes she did, she did slay. She sure did slay. I can confirm, she did slay. Oh my God, you can see in the picture. 
I guess we'll see it again later, but you'll see in the picture too. Like uh, when the two twins are stabbing, you see like Kanadia with the psycho face and Hibiki with like a more uh, normal, normal face in that one. Kanadia is such a freaking psycho. <laughs> what is wrong with her? Oh no. Okay, no, let's go past that one quickly. Let's go past that one quickly, please. Oh gosh, I don't know. It's hard to decide who had a worse death in, death in this game. I feel like this one's just like, it's so like disrespectful, like what they did afterwards. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's partially like what makes it so awful. Like the dismembering part is just so fucked up. And then yeah, like the idea of, oh my gosh, she reading Gintama? I think I recognize him, hey. I like Gintama too, I need to catch up on it. <laughs> Nice, but yeah, I don't know. I think it's just, ugh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's so hard to decide. All their deaths were so bad, but I definitely think Kokoro's and Setsuka's were worse than, um, whatchamacallit, um, uh, Yuri's for sure. I miss Yuri, he was such a doofus. <laughs> he was such a little weirdo, but I liked that about him. Oh gosh, Satsuki! Ah, uh, Sora looks so pretty in that shot. I like that Aroha's uh, ability is so overpowered because it's like, <laughs> it's for stupid people like me and just like Aroha. Aroha kinnies, unite, unite. Okay, <laughs> listen, <laughs> let's go through these fast. Don't want to have to see that stuff again, Jesus. I like, yeah. I want to know if they are void or not too. I think that's another thing I'd really like to know. Early in the morning, when everyone was still asleep, the culprit was already busy at work, <laughs> and she was smiling evilly, evilly the whole fucking time. I guess she did just target target Setsuka because like Hibiki was the closest to Setsuka, and I have a feeling that yeah, Kanane doesn't want. Hibiki to rely on like anybody else besides her, so she always kills like people who get close to her. Ah oh, man, but I, I still want to know more about Hibiki, dude. Using the fact that Mikado prepares our breakfast early in advance, they put sleeping drugs in the coffee at Aroha's seat. This was to eliminate any alibi Aroha might have had in the afternoon. Ah, oh, she's so beautiful. Ah, she looks so good there. Oh my gosh, she looks so pretty. And when the day broke, the case began for real. As the culprit called Setsuka out of the pool, poor Setsuka. Before they head to the pool, the culprit took a large quantities of blood packs from a medical and a medical kit from the infirmary. Since it was already gone by the time to recheck it this morning, this was the only chance they had to take them. Then they arrived at the pool and attacked Setska. They didn't quite kill her just yet; only knocked her unconscious. Ah, oh, poor Setska, man. <laughs> so fucked up. Immediately after this, the culprit signaled another culprit of this case to the pool. Oh my god, I totally just like got Setsuka ready for slaying, Vicky. Come on over, queen, bestie, twinsies. Yeah, this was the first time that two people were both the culprit of one murder. Here, the first culprit handed their handbook to the other culprit over the gates. This was to manipulate the gay records, a crucial trick used throughout the case. The second culprit entered the pool using the handbook they were given. The end records of the first culprit and Setsuka already existed in the gate record database. So when the culprit entered through the gates, the result- Oh god, this is why I would have showed it out! The second culprit was able to leave the pool without using their own handbook and leaving a record. <laughs> this is yeah, the part I don't understand. Totally over my head. Sorry, I was born stupid. Man, I can't wait to get those stickers. I gotta- I gotta look for those. I think they're, maybe they're at my parents' house. Oh, thank you, Sean. Say what you want about Mitch, but Kanade is technically worse than him. I do love her, though. I know, I think it's just like- I think what's so funny about Mitch is like how awfully he's like presented, do you know what I mean? I feel like characters like Kanade where they're like obviously a terrible person, like obviously a much worse person than Mitch. She still has like, I guess like parts that like could be appealing to somebody. I feel like Mitch, he just shows up, he essays Akane, then he kills like the nicest character, like one of the nicest characters in the game. And then afterwards he's like, oh whatever, sorry, I didn't mean it or something. It's just like, he just, and then like in his free time events, there's no like sad story to like back it up, you know what I mean? I think that's like what kind of draws, that makes Mitch special for me, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it was like Lanouge didn't even try to make him likable. Next, the two stabbed the unconscious Setsuka and simultaneously with a knife. Originally, the one who stabbed the late, 
who stabbed later would become the real culprit, even if it was a matter of milliseconds. However, our killer has had an extreme sense of rhythm. I'm so sad they're both gonna die, though. I love them both. With each other, with each other enough to, no, the Kazuna voice. No, it's gonna be gone. That's so sad. Uh. Oh, sorry, I was just like reading the chat a little bit. Uh, however, our killers had an extreme sense of rhythm with each other, enough to a point its difference was undetectable. This was because they were twins that had ultimate talents related to rhythm. Da -na 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 -na. After confirming the fact that they stabbed her at the same, same time, the first culprit left the pool. There, they used Setsuka's handbook to make it seem like there was nobody at the pool according to the records. As she was leaving, she also put a sign that said, pool sanitation time, please do not enter, in front of the pool. This way, no one else would enter the pool while they took care of the body. However, the culprit made a huge mistake here. Oh god, I do not want to see that. I oh, thank you, KZ, but Kanade, how does that feel not being invited to the trip to Mexico? Instead of that, you died. Best ending. Everyone's partying in Mexico, minus Kanade. Kanade gets to go to Hawaii with Mitch. I think we've, uh, I think we've decided that she gets to go to Hawaii with Mitch. Wait, guys, I can just give Taruya the Kazuna voice since he's in need of a new voice. <laughs> Screw the southern accent. We'll just give him the Kazuna voice. That'll be great. However, the culprit made a huge mistake here. The medical kit... <laughs> get mad at Taruya with the Kazuna voice. <laughs> the medical kit that was prepared as an insurance to heal Setsuka in case that they mistimed stabbing her. At least they didn't have to do that, dude. Simultaneously. While they were leaving with the newly useless medical kit, a bottle of antibiotics had dropped from it. They're not sure how the culprit... We're not sure how the culprit didn't notice this, but we were able to prove the double blacken theory using this evidence. Some of me thought that maybe like it was Hibiki involved in some way to like, cause she wanted to like, nah, it doesn't make any sense. Never mind. I was saying like she felt guilty for killing Setsuka, but it's like, girl, you could just not do this. You could just not, you know, like you don't have to go through this like dropping the bottle thing for your redemption. Like you could just have not done it in the first place. You know what I mean? After the culprit left, she re-enters the pool after three hours with the tools she needed. The three hours were left blank intentionally to frame Aroha in the near future. Once they had the tools they needed, they began doing their business for a few hours. And by a business, I mean, I was like, I thought it was gonna be like, I'm not gonna say it. Cutting up Setsuka's corpse into multiple pieces. The reason they dismember her body was to transfer the body to a different place. Which I'll get in a mo get to in a moment. Here they got rid of the abdomen that had marks that showed two people, one left-handed and one right-handed, and stabbed the body. Okay, I just had to move off of that before I served the donuts again. I think Kanade deserves a trip to rock bottom. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> basically, yeah, I was like, saw somebody say send her to Ohio. <laughs> Somewhere not even like nice. <laughs> Why does Mitch get to go to Hawaii, by the way? I cannot accept slandering Taria's voice. <laughs> What's a wrong Kiyoko? It's just me, Taruya. What entire nation is going on? Disguise is the first culprit. They were twins, so a little bit of disguise was enough to make them completely indistinguishable. Thanks, guys, for the donations, by the way. To regret their body shape, they put Setsuka's two hands into a plastic bag and pinned it to her chest. They needed Setsuka's hands with them to open her handbook for the tricks they needed to pull off in the future. And by carrying the hands as a disguise, it was like killing two birds with one stone. I mean, my was probably not that bad. But it's not like a vacation place, you know what I mean? Because they carried Setsuka's hands with them, they were able to use her handbook freely, just like Emma did. Never mind. A center to Antarctica? Eh, maybe. <laughs> Damn, why? <laughs> Never mind, it sucks here. I'm sure Ohio's fine. I just went somewhere that wasn't, like, touristy. And I feel like Ohio is, like, a... Uh, Kind of just like one of the first places I think of when I think of like somewhere not touristy. She should be sent to New Mexico. Oh my god, New Mexico, no! Oh, that's perfect! New Mexico I think is nice though. Oh my god, she can hang out with the Breaking Bad characters! Slay! She can start, start working with Mr. White! Yay! Perfect! Oh god, we have to have like an edit of her at like, what was that story that uh... Gus owned. It was like the po I want to. It's not El Pollo Loco because that's an actual story. It's like a. It is something Pollo though. Oh god, that's great though. <laughs> what edits of them? What, what edits of Kanade with the Breaking Bad cast? Hawaii with Mitch. It's fate worse than death. I never had as much trouble in any case until this. Yeah, this one was pretty tough. It was pretty pretty tough, honestly. Pretty confusing. But uh, thanks guys for the donations. I appreciate it. Because they carried Setsuka's hands with them, they were able to use her handbook freely, just like Emma did. 
The culprit then sent a message to Aroha using Setsuka's handbook. The message called for her to be in front of the Mirror Mansion at 1800. It was because of this message that Aroha wasn't able to participate with us during the parade. After sending this message, the second culprit leaves the pool whilst disguised. She puts the sign in front of the pool back inside and walks her way to block A. After arriving at the ghost house, she undisguised herself and enters the ghost house while deliberately getting witnessed by Aroha. By getting witnessed by Aroha, the culprit later used this fact to frame Aroha and make her seem suspicious. However, amidst the rush of changing her disguise, the pins used to hold the plastic bags had dropped on the ground, which were used in this trial as important piece of evidence against her. God, this case is just so wild, man. <laughs> so wild. How do you think of this? Entering the ghost house, the culprit ran up inside to cut the wires to the fuse box to cause a blackout. They also put out the fire in the fireplace, though this was because they needed it to be that way for the other culprit to utilize the chimney later on. Oh, thank you, Jolly, for the uh, 199 donation. Looks like the message was uh, deleted there, so it might have been spoilers or something. Guys, yeah, just remember, uh, no spoilers or hints or anything in chat. The blackout itself was so that others wouldn't notice what happened inside the ghost house. A little later, the second culprit redisguised herself as the first culprit and left the ghost house to join the rest of us at the parade. Oh, we look so- oh, look at Shinji, dude! Oh my god, head empty, pure. He's so pure, man. Just that innocent look in his eyes. I love Shinji, dude. He's so cute. I'm so scared for you, buddy, though, because next chapter is chapter four. I'm really worried. I'm really worried. Really worried for poor little Shinji. Of course, none of us even had the thought that the culprit had disguised into someone else. Oh yeah, wait, I think I unclicked off of it. So the second culprit was able to watch the parade with us without any suspicion. At the time, the culprit was waiting for the monorail at the Block C station. They had moved the corpse pieces to the station from the pool prior to the second person heading over to the ghost house. While the second culprit was over at the ghost house, the first culprit was busy with her work as well. It's crazy too that Kanade was like planning a murder from like, uh... <laughs> from even like last chapter, she was like, Hibiki, cut it out, I gotta use that later. I gotta use that to kill your bestie, your sis, your other sis, your new big sis. Oh god, I bet. I wonder if like it pissed Kanade off that Setsuka kept saying like big sis. She's like, I'm the big sis. She's like, I'm the sister, not you. Or wait, was it? Is Kanade? I think Kanade is the older one by like a second, right? Or something like that. Getting rid of the signpost before leaving the pool and putting the chess piece inside one of the parade dolls in Block C storehouse. At 1810, the monorail headed to Block A arrives and the first culprit began the process of moving the body. They met the method they used was to throw each body piece through the chimney once the monorail goes past the ghost house one by one. This method, while seemingly impossible for anyone else, was done with ease by our culprit. Are people shipping Kanade with Mish and chat? Oh, Kanade's younger, Hibiki's the older one. Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot for a second. I was like, it would be kind of interesting if yeah, she was the big sister, because then I could see that really pissing her off. Setsuka being like, big sis Setsuka, but I can still see her saying the sister thing could be, uh, you know, different. But yeah, I think uh, that's a fate that Mitch deserves, getting shipped with Kanade. <laughs> uh, them in New Mexico or Hawaii or wherever they go together. They can enjoy each other and have a great time. This method, while seemingly impossible for anyone else, was done with ease by our culprit. It made it seem like the corpse had teleported inside the ghost house. However, since the ghost house was next to the track that connected Block A and C, she only had four chances to throw the body pieces, considering that the monorail is only active every other hour. This is the most complicated, the co most complicated murder plan ever. As seven pieces, even excluding this, this is, I still say this is co more complicated than uh, Nagito's and Danganronpa 2. As seven pieces, even excluding the two hands and the chest that she stuffed inside the parade dolls needed to be transferred. She calculated the monorail timetable and went back and forth between block A and C. Using this method, they had exactly seven chances to throw the body pieces in one hour, and with the culprit's perfect aiming abilities, the transferring was done. After all the body pieces had been safely thrown inside the chimney, she leaves empty-handed and headed to the storehouse. The parade was almost over, and the chest pieces had been delivered to Block A by then. Meanwhile, the second culprit and the crew were becoming anxious about Setsuka's absence, and they began a search, pretending to look for her hand and healing, and heading to the Block A storehouse. The two Blackens meet up and switch places. 
The reason the second culprit disguised in the first place was to create an alibi where the first culprit was busy throwing, throwing corpses off the monorail. I love how casually we say that. And since that was finished, there was no reason for the disguise from then on. I had just finished investigating the ghost house. Ah, oh, she looks so cute here. I love the art in these. It looks so nice. It really is hard to believe it was a fan game, man. I can't believe it sucks so bad that Lanouche was not able to like make money off of this game. Like, success. I wonder if there's a place I can just like separately donate to them. You know what I mean? Cause like, ah, it's just like so much effort and time has been put in this game. I definitely want to support whatever project they work on after this, you know? I just finished investigating the ghost house and was leaving without any results. And after confirming that I left, the first culprit signals the second culprit who was still hiding inside the storehouse. The second culprit swiftly enters the ghost house with the chess pieces they hid inside the storehouse. Here, she uses Setsuka's handbook. <sighs> so gross. So it'd be an ID without an out record at the ghost house. I like the amount of planning, it's just so much. After this, they put all the body pieces, including the two hands used for disguise, and the pieces inside the fireplace on the altar. Once the setting was complete, they moved the folding screen in front of the entrance to create space and start to flood the place with blood using the blood packs they prepared. This was to create the illusion that the crime scene was the ghost house and the culprit dismembered the corpse behind the folding screen. Wow, they even, they even did all that, dude. <laughs> so much. They created a huge trail of blood leading up to the altar and spread some of the altar, some on the altar as well for good measure. After all this was done, the culprit deliberately dropped their hairpin, her hairpin near the altar. Does a Lelouch like work with anybody else on these or do they do like all of this by themselves? Like that's another thing that I wonder too. And yeah, they should make merch. I feel like merch would probably be okay, right? I was like, if they do everything, then that's, that's insane, insane talent. And sent everyone a message using Setsuka's handbook. The message had to be, surely they have to work with somebody else for this. Like, I can't imagine, that'd be crazy. The mes message had to vaguely remind everyone of the ghost house and was used to call everyone to that place. Then they hid in the space between the folding screen, waiting for the others to arrive. As they arrived, we followed the trail of blood to the altar without any suspicion and ultimately entered the altar, where we found the body of Setsuka. And this was how the two culprits managed to move the body and fool everyone. The cruel killer, no killers, who didn't just murder Setsuka, but cut her body into pieces, psychopaths. Yes, the culprits who committed this atrocity of a crime. Oh my god, this is so crazy, dude. Oh my god. That is wild. Oh no, Hibiki! He's like, I didn't even remember this. Oh my god, I thought I was being gla gaslit earlier, but it really was me. Damn it. Kanadi Otanakoji and Hibiki Otanakoji, the ultimate car guitarist and ultimate vocalist. Oh, she is so disgusted. Sora's so dead with y'all shit. Fucking Kanadi looking evil, too. <laughs> Mastermind of. Oh no! Hibiki! Oh, I feel kind of kitsch in the chat, the, the Kanade midship. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh my god, Lanouge works by himself? <sighs> That's crazy! What's Lanouge's pronouns, by the way? Are they he? I see people say he, but I wasn't sure. Oh girl, it's all over now. Oh my gosh. Are you still going to defend yourself, Kanade? Hibiki, it's the same for you. I forgot! How many times do I have to tell you this, Sora? You might not have memory of it, but the result of this trial shows the fact. The fact that you are also the ones who killed Setsuka. No, that can't be. I'm innocent. I couldn't have killed Suka. Yeah, this is a dream. It's all a job. Feel... Ah, Hibiki! Ah. I just want to hug her. Can we, like, have an exception? She forgot. She didn't mean it. She didn't mean it. It's fine. I forgive her. She did nothing wrong. Okay, he him. I wasn't totally sure. Because sometimes I feel like people just assume he him. So I wasn't totally sure if it was, like, people just assuming that or if it was actually that. It was a dream. It's all a dream. Kanani can never kill someone. Uh, girl, that's not. That's not true. Let alone me. Wake up. Wake up, Hibiki Otenokoji. Hibiki. Hibiki, I'm afraid this is not a dream. Whether you remember it or not, you have committed a murder and lost the class trial. If the answer we've dedu deduced is true, you'll soon be dead. What? Die? Me? Uh, but that, that's a bit weird. I, I haven't done anything. We should make an exception for her. Come on! Ah, I want an exception for Hibiki. Guys, Monochrome, I have the Kazuna voice. Uh, surely that means something. That You gotta save me. Um, 
Well, she does have the Kazuna voice, so maybe we can make one exception. She she did for Gore, I, I, I noticed as well. Come on, guys. Kanade, say something to them. Uh, we can never actually kill someone, right? Right, Kanade? Did she have Ibiki involved in her other little plots, too? I wonder if that's the case as well. We never really uh, talked too much about that. Don't just stand there, please. Oh, no, Ibiki! No! She's pure! She's innocent! A sniff, sob. Help me. Like, you've always done, like, when we were young. Maybe I do like Hibiki more. Maybe I'm switching. I feel sad. Just like, uh, she doesn't deserve this, dude. She doesn't deserve it. Sis. Fan theory, Kanade. What the actual... <laughs> Save everybody from Kanade, please. I know. I know. Ah, oh, man. This is too much, dude. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Sis. When something bad happened, you were always there to take care of me. It's so coincidental that bad things kept happening to me, though. I'm sorry if I was being harsh on you. I apologize for everything. Just help me. Kanade ultimately lost the trial. Even she can't help you in this situation. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh, no! No, dude! I need a Vicky plush. I need to comfort her. I'm, ah, I feel so bad for no, she didn't do anything wrong. Oh, no. Let me out. I'm going to break this door open. No, no, Hibiki. The trial is still in session. Please return to your seat immediately. This is too fucking much, dude. This is too much for me to handle. I can't. I cannot handle this. Ah. Oh, my God. Let me go. I hate it here. Hibiki said, ha. She's such a sweetheart. Well, not to Kanade, but Kanade kind of deserves <laughs> Let's be real. Let's be real. She kind of deserves. She kind of, she deserves all the picking that Hibiki does to her, honestly. Uh, I guess that could have made, been what made her so fucked up in the first place, though. Like, ah! It's just like, man, it just sucks. She doesn't even remember doing it. It's like, ah, it's like gone all over again, dude. I hate it here. Let me go home. I need to save my parents. I'm so sick of this place. Let me out. Just let me out. Ah! Oh, girl. Hibiki. Hibiki, calm down. I wonder, does that girl have any medical disorders? What? I've been keeping an eye on her since she was a suspect during the trial. But something's off with that girl. Which, which one? I mean, the younger sis is a crazy bitch for sure. But the older sis isn't far off as far as I can tell. This, uh, this is a warning. If you do not return to your seat, you will be severely punished. Oh no, she can get punished before, before even execution time. Kanade, at least save her for now. I don't even know if she cares anymore, dude. Just shut up! Kanade? <laughs> Sis. Oh, oh god. So adorable! Oh, what in tarnation? I have no way to run, right? If you can't avoid it, enjoy it. It is tragic that my plan failed, but if I get to see my sister's most despairful dying moments while I die, maybe she doesn't love her. Maybe she doesn't. That doesn't seem that bad of a death. You won. You were the culprit. We were the culprit of this case. Okay, maybe I was wrong about her loving her sister. It seems like uh, I might have been wrong about that. Okay, let's see, baby. Let's see the sea. <laughs> I guessed it right. Let's see the sea. You've gained 2,375. Oh my god. I bet there is like playthroughs where people have like maxed it out like perfectly. God, that would be pretty tough though. I guess if you already know the answer, that would help a lot. Oh gosh. At least I got some monocro coins. Some crypto crow. Yay. <laughs> That's kind of what I expected, honestly. I feel like it got hundreds for most parts, but uh, yeah, that one, that one thing towards the end, you know, that was a little round. That was a little round. We're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about that one. I got a B last time, you know. That's all my brain. That's, that was too much brain power for me, so I gotta go back down to C. Um, it's good that you resolved everything, but this silence. Now that you've reached an answer for real this time, it's voting time. I swear, if it gets interrupted again, I'm going to quit this job. Guys, interrupt him. We can end the killing game here. Uh, anyways, vote for the culprit with the switch in front of you. Since the answer you've deduced is a double culprit, 
which is a dip first in Danganronpa history. I've spe spe specially prepared a panel marked Otanakoji twins in the voting screen just for this occasion. If you truly believe that the two of them are the culprits, vote for that panel, capiche? Now, will that answer be the truth or not? No! Oh, God. Verdict! I kind of want to know what everybody else got on the trial cases, like what Blaze and the other list players got on these. They're pretty tough, dude. <laughs> Both of us! Sisters who slay together. You love to see it. <laughs> love to see it, man. Fan theory. I would rather be in a room with Monica than with this crazy... <laughs> nice. Nice. Thank you, Woody. Thanks for the donation, by the way. Would you like to save the game? Yes. For sure. I did better than I thought I would, honestly, without the voice acting, though. I was like, see, he's better than, uh, <laughs> I don't know, failing, which is kind of what I thought I was going to have to deal with for a second. <laughs> um, um, the real culprit who murdered Setsuka Chibakuro was Hibiki Otanakoji and Kanadi Otanakoji. Correct, you got them both right. So they really... They're both a culprit? To be honest, when they stabbed them together, I had a hard time deciding on what to make of it. A class trial is a system by definition that while multiple victims can occur for one case, no two students can be the culprit. However, I replayed the clip countless times. And no matter how you look at it, they stabbed her simultaneously. Jesus. All my Hibiki fans, how are we feeling? Bad, bad, we're not doing good. Oh, trigger warning? Okay, so it seems like this is probably the part where the trigger warning comes into place. Um, so, let's see, is there, um, I don't know exactly what to say, what the trigger warning is for, though. It's like, I don't even know if that's, like, a spoiler, too, to say it, you know what I mean? Sisters who slay together, pay together, they do have to pay, <laughs> they do have to pay for the crimes. And yeah, please, guys, no, like, really graphic, uh, jokes for, uh, the execution, please. <laughs> like, uh, I think some jokes are fine, but, like, yeah, I think the Setsuka ones went, like, way too far simultaneously. Even the computer couldn't detect the time difference. I had no choice but to admit it. In this killing school trip, the rules are absolute. And this case did obey the rules. My most honorable praise for the twins, as they found a loophole in the rules and used their talents to pull off a feat truly impossible. I was confident I would win this trial. I like her Japanese voice too, nice. Uh, trigger warning for graphic content. Okay, so yeah, I guess it's likely for the um, likely for the execution too. So I guess once we get kind of like closer to it too, I can say it again. I was confident. I just wasn't sure if it was actually like a uh, actually trigger warning for this entire post trial. That's what I was unsure about. I was like, this trial's been so crazy. I don't know if I should just trigger. Okay, just trigger warning for the entire post trial then. If you guys can't handle uh, graphic content, because <laughs> it's like I don't. I just don't know what to say. Uh, gosh, I don't know exactly what to say. I was confident I would win this trial. You would have lost it if you voted for my sis, and that would, result wouldn't have changed even if you voted for me. A very disturbing imagery coming up in a few minutes. Okay. So it seems like just in general, trigger warning for anybody who can't handle, like, uh, graphic content. Just in general, not even just the execution, so. Might, uh, just... For anybody who wants to, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> be warned, you might want to click off the video and uh, try to do some self-care, drink some tea or something. Uh, okay, uh, message was deleted. Uh, thank you, random uh, caller Dan, for the donation. But yes, please, no hints or spoilers or, um, like, too graphic of jokes. Okay. Whoever you had voted for, I was going to be safe. And I even had a backup plan of framing Aroha. But this plan to fail, I truly did not expect this to happen, especially considering how stupid you guys are. It seems like I underestimated both Shobai and Sora. She's right, we contributed nothing to this trial. <laughs> As per usual, if it wasn't for those two. Honestly, I was mentally prepared for Shobai. I can estimate the threat level of a person immediately at first glance. And ever since our first encounter, I always have been cautious of you. But Sora, what are you? You have nothing special, nothing special to boot, and you can't even remember your own talent. You couldn't even spell refrigerator last trial. How was I supposed to suspect that you would catch on to this? How was someone like you able to win against someone like me? Sora, what really is your talent? 
That's what I want to know. Can you, can you not make that face, huh? You. Twins, answer me. Why in the world did you murder Setsuka? Especially like that. Nikkei. Oh, it's wrong. I thought you didn't care about whether we tied or not. Little Nikki Wiki. Well, I do have an idea of why you're acting like that. What's that supposed to mean? Forget it. It's not like I'm going to tell you anyways. I know everything. That aside, you asked me why I killed Setsuka, yes? Kanade, I can understand maybe, but Hibiki was very intimate with Setsuka. Why did Hibiki help murder Setsuka? Don't you get it, bro? They're voids! Both of them! Nah, they're not gonna be voids. That's what we're gonna learn. The, the prime lesson of this case is that it's not just the voids that are fucked up. All of us are fucked up. Yay! Good times! They're voids, both of them! Obviously, that's the only logical reason. It happened last time and the one before. We're trying our best to harmonize and survive, and they're trying to ruin it! You guys are about to get knocked on your butt so, so fast, dude. Then the two twins were both voids! You can- Oh my god, I love- <laughs> That stupid spray, dude, I cannot get over it. Is that really how it is? Speak up, Hibiki Kanade! <laughs> I swear to god! Oh no, Hibiki! Hibiki! Were the two twins voids? Was that again the reason that this murder had to happen? We have three void survivors. If we include Mikado, the two of them are voids. We know now the identity of all five voids. Yeah, I, s I severely doubt that. Severely. And just when we were waiting for the twins to answer... Um, I'm terribly sorry to interrupt this, but... Oh, thank you, Wolf Allen. It's okay, Sora. I can't spell <laughs> refrigerator either. What do you mean you spelt it perfectly? I don't even know what a refrigerator is. <laughs> is that really her default sprite? <laughs> She looks so creepy. It's just like after she does all the crazy shit and then she goes back to It just like it freaks me out so much man. Oh god. Oh man. Yeah, I was like we I need to add that as an emoji for uh, the chats for sure um, I'm terribly sorry to interrupt this, but then don't spike another word. So just shut up <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> I like that. I like his voice too. I haven't even told you what I was going to say. You're being especially rude to me today, Teruya. I know you're upset that I dumped you for Ducky-chan, but come on. Well, I do have some important news. The thing is... So they're not voids, those two twins. Yeah. What? What do you mean? Why are you the one to decide that, you little? I think you any things. A fan theory. Remember, Kanade is the one who tried to frame Aroha. Then she is saying Sora is smart. I think Kanade is just dumb. Ah! I don't know, she do be pretty. Uh, she's pretty smart though, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that is, uh, that is uh, interesting though. Maybe, maybe that is the truth. Maybe it is. Maybe she was the dumb one all along. But thank you for the donation, I appreciate it. Also, yeah, the Sinsu Kanade's name's pretty meme -y. Oh my god, 3,000 viewers? Thank you guys so much for that, holy crap. What do you mean? Why are you the one to decide that, you little? No, he's absolutely right. The Otanakoji twins have no relations with us voids. Ha ha ha! Mm -hmm. and, but the voids uh, are supposed to murder each other. Oh, no, they're just gonna all like, <laughs> just break down their minds, just gonna go into self-destruct mode. But, but no, voids must be evil. There's no other, no other, uh, no other, no other explanation. And then, yeah. If it seems you have con- it seems like you're confused because the previous murders were all committed by voids. But the voids are simply there for a plan B. I've repeated myself countless times. We already had- <laughs> Kanadi was messed up enough to do this on her own. Anyone can be a murderer! Hump, um, I can tell that at a glance. The voids, up until now, strictly did things by the rules. They wouldn't dare do something this vague on whether it's against the rules or not. And that is exactly why I feel very conflicted about this. Where was my poor void fellow when they were supposed to... When they were supposed to kill this time? What? But... That means they killed someone when they weren't even a void? <laughs> does not compute! Does not compute! Why? If they weren't a void, what reason was there for them to kill someone? Ugh! That's right, Yuki. We've made a mistake in thinking it was common sense that a void will always be the one to murder us. We have to think, Yuki, think! There was a motive for every one of us this time. The motive videos that Mikado gave us. 
I wonder if that was really even like what caused the motive. Kanade just seems kind of messed up, honestly. Like she was already kind of planning to kill, I feel like from chapter two. So it was like at least chapter two, maybe earlier. <laughs> she probably heard the rules and was like, oh sweet, this is gonna be fun. Oh, Kanade, you psych. <laughs> That's right, even I had forgotten about it. The black end of this case gets to not only escape this island if they win, but they also get to know the ending of their motive video. The motive video I saw didn't affect me in any way, but for the others, things were different. I guess it would mostly be what would convince Hibiki to like, you know, also join as well, I guess. Oh, thank you, Violet, for becoming an ultimate supreme later. Thank you, I appreciate that, that's so sweet. It even came up during the class trial. Hibiki, Hibiki and Kanade said that their parents were in trouble in their motive video. That was their first motive for this murder. Dang it, I should have been more careful. I was so confused in the voids that I forgot about something more important. Ah, Mikado, you! This is all because of you forcing us to murder each other with motives or whatever. Yeah, I think Kanade was gonna murder no matter what, honestly. I'll never forgive you. Um, excuse me. I am crazy all on my own, guys. I don't need any motives, okay? Just to let you guys know. It wasn't really like that. Uh, what? I said I didn't do it necessarily for those stupid videos. Yeah, I, had a f I had a feeling. My sister could have done it for our parents, but to be honest with you, I couldn't care less about those things. Those things, but they're your family. <laughs> my sister's the only family I've got. So she does have some weird fucking love-hate relationship with her sister. It's so confusing, man. I don't understand it. And you said it yourself during the trial. It was like, she loves her sister, but she also loves seeing her die? I've been planning a double black and murder. Oh, okay, literally what I just said. I've been planning a double black and murder ever since I heard about the rules of this class trial. She really was like, oh my god, hearing the rules and she was like, oh my god, sweet. This is gonna be so fun. The motive videos were distributed just yesterday, so how could those be motives for her murders? Ah, uh, oh my god, Hibiki! Maybe she is like a Yanare for her sister? Obviously, like, no romantic interest involved in it, but just like, she's, oh god, she is wild, dude, wild, oh my god. Then, is there a different word if it's like not romantic interest related, if it's like family related? I feel like it would still just be Yandere, but I'm not totally sure. Then why would you do something as horrible as killing someone? <laughs> I don't know where to start. Well, everyone, take a look at Hibiki here. Let's start from there. Oh, I'm so scared! <laughs> what about Hibiki? Don't you think something's off about her? Um, Hibiki? Oh no, what did you do to her? Hibiki, you're still part of all this. Speak up! No, Hibiki! <gasps> I feel like, okay, so Jobai was saying there's like mental stuff wrong with her. I wonder if it's like, I don't know, like she like messed with her head herself. Like, I don't know, like the lobotomy thing, you know, like from talking about three or something. That's like honestly what I'm thinking. And she like literally is like psycho enough to do it. You know what I mean? Like she really would do it. Is she all right? Oh my God, so cute. The hell? Kanade? Everyone, everyone meet my lifelong project. Oh, what did you do? What did you do? I need bitch done. I need bitch to cover me. What did you do to her? What did you do to her? My lifelong project and the motive for this murder. So what do you think? Ah! What nonsense is that? I can't, I can't keep up with all this. Still don't get it. I'll tell you everything one by one. Hibiki hand. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. She can literally just control her like a doll. Whoa. No, Hibiki. She like, what's up with her personality then? Like, I don't understand. It's like her personality entirely fabricated too. Oh my god. I'm mortified. Do a backflip, <laughs> good girl. Oh gosh, she really is like a dog. That scared me, what the fuck? I see you love me with a smile. I love you, Kanade. What the fuck? Oh my god, my brain is melting. 
My brain is melting right now, dude. It it's on site for Kanade. Justice for Hibiki and so I know! Hibiki doesn't deserve any of this, dude. Any of this at all. I bet it was some, like, lobotomy or just something like that. To, like, mess with her brain and make her, like, a puppet. Oh, I'm so fucked up! Okay, fuck you, Kanade. No forgiveness. Oh! And me too! I love you, Hibiki! Oh, God. I bet, like, the personality she has now is, like, based off of, like... Hibiki's actual personality, but like she probably just made it to where she could like control her fully. What? What is this? What's going on? Hibiki? Hibiki, wake up, Hibiki! It's no use. Hibiki in the state can only listen and react to me. How'd you do it? Hypnosis, mind control, or is it just when she gets like triggered? So that was what you meant by that. No wonder the little shit's actions didn't make sense. Shobai, do you know what's going on? Uh, how can I put this? The culprit of this case wasn't Kanade, Otanakoji, and Hibiki Otanakoji. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What is wrong with her? What is wrong with her? Oh, my God. I think if you threw holy water in her, she would just burst into flames. Like, I don't think Kinji could do anything to her. Oh, so you literally said, Shucks, Kenji, we need the holy water stat. No, she would just burst into flames on on site. Like, not even remotely. <laughs> d d would not do anything. She is way too far gone. But more like Kanade Otanakoji and also Kanade Otanakoji. I was hoping maybe it was just like when she was triggered, she could kind of manipulate her. But yeah, no, I think it's I think it's the other thing I was thinking of. Uh... What do you mean? Speak some sense! Why the hell are you always shouting at me? The trial's over, so I'm gonna give... So I'm not gonna give two shits about you. Come on, dude! Ask the girl yourself. So, did you all agree that my precious toy is adorable? Kanade, Kana would you please... I don't know! I think I'm okay. I'm good. I don't need an explanation. Let's just get... Chop, chop, Monica. Let's get the, let's get the execution ready. Uh, let's just let's just move on. I don't know if I need to hear this. Would you please cut... I actually am interested, though. But it's just... It's gonna be really fucked up, man. Would you please kindly explain what's going on? I do not claim the negative energy from this video. Do not claim the negative energy from Kanade whatsoever. My pleasure. We two are gonna die anyways, after all. Uh, if we're gonna talk about this, everyone started way back when we were young. Okay, yeah, I have a feeling this is gonna be especially where the trigger warning comes into play, guys. She makes Karekio seem normal. For real? Oh my god, I thought Karekio was the worst one. <laughs> it's Kanade! <laughs> oh, I think I get why that Karekio chat was deleted then. Now that I think about it. Oh, the sister complex. Now I get it. Now I get it. Okay. Oh, I get a trauma dump. <laughs> I don't know. If, I feel like this trauma dump is more Kanade just giving trauma to Hibiki, though. It's not really her own personal trauma dump, you know what I mean? I think you would eat things. A fan theory. Now that I think about... Oh, okay. It was deleted. I guess it was a good thing I didn't read it then. Okay, so it might be a spoiler. Guys, remember no spoilers or hints or anything like that, please. But uh, thanks for the donation. Um, if we're gonna talk about this, everything started way back when we were young. We are identical twins, 10 seconds apart from each other. Oh, thank you, Z-Pops, for becoming a part of the Kindra Cult. I can't remember if I knew it instinctively when I was born, but I realized something when I was around three or four that I was better than Hibiki in every way. Yeah, I remember, I remember, oh God, that was her trauma dump, that I'm just so perfect and so awesome. It's just so hard, Sora. I do remember that trauma dump during her free time events. Oh, thank you, Ryan. Kanani is worse than Karekio. Oh, oh, 100, 100% sure. 100% million. 100 million percent sure, for sure worse. What are you talking about your talents? Thank you for the donation, by the way. Everything, talent, personality, skills, or whatever. As I realized that, Hibiki must have also realized that she was the lesser of the two. And ever since she acknowledged that when we were young, she had been abusive towards me. As I was too young at that age, I didn't object to her actions. Yeah, so it's all just based off of what it was when they were kids. But Hibiki's not like a real person anymore, is she? Ah! And I ended up giving it into her. 
and one day her mother told my sis to play with me for a change. But Hibiki back then loved Shiro. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is where it's coming. Shiro so much that she replied she loved Shiro more than me. And those words, it hurt a lot, especially as a kid. I guess at least she's got like some trauma to dump, but like not, not worse. <laughs> not freaking worse than the trauma that you are, you've given to Hibiki, girlfriend. Oh, thank you, cool Mitch. Emma, revive yourself. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I know. <laughs> I don't know if she can. I don't think she's in Mexico. You know, she's busy right now. I think you witty things. Quick question. How do you become a member? Uh, there should be the top link in the description because I think like you can't join on mobile. For, I think if you I think you can only join on mobile if you click that link in the description. I believe I believe so. But yeah, um, should be that if that doesn't work, though, on mobile, it should work on um, on desktop. You can just click that link. But uh, thank you for also become wanting to become a member, too. I appreciate it. And those words hurt a lot, especially as a kid. Shiro, who's that? Oh, fuck you, cannot. Oh, fuck you. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't. You don't mess with the dogs. You don't. You don't mess with the dogs. A puppy we used to have as children. Please tell me it's not going to show it. Because that really is going to... That really is going to trigger me, too, if they show... Uh, it's not... No. Please, God, no. A small, kind, white... T oh, little poodle. White teacup poodle who is really friendly with people. You, fuck you, Kanata. I don't forgive you anymore. This is... And even when I was being abused by Hibiki, I still loved Hibiki. I thought of her as family and I wanted to get along with her. But when I heard that Hibiki liked some puppy more than me, I felt an uncontrollable wave of, of jealousy. As long as Shiro was alive... I was never gonna get closer with Hibiki. You fucking bitch, you bitch, Kanade! <laughs> you bitch! Oh my god, Matoshi, holy crap. Thank you for that donation. Wow, that's so generous. $50? Wow. Good luck doing it, Kanade did nothing wrong. She did everything wrong. Everything wrong, literally. <laughs> everything she's done in her whole entire life has been wrong. Um, it's gonna be a Kanade did nothing right video, honestly. <laughs> honestly. Uh, it's so sad, too. One of my best friends, her dog's like a poodle mix, so it's just making me think of that little sweet, the little, little sweet dogs. They had two dogs. Ugh. Man. Ugh. Oh, fuck you, Kanade. That was when I decided to get rid of it. Get rid of it? Eh? What do you mean? You mean you kindly sent it to another family and let them have the dog? Right? You, you just donated the dog to a nice, wealthy family that was responsible enough to take care of it. Right, Kanade? Right? That's what you did. Right, bestie? That's what you did, Kanade? Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't breathe. Thank you, Chester, for donating a dollar. <laughs> what do I mean by that? I literally got rid of it. The next day when I was alone at home. Oh god, we need some water. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. She I mean I knew it was coming, but that is just so fucked up, dude. Kanani was like my favorite character and it was like dropping, 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 dropping. Just like, it's dropping slowly, slowly. I liked Nagito. Okay. So it's really I'm just not sure. I can't. I don't know if I can defend you anymore, Kanata. I don't know if I can defend you, dude. Okay, guys. Uh, I should read it. If it's too much for you guys, I would probably just step off the stream. I would just, uh, I would just log off the stream. If it gets too much, though, I might just skip it. I butchered Shiro with a kitchen knife and threw it away in the drain. Oh, like, just imagining somebody doing that to, like, my cat or something, like, it just pisses me off so much. You're kidding, right? As a small and wretched little thing it was, it was a cr still a creature of life. And then I had to cover up a lot of things to not get found out, but somehow it seemed all so easy. Kareki, I'm sorry I ever compared you to her. I know, right? We all deserve. Oh, Mitch, not. He's here. He's here, guys. He's he's here and he's doing well. He will not. It's okay, Mitch, not. You're, you're safe. He will not be next to Kanade ever. I will not let her get you. That meant I had to cover up a lot of things to get found out, but somehow it all seemed easy. Probably because I was a genius. 
After a while, poor little sis was frantically searching for Shiro, but alas, she wasn't able to find it. Of course she wasn't able to. What remained of it? Oh, fuck you, girl. What is wrong with you? What remained of it was probably indistinguishable from a sewer sludge by then. Oh my god! So you killed your sis's favorite dog to get friendly with her. Like hell that would work. You're out of your mind. Abiku has a troll. Kanade putting Jojo villains to shame for real. For freaking real, dude. I know, as soon as I realized I did something wrong, I did feel a bit guilty. Oh wait, Kyo did kill 100 women. <laughs> but she killed a puppy! She killed a puppy! What? <laughs> I don't know why, but it just like it just hits different because like animals are just so pure like just an innocent puppy man like It's just so I mean like of course of course. I don't know dude. It's just Okay, Kiho did kill 100 people. Maybe they're both equally bad <laughs> Maybe it's not a competition. Maybe we don't have to uh, oh, I know he didn't make it 100. He only killed 99 people <laughs> Oh God, and anyway, okay, okay, they're both they're both bad. I don't think we have to compare but the reaction Hibiki showed afterwards soon got rid of any afterthought I had. She was four! She was four! <laughs> Instead of bullying me again, she did this when she was four, holy shit. Instead of bullying me again for the loss of her puppy as I expected, she started crying in my arms. <laughs> Kanadi helped me, what should I do? She cried. <laughs> and the face of hers back then was the face of an angel more precious and adorable than anything I'd ever seen. Uh. Since then, Hippiki turned into an extremely passive and weak state whenever she was mentally backed into a corner. I had a, like, I kind of had a feeling, like, pretty early on that, like, well, I had a feeling that she was controlling Hibiki in some way, but not to this extreme, dude. Not to this extreme, man, like... This is a lot, dude. This is a fucking lot. And each and every time that happened, she cried to me for help and depended solely on me. And that was when I started to train my little Hibiki. Okay, so that's how, okay, it wasn't like lobotomy at least, but just kind of traumatizing her over and over and over and over and over and over. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, thank you, Sean. Kendra would say, forget the execution and just start strangling her. <laughs> I know, right? Kenja would already be strangling her at this point. Like, nope, I'm not gonna let her do anymore. No more, no more. Uh, don't let her talk anymore. I'm already over it, dude. It's okay, Modki. Probably anxiety, but I hope you don't think I condone any of this, Weeby. Like, I love Kanade, but I don't condone this. Please, please don't think I do. Oh, no. Of course not, Modki. I love you. Oh, my God. Modki hearts. I still love you, Modki. I totally understand. Like, I get it. Sometimes, you know, we just, like, fucked up characters. I mean, like... I still find her extremely interesting. Like, this is just all really shocking to take in, you know what I mean? It's just really, it's just a lot to take in. I do think she's like a very, probably still like one of the best dog, written dog and characters in general. So I, uh, I, I don't hate you, Bucky. Oh my god, hearts. We can hang out in Discord later. Oh my gosh, I don't want you to think I would like hate you or anything though. I still love you, Modki. So don't worry, don't worry about that. I can understand being anxious though. I understand, cause like, I love Kamida, but like obviously I don't condone any, any of the crazy shit that Kamida's done. <laughs> I probably will still, I love Monica too. Like literally, I got no room to say anything. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I'm like a Monica apologist every stream. So uh, Monica from Doki Doki, by the way, not green haired Monica. But we, we love you, Monica. Nobody, nobody hates you or anything. Especially not me, okay? If anybody is being mean to you, I got you. I got you, I got you, Monica. That was when I started to train my little Hibiki. Train? Unbeknownst to Hibiki, I had schemed multiple multiple mental shocks for her in secret. All high and mighty abusing her little sis by the day. But in reality, she was being mentally tortured by her very own sister. Yeah, I like really need to donate to Lanouge's uh, therapy fund. I think that's basically... That's it. That's the conclusion I'm getting from this chapter. Another fun fact. Lanouche saw Karekio in V3 and wanted to do his own take on the insane psychopath. <laughs> oh, he turned it. He turned it up a million. No well, eh, Karekio was just as bad. I guess you didn't have to hear, like, in detail him doing it. I feel like that's kind of the main difference between them, honestly. Um, is that you're having to hear, like, 
Because, like, Karekio, he just kind of goes on about loving his sister. So you just kind of think of him as, like, a creep after his trial. But Kanade is, like, going into detail about how she, like, murdered the puppy and how she, like, didn't care and how she, like, is mentally abusing, like, her sister and stuff. I think that's what makes her seem, like, worse, even though they still did equally, like, bad stuff. You know what I mean? I think that's probably the main difference or, like, where the connect or, like, the connect is or whatever. If I had to guess. Oh, thank you, Boxone in. Modkey appreciation. Hell yeah, we love Modkey. We stand, we stand King Modkey here. So don't worry, Modkey, you're loved. We we love you and appreciate you. And I'll hang out with you in the Discord later. I'll send you some, I'll send you some uh, Natsuki. I won't even send you Monica later. I'll send you some cute Natsuki art to cheer you up. <laughs> Being mentally weak, Vicky and her shock state cannot even remember what happened afterwards. And now even the innocent ignorance of her abusing her little sister without knowing anything about what happens off stage is so lovely that it drives me insane. Ah, uh, and that's how I slowly but surely modified Hibiki to my taste ever since I was young. I'm surprised she still had her be like mean to her though, you know, like, uh, um, whatchamacallit, like Hibiki. Wondered if she was gonna like um that's totally why she why she got Setsuka too, dude. That is totally why she targeted her because she literally loved Setsuka the most. I was so fucked up! <laughs> You're so fucking psycho, girl. I've tried out numerous methods, but the best one to eradicate Hibiki's most precious person. <laughs> what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Oh my god, I cannot. Like with Shiro, every time Hibiki made a close relationship with someone, I got rid of them one by one. Ayumi, her best friend during grade school. Jesus, what? Ah! Demon! Demon, be gone! Demon, be gone! I actually did buy a cross for a Kinji cosplay. I kind of want to dig it out to, uh, to, put it, to, put it up, to put it up on the screen, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, thank you, Akita Onaki. For me, it's a love-hate thing. I love how written... Well written her character is, but I really hate what she did. Uh, what she did and what she did, yeah. And what she is. Yeah, it's like that for me, too. She's a really good character. Like, I... Oh, my God. I'm gonna have a fucking field day doing a character analysis video on her. I'm gonna love every second of it. But it's... Yeah, obviously what she did was totally, totally... She's... Really messed up. Really, really messed up. Oh, gosh. Hey, Weeby, I want to apologize for the messed up alliteration I made earlier. Apologies for making you in the chat uncomfortable. It's been bugging me since. Oh, it's all right. I appreciate you apologizing. You know, sometimes sometimes we make jokes, you know, and they go too far. But I appreciate the apology. I think that, you know, shows that you care and you felt bad. And that's that's what's important. So appreciate that. Thank you. Um, Was there another one that I that I missed? Oh, uh, Flava. This is Junko levels of insane. I know, right? I know. Dude, Kinji can't save us at this point. <laughs> She's too far gone. And you meet her best friend since grade school. Got kicked from the top of a stairs. And now she's stuck in the... Ah! You didn't even... Oh my god, dude. You didn't even kill her. You made her suffer the rest of her life. Like, ah. Now she's stuck in the hospital, paralyzed for the rest of her life. The nerve of that girl. Your sister feels sort of creepy. Oh, girl, she was... Oh, Stan Ayumi. Ayumi knew this. She was, she was like... Your sister's kind of weird. She does like these weird Satan faces. Like, it kind of freaking me out. She was looking at my dog a little weird the other day, too. It was kind of freaking me out. It was, we stand Ayumi, dude. We love her. The nerve of that girl. Your sister feels sort of creepy. So she, we should keep away from her. Honestly, that bitch deserved it and more. Oh, my God. Our middle school homeroom teacher that Hibiki had a crush on. Oh, these poor people. I gave him an extra dose of muscle relaxant and bro. Oh, my God. She's doing it in such fucked up ways, too. I feel like that's, like, add another added, just, like, an added layer of it, man. Like, buried him alive? Oh, my God. I gave him an extra dose of muscle relaxant and buried him on a hill near the school. That pedophile pervert must have had an indecent thought towards my precious Hibiki. He was probably just like a normal dude. So that was an act to save her from him. I'm trying to justify it. He was probably just like a normal homeroom teacher. Oh my god. GG Diamonds. Welcome to the Kinder Cold. I appreciate it. 
Oh my god. Even after we started our band, there was our recording engineer, our makeup coordinator, our manager. I got rid of each and every person connected to Hibiki. And now even the slightest of hardships will cause Hibiki to turn weak. She's more dependent on me than ever. <laughs> god, Kanade, what is wrong with you? Kanade, the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> Oh my god. We need, like, her execution needs to be Kenji Yassifying her, dude. Oh, uh, can we just please save Hibiki? I just want Hibiki to be saved, dude. I just want her to be saved. I want her to live a good life with friends. She's gonna be in Mexico with Setsuka. I'm just gonna have to go to Lulu land on this and, like, just go full to Lulu. Sets. <laughs> Vicky and Seska are drinking margaritas on the beach in Mexico. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine, Weedy. Go back. Go back to Delulu Land. Go back. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wait. I saw something in chat. This is why she said this isn't how Vicky is supposed to be in chapter two. <gasps> oh my god. Wow, this is so much. Wait, what? So you're basically saying that? Setsuka wasn't your first victim? A fucking course not. No way. Unbelievable. Yo, what's your body count? Well, I don't keep track of everyone. Ah! <laughs> well, I don't keep track of everyone I kill. I guess around 60 what was Kurekio at, actually. Was it around the same? I know he was trying to get to 100. Was he at, like, 99 or something? I feel like he was at, like, 99 or some shit. <laughs> All right, you win. I mean, it has come to a point where I just get rid of everyone acquainted with Hibiki. <laughs> You guys have spent way too much time with the big. That's why you almost die. How in the world did you not get arrested for all this? I'm just so smart and perfect. Oh my god. Well, it's either because I was too perfect or because the cops were too stupid. And my bet's on both. That's why I told you. That was the first one that actually failed. Kurekio got 99. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, of course he got 99. Is that why you killed Setsuka? Because she was friendly with your older sis? Uh I didn't have to, it didn't have to be Setsuka, so long as that person was the one most intimate with Hibiki. Though she didn't get on my nerves, to be honest. Oh, I bet she was fucking pissed, dude. Anything that could help Hibiki recover from her mental state must be Oh my god! For her mental state must be eliminated. This is uh, this is oh man. Queen Setsuka, accept my apologies for being sus of you. You were a good woman. You were beautiful. You were kind. You were helping Hibiki when she needed it most. Oh, dude, this is this is so this is so much, man. Why? For what reason? Why are you so obsessed with Hibiki? A reason? How about I ask you a question instead? Do people need a reason to love someone? Yeah, like total yandere sister complex kind of thing. I love it, Vicky! If you could have your loved one all to yourself, anyone would have done the same! You're crazy, you're insane! I can't even hear another word from you. You don't deserve any sympathy whatsoever. Go to hell! Hold on a minute, Kanade. How does the story relate to Hibiki acting like a puppet right now? I forgot about that part. Um... I guess it was around that time I made sushi out of our coordinator. <laughs> when Ibiki realized the coordinator that she was close to had gone missing, she came to me crying. But something was different. She was like, ball she was bawling like usual when suddenly her eyes lost focus and she didn't show any human reaction. Oh my god. She's really just dumping Hibiki's trauma right now, literally. Literally. The void even the voids are like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> They're like, um, we're not, um, we're not, uh, I don't know if it's, uh, like, uh, Yandere as in, like, love interest. I think it's just like a, I don't think it's, is, I don't think it's like a twin set. I don't know. I don't think she, I don't think it's like a romantic thing. I, don't, I mean, like, I could be interpreting it wrong, but I think, uh, you know, that, uh, it's likely just like a sisterly love, but just really, really obsessed. <laughs> really, really obsessive. But, uh, God, this really is just dumping a Vicky's trauma. And when I spoke out to her, she started to do exactly everything I told her to do. No complaints, no reactions, as if I was controlling a game avatar. That might have been the happiest moment of my entire life! Girl, 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 girl. Oh, God, I need a breather, man. I need a breather. I'm... 
<laughs> I am out, uh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god. You sure it's not romantic? <laughs> See, I don't know. It sounds romantic to me in a disgusting way. I was like, I don't know, man. It's... Whatever it is, it's really fucked up. <laughs> Whatever it is, dude. <laughs> Whatever it is, dude, I am not... I'm not... It's fucked up. I'd say the most well-written characters are the ones that make you feel a certain way. With Kanade, I feel the need to look at rainbows until I feel okay. I feel right. I'm gonna cuddle with my cat and drink some tea and chill out. Maybe have a nice meal. Maybe eat some ice cream. That's what, that's, what I'm, that's what I want. The first time I saw everything about this trial, I finished every single bottle of my fridge. Please, Kenji, help me. <laughs> so much, dude. Thank you, Akito and Violet, for the donations. And uh, Thomas, Weeby, I think a bitch doesn't deserve to be memed on now after this. It's Kanade's turn. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> because she's, she's way worse than Mitch. I, I gotta say, she's a million times worse than Mitch. <laughs> Mitch, not protect me. Protect me. Oh, yeah, I guess it's like the eye go and the hard eyes and stuff like that makes it seem like romantic. I guess I'll look into it more and kind of get my uh, opinion on it. No matter what it is, she's fucked up in so many other ways. <laughs> I don't even know if it matters at this point. <laughs> Yeats Kanadi into holy water. It's the whole... The whole lake of holy water just catches on fire, basically. <laughs> basically. Thank you, Pride, tonight for the donation. Oh, God. Sis being controlled by my words. <sighs> just thinking... Oh, God. If it's romantic and, like... Oh, God. Oh, no. I don't even want to say it. I think y'all know what... <laughs> I'm mortified right now. I'm mortified right now. I'm mortified! Can we please get like a pity for Hibiki so she's okay? Thank you, Ongaku, for becoming a member of the Kenjo Gold. Oh my god. Uh, if it is romantic, that's really even more worrisome with her being able to control Hibiki. Like, that's. Oh, that's so bad. Like, this is really. This is. That's wow. That's wow. I'm here wondering what Monica is waiting for to smash that. Can we just get it started, dude? Can we please? Can we please start the execution immediately? Thank you, GG Diamonds. Thank you, Kyoko. I called my cat to cuddle with me, as you should. I wish, uh, I wish I could have a, I wish I could have my, my cat with me right now. I feel like I might hear him in the door. He's like, I can feel you losing your mental, your mental state right now, Weepy. I'm, I need to come in here to comfort you. Oh God. We may have a delusional attachment to Kanade. What are your thoughts on this? Therapy. <laughs> lots and lots. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I understand. It's like, uh, you know, sometimes you just like fucked up characters. As long as you don't condone their actions, I think is the main thing. Oh my god, guys. Mitch wasn't the culprit this time. It was Kanade the whole entire time. <laughs> The entire time it was Kanade killing people in the last game, this game, her ghost is gonna kill people. That actually does make more sense than a big Mitch, to be totally honest. And she's got a lot, a lot of experience killing. Afterwards, whenever Hibiki's mental state took a certain amount of damage, she turned into a puppet like this. It only lasted for, for, uh, for a short time in the, the first time around, but it lasted longer and longer until now. I can just switch it on and off whenever I order her to. From that day onwards, my training goal for Hibiki has completely changed. If I previously trained her to only look towards me, maybe it is romantic. I'm not. Girl, 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 girl. I now trained her to be the perfect puppet. My final goal was to make Hibiki my very own puppet all the time, regardless of her mental state. If we had escaped off this island after killing Setsuka and maybe killed one or two more, I could have achieved that dream. What a waste. Yeah, I see, so that's why Shobai said the culprit was Kanade and Kanade again. Kanade did this to Hibiki so that her sis could act as her, as her duplicate and commit the ultimate murder crime. When did it all start? Can I just delulule in this entire chapter? For real. That never happened. It never happened. They both... <laughs> Hibiki went to Mexico, and Kanade went... What's the opposite side of the Earth from Mexico? <laughs> where, where is the absolute opposite point <laughs> of Earth from Mexico? Let's just send her to space. Let's just send her to, like, Pluto or something. When did Hibiki start acting like this? That she needs to be in Pluto. Mitch can go to Hawaii, and Kanade... She got, she's got to be in Pluto. I don't even want her... <laughs> 
And not even in the solar system. She needs to go to another one. She has to find another solar system to go into, man. Oh my gosh. I think you got Kanade. Did somebody say my name? <laughs> go go to Pluto, Kanade, please. Pretty please. Pretty, pretty please. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, by the way. Was she already in the state when we met her this morning? No, she still retained herself back then. Throughout this killing, killing school trip, I was looking for the perfect opportunity. The point where Hibiki's mentality reached the threshold. And through that motive video of her parents getting attacked, I knew it was time. So I just executed my plan that I had prepared. Your plan? <laughs> now that I've already been revealed, there's actually one more place that I used the blood packs for. What? Oh god, I don't even want to fucking know, dude. As you have deduced, I woke up early and called Setsuka to the pool. Then I ambushed her from behind and knocked her out. And then I poured blood all over her unconscious body to make it look as if she was dead. Ah, uh, To get her in that shock state, right? Why would you do such a thing? Because that was the trigger that would turn Hibiki into a puppet. God, you were so fucked up, Kanade. You were so fucked up. Ah! I immediately caught Hibiki out to the pool and made her entire and made her enter the place using my handbook. Our innocent Hibiki entered the pool and soon witnessed the fake crime scene. How would you react if you had watched a disturbing video of your parents getting attacked the night before, only to see the bloody corpse of your best friend? <laughs> As the person who controlled her mental state for years, I knew. I just knew how much mental damage it took for her to become my little puppet. <laughs> the consecutive loss of your precious ones. <laughs> the scream that my sis yelled. I still get chills. <laughs> so when Shobai said the amount of blood used at the ghost house seemed a lot less than the amount of blood packs taken. Ah, so that was why. That was why. That was the actual reason why. How could you? Controlling someone as you please, and she's even your family. <laughs> How was I supposed to make stupid Ibiki cooperate with the plan if I didn't take control over her? She wasn't going to agree on killing someone in her normal state in the first place. <laughs> it was all for Ibiki. Oh my god, you fucking yandere. <laughs> fucking yandere ass bitch. Oh my god. It's all for Ibiki. She didn't want to leave this island after all. It was all for her. I did it for you. <laughs> Teehee, my master plan! I know, the Ahago face does. Is that my, I'm probably saying that wrong, honestly. But like, whoo, it really is a lot now that I, I, I think I agree with you guys. I think it probably is romantic. Ah! <laughs> All the other crazy shit that she's done though, it's just, oh God, I hope she didn't take advantage of her when she was in that state though too. That's so fucked up. But that was all ruined by you people. Oh, thank you, Miles, uh, for becoming a member. Pretty, appreciate it. Does Hibiki, does Hibiki know any of this? Of course not. Hibiki loses most of her memories when she regains her sanity. So it'd be next to impossible for her to know this. Oh god, this is a lot, man. <laughs> Take a breather. Oh my god. I actually miss Mitch. <laughs> That's how you know it's bad. When you fucking miss Mitch. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's <laughs> so sad. <laughs> but yet so hilarious. Mitch, come back! I misjudged you! <laughs> I misjudged you, Mitch! Oh my god. Thank you, Makochi, for the donation. Oh, Kratix, thanks for becoming a part of the Kinja Cult. Come, come on. Step on me, Kanade! Step on some stairs, con Kanban, Kanban, that lead to therapy. That's what I, that's what I recommend. <laughs> Step on some stairs that enter a building where a therapist resides that you can talk to. <laughs> You can talk to you about this. <laughs> That's my advice to you. <laughs> but Ibiki still cared about you and loved you more than anyone. Kanani with Nakoji. As a human being and his family, you really are the worst. You're even, w you are worse than Mitch. <laughs> I never thought I would fucking say that ever, but you are worse. <laughs> Bring me to Mitch Island, I'm ready. We Mitch judged. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, me be real. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I would much rather be <laughs> Mitch the Kanadi at this point. Currently hugging my puppy dog, I'm afraid. As you should, tell them I love them too. Thank you, Besko. 
Hashtag Mitch judged. <laughs> I'm dead. Copy whatever you want. People come in different shapes and sizes after all. I didn't really expect you to understand me anyways. Yo, crazy girl. Not that it matters now, but let me ask you a, cr a question. You admitted to your crimes towards the end of the trial, right? Wouldn't someone as smart as you have been able to find another way out back then? Um... No, what nonsense is he on about? Feels a bit weird, like we didn't win for real, like she gave it to us. Did she want to see Hibiki died? Oh, thank you, that's so sweet, Critics, I appreciate that. You voice unhinged Kanade really well. Oh, thank you, I love, I love voicing crazy characters. <laughs> Or like pretending to be crazy, it's just so fun. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Oh, I'm so much worse than this Mitch guy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Blame Kanade. Hashtag blame Kanade. <laughs> That's the new hashtag. Thank you for the donation. Feels a bit weird. Oh yeah, did I miss one? Let me double check that I uh, got it right. Okay, cool. Feels a bit weird. Like we didn't win for real. Like she gave it to us. I wouldn't have been able to guess the double black in part without albino girl. You might have still had a shot at winning the trial. I'd rather keep my dignity than struggle till I went down ugly. Girl, you, you did, girl, I saw those sprites. Don't act like you didn't go down ugly, girl. Oh my god. <laughs> oh gosh. I want to look away. I can't, but I can't. Is this the Danganronpa 3 Despair video? I hate that Kanade might be just my, might just be my favorite Danganronpa character. She is super interesting, man. Like, I gotta say, she is fucked up, but super well written and interesting. And moreover, I wanted to see Hibiki. Despair! Is she a Junko Kenny right here? Junko Kenny. Despair! I honestly didn't have any regrets with my life. I already played with my sister. Played with to my heart's content. Of course, escaping the island. And being together with a completely puppified Hibiki does sound tempting. But nothing beats my desire to watch Hibiki's face full of despair! So that is it. So that is it. I see, I see. Man. Hashtag blame show by <laughs> Thanks Kanade for the donation. I we stand show by here. We we stand, we stand show by. Thank you, gamer bro. This just proves that maybe is canon. <laughs> At this point I'll take it. I'm not even gonna refute it anymore. <laughs> Who cares anymore? <laughs> maybe <laughs> It is pretty sad that I've missed Mitch at this point. <laughs> Thank you, gamer bro. But nothing beats my desire to watch the biggie's face full of despair. Not just any despair. The one moments before death. The one just before her life ends. The one that she'll take to her deathbed. One gripe I have about puppet Hibiki and mentally broken Hibiki is that her face is too predictable. Making it uninteresting. She is like a... It is kind of interesting. I guess like a lot of Yandere's are like that anyways. Like... It's like they get so obsessed with a person, but then, like, that person can't, like, reciprocate the same, like, level of love. And obviously they shouldn't. But then it's like that Yandere might get, like, resentful towards it, too. It's like she knows that Hibiki only loves her because of all this stuff that she does. Like, killing people that Hibiki would rather be with, you know? So, like, I guess that's where, like, the resentment comes from and wanting to see her, like, anguish before her death and her despair. <clears throat> Oh, thank you, Kanade. Hashtag love Hibiki forever, girl. girl. <laughs> You're fucked up, girl. <laughs> Maybe over greater than Kanibi. True. <laughs> thank you, Karekio. <laughs> oh, God. Make it uninteresting. Just imagine what my poor little sis will look like when she comes to the realization of what's coming for her. Makes me... <sighs> oh, uh, So excited! Yo, albino. Are you talking to me? Do something about this, will ya? This girl's too crazy for even me to handle. And I've seen some really messed up stuff. You're good at this stuff, right? What do you mean by that? Oh my god, Kanade. You... <laughs> a piece of fucking work. But when I looked around, everyone is silently looking away from Kanade. And rightfully so. Her story seemed out of this world, even for me. Monocro, why are you taking... Why are you taking your time? Oh, did I call you Karekio? No, I did not mean to... I did not mean to. <laughs> We're just talking about Kareki a lot, and it just. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, sorry about that. Sorry about that, Kyoko. <laughs> a story from a fantasy world. One that is too insane for us to even comprehend. <clears throat> a degenerate female who makes you want to throw up just from the fact that you're breathing the same air as her. That was the true identity of Kanade Otanakoji, a person whom we once thought of as our friend. 
as our classmate. Yes, like she wasn't even a void. She's by far the worst one. She's not even a void, dude. That's gonna definitely, I feel like, I don't know, man, like change the dynamic of how we look at the group and like the voids and all that. Who? I wish I had some more water. I was like, I heard my voice do all these crazy voices. <laughs> oh God, this is so much. But the worst thing was that she wasn't done just yet. Oh, my guess then. Now, can we proceed with our finale, please? <laughs> please, God. Please. <laughs> oh, God. Huh? Oh, wait. Just a moment, Mon Monocro. I forgot to mention some more gruesome details of all the murders I did. Don't you want to hear it, Weeby? Don't you want to hear it? Excruciating detail about it. I, what is Teruya thinking? He's like, what in tarnation's going? I'm definitely not trusting any of y'all after this. Jesus. I'm going to start hanging out with the voids, yeehaw. <laughs> Just want to end everything he says with yeehaw, because it makes me happy. <laughs> no, get on! I know, not that face! Not the face. No. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Oh, God. I forgot to mention this while rummaging through her pockets. Oh. Would you ex would you care to explain what that is? This is a note that I found inside Setsuka's pockets when I killed her. I was so busy that I didn't have time to read the details, but... But the fact that she had on her body probably means that it contained that it contained an important message for us, right? Okay. I feel like she is void. I honestly do. And then that's gonna just like kinda reaffirm I don't know, like our take on how we treat the voids and all that, you know? Oh thank you, Shadow Gara. Kanadi and Junko would get along so well, I know, right? Fan theory, Monocro, please save us. He's really taking his damn time over there. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry getting a manicure right now, Weeby. It's too busy to start the execution. But the fact that she had it. Setsuka, read it now. Hold on. Oh, God. This. Why? What does it say? Uh, <laughs> well, well, well. Wow, I do feel bad for you guys. What What did you just tell us already? Mikado, you sure you'll be all right? When I'm not following you. Oh, it's just that voids. Wow, you guys have a tough road ahead as well. <laughs> Kanadi, what does the note say? This is a will written by Setsuka. A will from Setsuka? Oh, is she gonna like take her own life or something for the sake of the group? What a queen! We stand! Setsuka never has done anything wrong in her whole entire life! What would Yuri say if he was alive? <laughs> oh my god, I would love to see Yuri's reaction. <laughs> oh my god, all of a sudden I'm gay now. <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. Thank you, Shucks. Oh, no, thank you for the donation, but no thank you for that face. <laughs> Look at Kanade face. Oh god, what would Yuri's reaction be? Would he would probably just be like step on me. St step on me, Kanade. I miss doing the I miss doing the Yuri voice too. That was a fun voice. A will from Setska? It seems in case she was killed, she kept track of all the information she learned. Information? I don't recall Seska ever telling us about that. She must have she must have discovered something. I don't know why she didn't tell us sooner, but she must have found something big. Come to think of it, she was acting weird ever since we arrived on the third island. You're right, she did talk like something was up back then when the motive was revealed as well. My, this is really big news. Oh, yes, Setsuka's in chat. Oh, Queen. Queen Setsuka. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for wronging you. I'm sorry for being Setsuka-phobic. That was wrong of me. I repent. This Junko girl sounds like a riot. Yeah, Kanadi and Junko, they deserve each other. They are the two people that really do deserve each other. She kept this to herself. What does it say? Just tell us. <laughs> I'm so sorry for this, but... <clears throat> oh, man. I feel like I'm talking so much. I'm not, like, breathing properly. Setsuka, best big sis. Yeah, for sure. Definitely the best sister. Best sister and worst sister. Worst sisters. Oh, thank you, Mon and thank you, Mono Girl, for the donation, by the way. Appreciate that. <laughs> Whew. Gained some breath, man. <laughs> I'm sorry for this, but... Getting too into it. <gasps> Right now, get her, get her, get her, get her! Slay, guys, slay Kanade! Slay, slay, slay! Get her, bitch, nut! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, 
god! No wait, no, Mitch not he does not need to be around her. It's too uh <laughs> It's too dangerous for him. I'll be taking this as keepsies to my grave. No, Setsuka's will! Fan theory, Yokonade, get away from <laughs> I get away from that. Yeah, 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 basically. Definitely you hide wait, I hide and you seek therapy. I don't can therapy fix her. I don't think anything can fix her, man. Too far gone, man. <laughs> Put it out! The info, bro! We're too late. A note of smalls that burns out in a matter of seconds. You bitch. <laughs> you! What the hell do you think you're doing? This note contains incredible information. Amazing scoops. That could be really damaging for Mikado. Get it, get it, Nikkei. I said scoops. <laughs> hey guys, Nikkei, Kanade News here. But what does that have to do with me? I'm about to die after all. I leave this and everything up to you. Were you expecting a silly dramatic ending like that? Fuck you guys. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not that good of a person, as you can see. Rather, I despise each and every one of you. You ruined my perfect plans of escaping this island with Hibiki. Yes, this is my petty revenge for losing the class trial. An adorable tantrum by me, if you will. I'm just so kawaii, even when I'm burning the notes. God, I'm so fucking cute and perfect and smart. What a queen I am. Cartoon cat, is that you? Oh yeah, it's like the Cheshire cat, actually, like the, <laughs> that crazy smile. Okay, it's okay, guys. There was spoilers on that will. <laughs> and we banned spoilers. That's why. That's that's why we did it for sure. Thank you, Isley Rage and uh, Pokechamp, by the way. Thank you, Kanade. Ah, burn! That's no! Fuck you, Kanade! Damn you! Damn you, Kanade! <laughs> I love how we have Kanade in chat too. Monica, get her! Delete her, Monica! We need her out of here! We need her out of here right now! No, it turned into ash! Oh god, no, please! Oh my god. You're being awfully persistent, Nikkei. Boy, do I wonder why you're acting like that? Fufu? You, you little, you little bitch! You can say it all! Yuruko, calm down! Violence is against the rules! <laughs> now I can finally die without any regrets. I wonder if like she was really mean to Yuruko. Oh man, I gotta catch my breath again. I wonder if like um Hibiki maybe like looked up to Yuruko in a way or something because uh she did like really have it out for Yuruko in like the past two trials. This would be like if Celeste broke alter ego. I know, right? And thank you, Shadow Garo, for the donation. And now I can finally die without any regrets. <laughs> Let's go, Monocro! Yes, Monocro, slay! You are permitted to slay. You are permitted to slay, Monocro. Let's go, Monocro. I'm sure you've prepared a wonderful and fitting execution for Hibiki. And no, no, Monocro, only slay Kanade. Skip Hibiki. She deserves, she deserves to live. No, hold on. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but there's still some things left to do. Have you all forgotten? The black end of this class trial had the right to know the, the ending of their motive video, regardless of the results. Okay, so we do get to see that. I couldn't remember if that was how it was or not, right? Whew. The execution comes after that. Honestly, I could care less about my parents, whatever. Let's just skip to the good part and start the execution. You may feel that way, but Hibiki begs to differ, don't you think? This class trial acknowledges both of you as the blackened. So obviously she has the right to see her video's ending. Coincidentally, you two have the same motive video, so I'll just play one. I see, poor sis. Oh, this is kind of like a last game, too, since we got to see um, Kenji's motive at the end, too, right? Time for, time for our execution. No, Hibiki! No, Queen! Queen Hibiki, no! You're gonna be okay, Hibiki! I believe in you! You can do it! Oh, yeah, trigger warning for the motive video is what people are saying in the chat. So, uh, yeah, the graphic content... Graphic content is... um. Too much for you to handle, I would definitely skip off on this stream. I'm sure the execution is gonna be even worse, honestly. Oh, thank you, Ren, for the donation, or for becoming a member. I appreciate that. I guess I went to her to let her know what happened to her parents before her death. Sis, wake up. Come on, look, look up and focus your eyes on me. You're returning to your own self again. Now! Oh, God, I hate her. <laughs> I'm so conflicted because she is such a good character, but God, she's awful, man. Kanade. Is this the trial grounds that I... 
Hibiki did not deserve this, dude. She deserves the world. She deserves the world and more, man. Oh my god. Sis, we're gonna be executed, but before that, they're gonna let us see the ending of our Moda video as a prize for being the black and come on. Why don't we watch it before we die? I die, me? Hey, don't you remember? You and I killed Tetsuko crazy, I remember, because I manipulated you into doing that. God, aren't I just a little stinker? Aren't I just so quirky, Weeby? And we lost the class trial. This is so sad. No, that can't be. I would never. Why would I get executed when I did nothing wrong? Oh, no. I think Vicky is my favorite character now. Honestly. Honestly, I think she is. I love her so much. I, like, feel so bad for her. Uh Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll miss y'all. We'll miss you too, queen! No, please stay! I'm gonna miss you and your Kazuna voice. Oh, god. I don't wanna die! Hibiki, come on. Don't cry. You're not a baby now, are you? No! Let her live! Now come on, look at the screen. As a procedure, it is required that you watch this video. Wait, why am I the one consoling her? Sis, aren't you curious about who really attacked mom and dad? At least we get the chance to know who did it. Or would you rather just die now without knowing what happened? Oh, Drake. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Whoa, Drake. Drake's a member of the Kenjo cult. I knew it. I knew when I heard Hotline Bling he was singing about Kenjo. <laughs> Thanks for coming a member for real, though. <laughs> that just cracked me up. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> Whew, gotta catch my breath for a second, man. It was a pleasure to burn. An excerpt from 451 Fahr degrees Fahrenheit. Thank you, Justin, for the uh, donation. Appreciate it. Man, I feel like uh, I'm just like talking too much, so I'm almost like, whew, feeling like lightheaded a little bit. Hagasab sniff. Well, I, uh, she doesn't seem like she's fine, does she? Well, then I'll start the video. Yeah, Hibiki, don't look. Don't look, Hibiki, okay. Oh, God, I don't want to see this either. Don't kill me. Oh no. Can we leave it like this? At least where the screen's not showing. Why would you? Ugh. Oh no. No, 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 no. I wonder if it's Kanade doing the killing too. She's like, okay, cool. Well, then she might have wanted to actually watch the video if that was the case. A huge screen overhead showed a video. A couple looking to be around their mid-40s or 50s, getting stabbed repeatedly by someone. <laughs> hey, everyone, I know you're, I'm your fave, but calm down. <laughs> Drake in the chat. I'm dead. I'm dead, dude. So funny. Oh, wait, Drake is from Canada, too, or Canada. Oh, it's all it's all coming together now. Um, I hate y'all. Sayonara, mon amigos. You're not, don't talk like you're going to Mexico. You're not going to Mexico. I don't know where you're going. You're going to hell where you belong, <laughs> where you're originally from. The man seemed like he was already dead, with blood sweeping out of his throat like a fountain. Falling out. Oh my god! Whew. Oh my gosh. Falling out as she pleaded for her life. At least we get the chance to know who did it. Oh my god, it's funny. Oh my god, oh my god, dude, I cannot. No, mom and dad! Ah! Uh. This video, it's first-person perspective recording from the very person who murdered the Otanakoji's parents. Being recorded on a cheap camp recorder, the quality isn't quite something to write home about, but... I can't watch any longer. This is too horrible! <gasps> oh god, this is so much, man. Monocro Mikado, who really are you guys? How'd you get the footage of the twins' parents getting murdered? No, not just that. Even the motive videos. How'd you get your hands on those? Well, do I really need to answer that? Huh? Wait a minute. Now for the climax. The identity of the assailant will now be revealed. I'm sure you're more curious than ever, dear Kanadi and Hibiki. Let's find out who done it! Something crazy. It's like Sora or some shit. Ha. Ha. It's gonna be Naked Gray Man! Phew. Okay, the person after murdering the couple was breathing heavily as they looked around. It was as if they were looking for something. The video wandered from place to place until it stopped at a full body mirror at the corner of the dark room. 
Oh my god, I'm like so nervous right now. The, and in that mirror, the reflection showed who the mysterious assailant was. Up, oh, yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> I was like, it's either gonna be her or like me or some like crazy shit. <laughs> Could it be Mitch? <laughs> of course. I thought she might want to actually watch the video though if she uh, knew it was her that did it. Unless she forgot or something. I'm sure me and the devil will be friends. Yeah, I'm sure you will, girlfriend. I'm sure you will. You are the devil, so you're friends with yourself. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. It's hot in here. Yeah, not that shocking that she would be the one to do it. The person in the mirror. The person who savagely murdered Hibiki and Kanade's parents was none other than Kanade herself. Wow, no way. That's so unlike her, though. I don't know if I believe it. <laughs> Fuck you, Kanade. Fuck you, girl. <laughs> oh my god. Dang. Oh, thank you. Wow, Niku-chan. For the $25 donation. Wow, that's a lot. Kanade went to hell. It spat her out. <laughs> Even the devil was like, no, hell no. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> we don't want your kind here. What? Kanade. What's going on? Ooh, man. Oh, gosh. I feel a little panicky myself, honestly. <sighs> I don't know if it's just like the content of this trial or like that I'm like not breathing enough or something. I might see if my boyfriend's willing to give me like some water or something. That way I don't have to leave. As long as he's okay with coming on stream, I guess. I can always pick it up, I guess. Sorry guys. Just feeling a little a little panicky sometimes. <laughs> I get that way sometimes it streams. I can't tell if it's like I'm talking too much and I'm not breathing enough or what. It can honestly be the content of this, <laughs> this trial though, honestly, within itself, you know? You even killed your own parents? You're kidding, right, Kanade? Tell me it's not true. It was you? You killed mom and dad? Ow. Oh, no. Vicky. God, she does not deserve this, dude. She does not. How I trusted you all this time. So then what's this? <laughs> and Mikado, would you care to explain this video? I never murdered my parents. Sure, that's definitely our house, but I never did such a thing. Granted, I did plan to murder my parents eventually, but I hadn't gotten to it yet, you silly goose. As a finale to my Hibiki puppet plan, but I decided now it's too early. Mm. I don't know the exact details. As Monocro is the one who's controlling most of us, most of this killing school trip. But I can't say for sure that this video and the videos that everyone received are certainly not made up in any way, shape, or form. So I guess it's just like the memory thing that uh, made her forget about it, right? I love y'all and I'll miss you. I'll miss you too, eh, Vicky. We love you. Oh, love you, queen. I swear it's true in my magician's oath. Nobody gives a shit about your oath, so that doesn't sound that convincing. <laughs> oh my god. I get that you're angry, but stepping on my pride like that, and during Pride Month, no less, it, Pride Month's over, but we have the, Sets, the Satsuki Pride Parade. Wait a minute. Uh, Fufu. Uh -huh. Woo, there she goes again. So that's it. That's how it was all along. It's like, uh, I wonder if, like, this is going to put her into despair, though, you know what I mean? Because, like, she wanted this to be the finale. She, like, wanted that to be the finale of her Hibiki puppet thing. Or maybe she'll be happy because this is, like, the ending or whatever. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, so that's it. That's how it was all along. Amazing. I never would have guessed. What a twist. What's up with her? Wow. What a shame. For real. What a shame. Not to see the aftermath of this after getting to know such a big secret. And that's where the video ends. It seems like you realize something, Kanade. Oh, don't worry. I won't spoil anything for the rest of you. I know Weeby bans for that. Ha <laughs> ha! TEC Weeby, I'm a good person. Hippicky <laughs> and I will take this secret to our graves. Ha <laughs> ha! Um. I guess, like, even the Upside Down won't claim her. For real. <laughs> for real. Nobody is gonna claim her ever, honestly. Oh, thank you, uh, Vitter, for Jen with Kenjo Cold. What was I gonna say? Oh man, I can't remember. Was it important? I can't remember. <laughs> uh, it's hard to remember. Ah! Students, I know this isn't the time to interrupt, but it's already past midnight. The trial is almost over. You all need to get a good night's sleep for tomorrow, right? Uh. Oh. 
She makes me so sad, dude. I can't. I can't even look at her anymore, dude. It makes me too sad. It makes me too sad. Kanani figured out the ending to Dying Rafa V3. <laughs> and we got new spoilers, Kanani. Thank you, Kanvan, Kanvan. Uh, I have a Kanani. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's kind of a little anxious. Thank you. Claps for my boyfriend. He's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Get on my throat just because I have doing all these crazy laughs and stuff too, I think is like, uh, kind of in my throat, but I think it will help me kind of like calm down a little bit. Mm. Okay. Uh, my boyfriend's awesome. He's so sweet. Can spam Seska hearts for him in chat. Oh, thank you, Kua Upa. Kanade doesn't spoil. Be like Kanade. Wait, <laughs> no, no, don't be like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Thanks for the donation, by the way, Coop. Ugh, ugh, ugh. God, she makes me so sad now, dude. Ugh, I'm so sad. Come on, sis. It's finally time for the finale. <laughs> oh god. Show me, sis, your despairful last moments of your entire life. Oh, oh he's so sweet. I love him. Hopefully, I can show him on stream one day. I kind of want to do like a collab with him because he's super funny. He's really good at games, too. He's a sweetheart. He's just a little shy, <laughs> I think, is the main thing. And now, don't you come any closer, you monster. I don't want to die. Why should I be the one to go? I didn't do anything wrong. Now, I prepared a very special punishment for the ultimate vocalist, Hibiki Otanakoji, and the ultimate guitarist, Kanadi. No, it's just Kanadi. It's just Kanadi and Kanadi, Monocro. Please remember that. No, no Hibiki. No Hibiki. Oh, thank you, Hibiki. Love y'all. Sayonara. No, Hibiki. Don't leave us. Don't leave us. We love you, Hibiki. Okay, yeah, guys. Major, major trigger warning for the execution. It's supposed to be really, really bad. Very graphic, so yeah, might be good to leave if that kind of stuff is too much for you. And thank you, uh, Sai Subi, for uh, becoming a member. Get away from me! Yes, Slayer! Yes! Get away from me! Somebody help me! I want to! If I could jump through the screen right now, I would. For this case, since there are two blackened, I'm going to have the same execution for both of you. <laughs> Sora, help her! I. I volunteer! I'll do it! I volunteer! I'll take Vicky's place! She doesn't deserve this, dude! I deserve it for standing Kanade for so long <laughs> without realizing what was going on! Oh, God! Oh, no. Sora, Almina, Kei, Aroha, Yuki, Shinji, Yuruko, anyone save me! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Save her, guys! Do it! No, let's do this! Aw, no! It's punishment time! Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. Can like, can like, can like, please, can we please just like help her, dude? The twins have been found guilty. Time for punishment. I hope at least like the execution is better for Hibiki than for Kanade. It's the only thing I can really ask at this point. Oh! It kind of reminds me of a. Sayaka's on use execution so far. Oh, stop, stop with that smile, Kanade. Live, only one. Oh, key. Hibiki, you better grab that key, girl. Go, 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 go. Melody rhythm, final concert, death concert. No! Hibiki, you got this. You got this, queen. I love you so much. No. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. And where are you going, big sis? Oh! Oh my god! You got this girl! Yes, please, please! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! I think that was the worst one so far. That was the first one. Oh my god. Hibiki really was slain for a second though. I thought it was um I thought it was Kanade for a second. I got like a but I was I was glad it was Hibiki that was uh that at least got to get some revenge, man. Oh my god. That I think that's the worst execution so far, I gotta say. I think that was the worst one so far. Oof. 
at least like in terms of like what we have to see graphically like i'm sure what emma went through was like just as bad but we didn't have to see it graphically you know what i mean cannot cannot a die first please ah! Unfortunately for you, uh, that did not happen. But thank you, uh, Salt is great for the donation. Appreciate it. And uh, well, thanks for coming to the performance. That was my line. No, Vicky. It's okay, Queen. You're in Mexico. I'm gonna go visit you in Mexico soon, TM. Soon, soon. Okay. Uh, I guess it was. Wait. Let me. Uh, let me look here. Um, do do do. I'm kind of. I'm kind of lagged on the. Uh, on the donos for a second. Fan theory, hashtag save a Bicky. I know, right? I think you would eat things for the donation. Also, Shadow Gara. Looks like the message was deleted. It was probably like a really dark joke. I just don't want any, um, I don't think I really mind. Well, I guess it depends too and like what other makes other people feel uncomfortable too because I don't want anybody to feel uncomfortable. But no like graphic jokes with the executions and stuff anymore. You know what I mean? That's kind of what I think is best. I assume that was kind of, it was just like a joke about the execution, but uh, just kind of want to let you guys know about that, just kind of like a new thing. Cause yeah, people were feeling kind of uncomfortable about the uh, Setsuka stuff. And I totally understood after watching it, I was like, yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Wibiki. In hindsight, this is the same as the other chapter threes. After all, there are still two victims. I know, oh, God, Hibiki literally is a victim, dude. She is 110 million percent a victim. The worst part is Hibiki didn't even really know why she was dying. Oh, no, like, I hate it, man. I hate it so much. It's so horrible. I don't think I can make a scoop with this one, guys. Thanks, Kaneke News. Please don't. It's, it's too much, man. It's too much. <laughs> too much. Oh, God. The saddest part about this chapter is that we lose three of our queens. One fell swoop. Oh, my gosh. That's so true, dude. We lost four... Uh, four jokes about this. Uh, man. Or four... Not jokes. I was reading the chat again a little bit. Four... Um, or not four. Three girls about this. With this chapter. Dang, that's crazy. Oh, I feel so bad for Setsuka, dude. I, I was so mean to her. And Hibiki. Oh, dang. Thank you, Woody Things. Fantastic theory. Run. Oh, she's gone now. She's gone now. We can we can stop hiding. We can stop hiding. Oh, no. She's here. She's back. Kanade Oaks and Koji. Ah! Oh, God. No. She's back, guys. Never mind. Run again. Oh, God. That was perfect timing. That donation was like the absolute perfect timing. I'm dead. That girl died laughing. She really is one scary girl. I was like, I guess she might have been happy to see Hibiki's face during that. I don't know, man. Hibiki and Kanade were executed. The third class trial, the third execution. And so another two have left us. Even though the execution had ended, nobody spoke a word. Perhaps it was because Kanade rattled us till her very last moment. Oh, wow. Five girls have died in a row so far? That's crazy. Wow. Really? Wow. Man, it's got to be some of the boys next time, right? Huh. That's wild. Perhaps it was because Kanadi rattled us till her very last moment. Or maybe after three repeated defeats by the despair that is reality. We have lost even the strength to open our mouths. But to me, as of now, I had no way of knowing. What? Shobai, where are you going? Back. What, we're finished, right? We're free to leave now. <sighs> and don't speak to me. Back then was only because we had a mutual goal that was the class trial. Now that that's over, don't bother me again, Capiche. Oh, gosh. He'll come around eventually. I know, Yuruko Hibiki! Queen, Queen did nothing wrong ever in her whole entire life. He will never escape me. No, Kanade, no! No, go away, Kanade! Go away! But thank you for the donation. <laughs> Dang it! Kanade was a human degenerate that deserved to die. <laughs> but Hibiki! If what Kanade said was true, that Hibiki was merely used in this case by Kanade... I should have done something, anything. Oh God, I feel so bad for Hibiki, dude. I think she might be my favorite character now after all this. She deserves so much better. Like, <sighs> I cannot. Oh, thank you, Brian. Hey, just got back. I see that you got to that part. I remember playing that part and being, and it being really messed up, being really messed up about it. Really feel bad for Hibiki. I know. Oh God, she. Ah, uh, yeah, it's it's a lot, man. I can't believe. Oh gosh, I can't. <laughs> Definitely the most tragic Danganronpa character, like, ever. In all the, in all the canon games, and the another games, and probably all the other fan games, at least the ones I've played. Oh, gosh. So this wouldn't have to happen in the first place. Damn it, damn it! Uh. Anakei. 
Kanadi, what person she was. Now that's a person I call a worthy. I call worthy of being a boy. Damn, I should have recruited her. I really do hope that other remaining two learn a thing or two from her. I honestly don't have the strength to yell at you. Just leave us be. Oh dear, did I hurt your feelings? Well, I'm terribly sorry. But yes, as Monaco said, it had become terribly late. And Shinji, you're right. We should all take a rest. If you ask me, I don't feel quite good about this as well, although for a different reason. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Um, let's think positively, everyone. Terry is right. Girl, we just need to go to bed. I think we just need to go to bed and forget this ever happened. Go to Delulu land. I need Shinji to teach me some lessons on how to be Delulu. We're better off not having someone like Kanade among us. I mean, really, living together with a criminal like that? <laughs> no, thank you. Hibiki, well, she was pretty unlucky to have someone like Kanade as her family. I thought you liked Kanade, Aroha, that you depended on her for class trials. Yeah, that was before I knew she was a total fucking psycho, Sora. Come on. <laughs> For real. Oh, man. Oh, thank you, Hibiki. I love y'all so much. Screw my sister, am I right? Yes, queen. We stand you, Hibiki. I'm going to make a Hibiki stan account right now. Right this very second. Oh, this is toxic positivity. Ah, oh, true it is for sure. But no worries. We have Sora and Shobai on our side. And we all, all we have to do is prevent any murders from now on. So please, let's all, yeah, no, let's just, let's, yeah, no. <laughs> let's all smile. You think this is funny? Ooh, tell her, Yuki. What? I like Yuki in this game. I mean, I liked him in the last game, too, but I like him more in this game. He's like, I don't know, man. He's more, uh, realistic, I feel like. I don't know. I guess it might be because, uh, he's more of a, whatchamacallit. I'm trying to think of the word. He's more like pessimistic in this one. I guess like in the other game too, he was like a fake personality. I guess it's kind of hard to know if he is like a fake personality still or not. I oh, think you, Crystalline. What are your predictions for survivors? Ah, oh, God, I don't even remember who I said. Probably Yuki because of his luck. Um, Shobai, me, maybe Yuruko, <laughs> maybe. Uh, that's kind of my guess right now, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. But thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. Fun fact: when the head is oh. God, oh my God. I don't think that's a fun fact. <laughs> I don't know if that's how I would describe that fact, honestly. <laughs> when the head is decapitated, it still retains some thought before dying, so Kanadi got to her in true despair. Oh God, that is so messed up, man. I was like kind of hoping that like Hibiki could get more revenge like during the, uh, the execution, you know? Like she got to like beat her up a little bit, but yeah. To all my stands heart. Thank you, Hibiki, and thank you, Wibiki and Hibiki. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, both of you guys. And thank you, NBA Highlights. Aroha, shut up. I guess this might be why some people find Aroha annoying, because I uh, I can kind of see with this going on. Don't you get what kind of situation we're in? There was a murder, and we pulled through all the shit to win the class trial when the culprit wasn't even a void. We didn't even, we didn't get to know what Setsuka had investigated. There are still three voids left. <laughs> there were 16 of us when we started. Now there's nine of us left. That's almost half of us gone. And you're saying that we should think positively? Huh. You didn't have to say it like that. I just wanted everyone to feel better, Aroha. We just gotta cry, I think, for a little bit. Like hell we would. We have literally no hope at all now. Ah! Yuki, please don't take it out. Yuki, please don't take it out on Aroha. And calm down. We all feel the same. Ugh. Bro. Huh? What? Don't, don't yell at Shinji. You said that you wouldn't let anyone die from now on, right? No, don't blame him! Oh my god! No, Yuki, stop that! Stop! No! Don't blame Shinji! He's pure! He's innocent! And thank you, uh, oh, thank you, Twy, for the donation. Appreciate it. I forgot the message. <laughs> you can just type it in chat if you want to. I'll read it. <laughs> well, now there's three more dead bodies to add to the count. Try harder next time, will ya? I guess Shinji is kind of like toxic positivity too, in a way, but like, no, Shinji's pure. Come on, I love him. Yuki, man. Oh, why is he like that? Why is everyone bullying me? Roha, would it kill for you to read the mood for once? But, I'm sorry. Shinji, why did you let Yuki act like that? Oh, no, Shinji, don't blame yourself. No, this is setting up for a. 
for a chapter four victim for the buff chapter four victim i don't like it i don't like where this is setting up dude no 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 stop it yuki don't you play dog rampa don't you know he's next damn it damn it i don't like where this is going oh gosh freaking dang it oh my god let me just uh read through these really quickly I think you witty things. Fan theory. We have two queens left. Aroha and Yuriko. Place your bets. Who will survive? Who will survive the rest of the death game? Who knows? Thank you for the donation. Oh, thank you, Hibiki. I love you guys so much. Sayonara. Say it with me, everyone. Screw you, Kanade. And Yuki, don't go after Shinji. Go after Kanade's corpse. For real. Oh, man. Oh, I just feel like Shinji's gonna blame himself. He's gonna get depressed. Then he's gonna get murdered. Damn it. <laughs> Because he's because he's right in every way. I didn't keep my promise. No wonder he's acting like that. Like no, you're the best boy. I'm such a loser. <laughs> Sora, why are things turning out this way? What do we do to deserve all this? Come here, Yuriko. You can cry on my shoulder, girl. It's okay. I got you. I got you, girl. I'm just so tired. I know. Oh. I need to hang out with Yuriko next chapter, dude. Because, like, I need some, like... Something to wash my brain of this trial. Don't worry, guys. Teruya? I'll find a way out. I'm an executive at the Kizaragi Foundation. Foundation, no matter what, never lets despair get away with these things. I will protect you, whatever it may cost. Whatever it may cost. Okay, you're on our side again. Nice. She was kind of separating from us for a little bit. Man, that was fucking wild, huh? <laughs> After Turiya left, those of us remaining one by one managed to drag our bodies out of the trial grounds. Yuriko, who couldn't stop, Yuriko, who couldn't stop her tears. Aroha, who looked somewhat nervous. Uh, Shinji, who looked no, damn it, he's gonna like sacrifice himself next chapter. No, I'm already feeling it. I'm feeling it, dude. No one spoke a word in the elevator back to the Mona Cruz. This was a class trial, more tiresome than ever, and it looked like it was going to only get harder from now on. What were we supposed to do, man? Oh, God, that was, <laughs> that was fucked up. The first thing I did when I arrived in my room was to throw myself onto the bed. I didn't have this, I didn't have the strength or the, I didn't have the strength or the urge to wash myself or change clothes. Perhaps I just wanted to escape from this reality. Go to Lulu mode, go to Lulu mode. And I was almost at the breaking point. I was only trying to act patient for the others who were in despair. I also wanted to cry my heart out like Yuruko. Aw. It felt painful. Hibiki! Hibiki! <laughs> I miss you. I miss you, queen. No, she's gone. She's in chat, too. Oh, my gosh. Ascends to Me Mexico. Hibiki ascends to Mexico. Kanade ascends to the sun. <laughs> As she should. As she should. Burn. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ryan, for uh, joining the uh, Become a Member. Appreciate it. It felt painful. Yuriko's words just now rang inside my head. Why are these things happening to us? Did we do something wrong? Is this a punishment to atone for our sins? Oh god, what's wrong with us? <laughs> it's right, dude. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, uh, GG Diamonds. I don't know if it's the right timing, but I do want to say for the record that there is a separation between liking a character for who they are and how they're written. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, I like fucked up characters all the time. I think, uh... <laughs> just a lot to take in with Kanade at this point. I do think she's probably still one of my favorite characters from this game, but like, yeah, horrible, 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 horrible person, but very, very well written and interesting. Like, I cannot wait to make an analysis video on her. I don't judge anybody who likes Kanade or like, uh, you know, stands her or like whatever. I think, um, you know, as long as, yeah, you disapprove heavily <laughs> of her actions. But similar, it's like, you know, I like Kokichi, I like Kamida, I like Monica from Doki Doki. Don't, you know, don't, <laughs> don't support their actions, but I like them as characters, you know what I mean? Hey, Weavy, hope you have a good day. And pray for Shinji, please don't sacrifice yourself. I know, right? I'm so scared it's gonna happen at this point. Thank you, Claire. Fan theory. What do you think? Fan theory. Every Hibiki fan now gets a free pass to Mexico. I know. We got to visit our queen. We got to visit her. Oh, love her. Love her queen. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you. That's uh, why. Hibiki supremacy. So true. Oh, I love her so much. Oh, queen, queen, queen. I had no idea. For now, my tiresome body had given up on everything, and I decided to give in to this wave of sleep. Oh my god, dude. Oh, gosh. Oh, hey. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? 
Um, are you a fucking void, Aroha? No fucking way. Um, are you there, fellow voids? Fellow moids? <laughs> Over here. Egg. What the fuck? Why are you so startled? Do you have something to confess? Um, uh, Mikado. What's up? Why'd you call me so late at night? What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, thank you, Kanani. It's kind of toasty on the sun, y'all. Come join me. <laughs> She's like, guys, I made entirely out of, uh, entirely out of fire, so I can't even burn. So, like, I, I can't even burn. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. Oh, God. Thank you, Kanani, for the donation. What's up? Why'd you call me so late at night? Now I just, like, imagine Aroha. She's, like, actually a void. She, like, puts down her dumb act. She's got, like, a cigarette in her mouth. It's funny seeing you around these parts, Mikado. <sighs> What's up? What is up? I'll tell you what's up, you stupid little brat! Squeals! Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? No way! I'm fucking dead! No! How is she a void? How is this? What? No! Oh my god! I was like half. I was like kidding, honestly. I thought it was suspicious, but like. I was kind of kidding. Aroha. 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 Nishui. Are you even aware of the fact that you're a void? Oh my god. Literally a void, but she's so fucking stupid. She's... I cannot. I can fucking not deal with this, dude. It was your turn last time. Emma stealing your spot that I can understand. Oh my god. She's... I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking... I can't... I can't deal with this. Oh my god, I need some water. I'm so glad I got some water, dude. <laughs> Literally a void and she doesn't even know she's in a killing game. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Kanade. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't look at me like that, Kanade. I think you, Dumby. You've called her a Nori one too many times. So true. Wait, I'm a void? Oh my god. Thank you, uh, Icehawk. All my Roha fans, how we feeling? Oh god, I don't know what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Cannot believe she's a void, dude. That's crazy. Fan theory, screams, Aroha, no! I mean, Anori. Damn you, Anori. How could you do this? And after I trusted you last game. Thank you, Witty Things. And thank you, uh, Brian. Right? This is shocking. Something I'd never. For real. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> never would have guessed that she was a void. And especially that she fucking forgot that she was a void. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> thank you, Brian. Corrections were made in the end, after all. But if you ruin everything one more time, you're one time you're supposed to make up the next time. There were supposed to be two victims in this case, a double murder. You ruined the Kenji case, damn you! And you know I stand him, Aroha. This, this is too much. And you can, you can go against the rules of Void, of Void, but you do not dare disrespect Kenji. Now let's talk about what actually happened. Let's see, the cases weren't similar. And to top it off, two fucking blackheads. My plans are ruined, damn you. This kind of reminds me of that V3 uh, spin the wheel that I did where like, uh, it was Samugi was the mastermind and like everybody was just like ruining her death game. She's like, what is wrong with you guys? Mikado is like really living his, uh, his Samugi life out here. Thank you, Isley Rage. Feeling amazing right now in a Roha fan. <laughs> nice. Happy you guys are having fun. I am too. Thanks for the donation, by the way. Let's see, the cases weren't similar. Top it off, two blackens. How are you going to take responsibility for all of this, hum? Uh, well, when I found Setsuka's corpse, I thought to myself, well, it seems like Aroha's finally pulling her own away. <laughs> I cannot fucking believe she did this. He was probably so happy in the trial. No wonder he was on the opposite side when we were, like, gonna um, vote Aroha as the culprit. He was like, Finally! She finally fucking did something! Thank God! I even marveled at your wits when the trial panned out as if it were as if you were the murderer! But what the hell is this outcome? <laughs> I'm so pissed off, dude. All the sprites so creepy, man, too. Very sorry, Kanade ruined everything. <laughs> 
<laughs> just, even looking at like the your profile pictures, just Rojas just so head head empty. Nothing, nothing in there. She is truly the empty potato chip bag brain. Nothing, nothing there whatsoever. Tell me, what did you accomplish on this island? Ah, uh, I I read some Gintama. That was pretty cool. Well, I I was gonna do something, but Kanani acted too quickly. That I <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, it's grounded by the, by the little pigtails. I don't want to hear excuses, you useless trash. I even gave you a tidbit before the motive reveal. You probably weren't even paying attention, were you? Are you making fun of me? Eek! Answer me, why do you think I included someone as useless as you in our team? Is Setsuka really not a void? Was I just like totally off on that? And I was like so excited that I thought I was right about that. <laughs> I'm such a dumbass. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Oh god. And why does he even have her on her team on his team in the first place? She's a pretty big dummy. Answer me, why do you think I included someone as useless as you on our team? I told you before, you're just here to fill the numbers. You're just here for the ride, so don't worry. But even so, shouldn't you at least do what you promised to do? I feel like it, I, feel, I was gonna say, I was gonna call her a Nori again, oh my god. I feel like Aroha's gonna make it to the end. She's just gonna keep like, uh, it's gonna keep not killing people and eventually make it as a survivor. Mikado's gonna be there, like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you fucking kidding me, Aroha? Are you really a survivor? Wait, where am I? I thought I was on Survivor. What's hey, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? This is so crazy. <laughs> I was so convinced that she was evil. Oh no, I feel so bad. I cannot fucking believe it was Aroha the whole time. The whole time. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Mikado, are we gonna kiss right? She's so dumb. She probably would read the room wrong with this. <laughs> oh god. Cater. Mikado, no, leave her alone. She's She's so dumb, dude. Oh my god. Oh, I love her. Oh gosh. Oh, thank you, Kater, for the donation, by the way. <laughs> Buxon and thank you. Rojas slander will not be tolerated. Mm, I think it's just truth at this point that she's just a little dumb. She thinks she's on Survivor. You just, you know. Oh, thank you, uh, Woody. Woody, Woody thinks. Hashtag save Inori. So true. My, she did nothing wrong, queen. Oh gosh. Thank you, Isley Rage. Lick over Roha, you meanie. Freaking meanie. Thank you, NBA Highlights. Roha, might I kindly ask, what the actual fuck? <laughs> oh my god, I love I love their dynamic, dude. This is hilarious. This is not what I expected at all. Even so, you shouldn't shouldn't you at least do what you promised to do? If this plan fails and your life is going to go down the drain as well. So you're planning to go kamikaze on all of us? Wait, but it wasn't my turn originally, and I didn't even have time to discuss the plans. Or think about it, so how was I supposed to do anything on my own? I mean, it was like the season finale of Gintama. What was I supposed to do? Not read it? Use his powers, for God's sake. Oh, maybe Yuki's luck powers somehow? Use that to murder? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Aroha. I'm only a void because Mikado is hot under the mask. Oh my god, Aroha. Jesus, you need Jesus. Christa, Crystalian, thank you. Aroha is Mitch confirmed. She is a moid. She is a moid. That's so true. Oh man, and thank you, Searing Teal. Aroha, honey. Oh no, oh no, honey. Please stop this. <laughs> you saw the class trial, didn't you? The outcome is already decided. You just have to have the will for it. You're trying to make excuses when you haven't even done that much, hum? I bet. Poor Roa, dude. She doesn't even know what her own name is, okay? She thinks her own name is Inori. Or wait, she thinks her name's Aroha when it's actually Inori. That's that's what it actually is. Lanouche said that Aroha's the stupidest out of Dog and Rafa 1 and 2. I believe it. I believe it, Drake. 110 million percent. Thank you for, uh, thanks for the donation, too. Very well. As much as I'm disappointed in you, things didn't completely go south. I'm still not too late. I'm giving you another chance. Think of it as an act of mercy. She's totally not going to kill anybody next chapter. For I am a very, very forgiving king, as you might say. Next island, you're in charge of the murder there. What? But, but that's the Mitch Island. I don't want to murder on Mitch Island, damn it. Relax, there's nothing to worry about. Everything will go as planned under his protection. Utsuroshima sama. You just gotta wish for it. But the next island, it's that person's turn, so I think I'll just... That person? 
Don't you really think they're still on our side? Just how stupid can you get? What? What do you mean? Huh, somebody not... Okay. Is it... Wait, is that you? Is he talking about Yuki now then? Maybe I was wrong about the other thing. Maybe... Is Yuki... Is Yuki... A moid? Are you a moid, Yuki? You can tell me. You can tell me the truth. <laughs> you can tell me the truth. I want... I won't tell anybody else. Don't worry. Oh, thank you, witty things. Fan theory. Aroha be like, two plus two equals box. <laughs> true. True. Oh, thank you so much, David. I'm so glad you came to the stream. I need to reply to your message, too. I hope you're doing well, by the way. And uh, Aroha, I guess the message deleted is likely a uh, spoiler or a hint. Guys, remember not to do... Remember not to do spoilers or hints, please. It's like, I enjoyed this trial so much, and I'm so glad that we had members only on so I could fully enjoy it and not get it spoiled. Because, like, it would have been such a bummer to get it uh, spoiled beforehand, you know what I mean? But, uh, thanks guys for the donations, I appreciate it. Thank you, David, I hope you're doing well. That damn brat betrayed us long ago! Didn't you notice something was off ever since we arrived on this island? Oh, I'm trying to ruin everything. I've already noticed it, and I'm wondering what punishment I should give out. Oh, wait, unless they're talking about Sora, maybe. Because Sora doesn't have any memories. I don't know, I think she's a moid, probably. <laughs> Some somehow, you know, it's like it's just sketchy that she has no memories and she's having dreams about like Utsuro singing to the bottom of like the ocean and stuff, going under the sea. I'm not doing this to you without any reason. Believe me, if that person was on our side, of course I'll ditch you and leave everything to them. Stats wise, they are far superior than an idiot like you. <laughs> that person refers to Mitch, of course. <laughs> oh, of course. How could I not? How can I forget? So it's just me and you. Now you get why things are getting serious. Um, if you've understood, follow my orders. If you do so, you, me, and everyone, every one of us will regain happiness. Well then, I have high expectations for your marvelous murder case. Don't let me down. She's probably gonna be the victim of this chapter, I feel like. But I get killed. She was like the only one who would get killed while trying to do a murder. Well, besides Kazuna, <laughs> you know. What's the matter? Wait, don't tell me. Ooh. You wouldn't dare think of backstabbing me like that, Barat, would you? And no, I, I would, how did you even become a void in the first place, girl? Didn't I say no more Mitch slander? We need more Kanade slander. So true. I don't know. Mitch still sucks. <laughs> Mitch still sucks. I kind of missed him a little bit, you know, during that uh, trial. But now that we're back to normal, I'm like, yeah, hey, yeah, fuck Mitch again. No, I would never. Just do it. It isn't that hard. You only have to wait just a bit longer, after all. The day of his resurrection is almost here! Ah, uh, this is some creepy ass shit, huh? Now this is the end of our conversation. If we linger any longer, someone like Shobai is bound to find us. So you should head back. If I were you, I wouldn't dare think of betraying us for your own good. <laughs> uh, wait, where am I again? What's my name? Snip. Ugh. <laughs> Why are you a void? I cannot get over that. Oh my god. That is too fucking funny. Woo! Girl, what? Okay, 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 okay. She is a void. She's doing her voice. She's on her voice shit right now. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, Sean. Weird fact. Lanouge said if the cast took a test, Kanade, Shobai, Kokoro, and Yuri would get perfect score. Oh, if they took like a, just like a uh, SAT kind of test or something. Yeah, they are all very, very smart. Thank you, Sean, for the donation, by the way. Oh man, she's looking a little possessed by Satan too. I'm becoming a Kanade Kenny. No, don't become a Kanade Kenny. You can't go back after that, Aroha. You can't go back. The girl who looked into the evil abyss. The evil abyss is Kanade, right? We, we got that. We got that uh, set right. Oh my God, I cannot believe Aroha's freaking void, dude. Oh wow, that was wild. That was some wild stuff, dude. I can see why this chapter is so uh, heavily spoiled. The number of voids a mystery. Oh, there she is. So one more. <laughs> Setsuka. No, okay, okay. okay, I'm I'm over the Setsuka's a void theory, guys. I'm over it. It's done. It's not it's not a thing anymore. You got eighth note hairpin. I miss you, Ibiki! Fuck you, Kanade. Fuck you. Would you like to save the game? Yes, please. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna be calling my therapist after the stream. <laughs> She's gonna be like, <laughs> I call her and she's like, did you just play chapter three of Danganronpa another? I'm like, yeah, I sure did. I sure did. It was rough. It's pretty rough, guys. Oh, God. <laughs> Should we do some boy theater? 
I kind of forgot that it starts like automatically afterwards. Oh God. I was just kidding. Okay, no more Setsuka slander, okay? No more Setsuka slander. She's doing good, okay? She's doing good. Oh God. So I don't know how long. Eh, we'll do the Void Theater. Hajime. What? I have no idea who the last Void is, honestly. I was so convinced that it was Setsuka, to be totally honest. I was, I'm still almost, like, I'm still a little bit, I'm still a little bit, like, but maybe. I just get so, like, jam-packed on my, like, uh, so, like, I don't know, I get so, like, hung up on my theory sometimes, you know? Like, I don't know, I just, like, can't let them go, but I should, I should let it go, I think, at this point. Uh, maybe, like, Yuki? Or maybe it's Sora, but she, like, forgot. I feel like those two are the main, main ones, uh, main ones I was thinking of. Okay, should I do the Void Theater, or what do you guys think? It doesn't really matter too much to me. We can always start it next time, too. That have been going a long time, man. I cannot... <laughs> There's no way I could have done this whole trial by itself. Absolutely no way. I wonder if we could actually... Um... Ah, uh, maybe I'll just save it for next time then. I'm so indecisive. <laughs> I'm so indecisive, guys. I'm sorry. There's also kind of a delay. Yeah, I guess we'll do it. I'm like, no, I won't do it. Yes, I will. No, I won't. Yes, I do. People who do that boss, watch the boss are probably like, oh my god, Weeby. Just do it or don't do it. What? A town was holding its largest festival of the year. A man from the local monastery brought homemade fish and chips to the feast. Oh, Inori. Inori. Oh my god. Arawa's going to be super funny when she joins the... Uh, when she joins the uh, boy theater. The man from the local monastery brought homemade fish and chips to the feast, and people absolutely loved it. They asked the man if he really made the dish himself, and do you know what he said? What did he say? Indeed, I am the fish fryer. <laughs> it's glad to see that. It's good to see that you still got your humor, even though you're a uh, lab meat. Hashime, what do you call an obnoxious reindeer? Oh my god, I'm gonna be stuck like this for all eternity, aren't I? Rudolph! Seriously, just stop! This is torture! Is this all the karma for my past life or something? Is this because I pulled a Mitch? Yes, yeah, sure. I'm a murderer. Yes, yeah, sure. I did the Mitch murder. I'm ready to accept whatever punishment that comes. But why this out of all punishments in the world? I'd rather suffer physically than having to listen to these annoying jokes forever. Annoying jokes? And that's not very nice! At least Kanadi's not here, okay? We don't have anything to do here. Not to mention, there isn't a lot we can do when we look like this. That's why we're chattering with each other. Well then just chat without making those weird puns. They're driving me crazy. Oh, you don't find them entertaining? How am I supposed to when I've heard them for the thousandth time? I feel like I'm gonna die from this, even though I'm already dead. Ugh. It's like, how? What is, what is the Void Theater? It's just like a meme, I guess. It's like Sora's crazy dream. Or no, this is canon. <laughs> they really are still alive. This is, Me this is Mexico, actually. A portal that we get to see into Mexico. Die from this, though you're already dead? <laughs> That's not funny. Oh, call. Oh my god, Kanade is gonna call. Hey guys, I'm on the sun right now. Oh, come on, what is this? Oh, this must be the thing! Void special telephone that links the living with the dead. Now they're throwing random things in. <laughs> Who'd you even pick that up? Hello? Huh, did I get through? Oh my god, hello? Hello? Mikado is being a big, fat, bully, meaty head! Oh, that voice must be Aroha, long time no see! Aroha, we're really connected to her? This is canon? Oh my god, really? <laughs> Ha! <laughs> Hajime, Emma, help me! What's the matter, Aroha? Mikado is, he's bullying me, he's threatening me! He told me to commit murder in the next island, what should I do? Oh dear. Mikado, that brat, how could they do this to our poor little Inori? Hey, don't listen to him, Aroha. But, I know how you're feeling right now. You're too good to be involved in a plan like this. We're dead. We don't have the right to order you around. Just make sure to do what you want to do. Don't go down our road. Hajime! He's right, Aroha. Don't be a Mitch, Aroha. You can do it. This place isn't as bad as it seems. Don't overthink too much and go for it. What are you talking about? That's basically telling her to go die. That's literally the opposite of what I said. That's not what I meant. Can I think of it, Emma? Did you have to take a place in the... 
Did you have to take my place in the second island? It's really your fault I have to go through all this in the first freaking place. Oh wait, let me, uh, did I miss any donations? I can't remember. Sometimes I try to let them go on for a little bit just in case there's like a spoiler or something in it. The news dude seems sus. Hope it's, hope it's him who dies next. No, oh God. Oh God, I should have waited more for the uh, comment. Hopefully he doesn't die. But I like Decay, Oh, I mean, I don't know if he's really sus. I feel like he's probably normal just cause like, uh, I guess it was like, I got a, uh, we're not really supposed to have like theories either. Hopefully it wasn't a spoiler, but uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I don't think uh, I don't think he's a void though personally, but we'll see. Huh. Yeah, I should probably put in the chat thing, no spoilers or hints or theories, just to be sure. Cause I think, uh, you know, uh, just to be safe, you know. Plus uh, I can see how it could be kind of, kind of confusing for people who, uh, you know, don't know. What? No, never mind. It is officially 7 a.m. Wake up, everyone. I hope you have a great day today. Remember your queen who slayed last night. Is it already morning? I didn't sleep a wink. The trial ended over midnight, so it should be natural that I feel tired and sleepy. Yet I couldn't sleep at all. I saw Kanade's creepy ass sprites in my dreams. I feel extremely tired. Maybe I'll just go back to sleep. I thought to myself as I lay back in bed. But despite my tiredness, I couldn't go to sleep. Okay. I guess I'll just go and have breakfast for now. Okay, cool. So this is probably a good place to uh, stop it now. Oh my god, dude. I gotta yassify my eyes after that trial. <laughs> my therapist will be hearing about this. Oh, hey, I made the 30 save files. Nice. Oh god. And the game crashed. <laughs> Yay, slay. <laughs> oh, well, it's not really a bad part for it to crash, at least. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's the game files from the other game. I think I might have added in a few. I don't know if it really matters that much. I'll just, oh, we can just end the stream. I'm sure it's fine. I'll figure it out afterwards, maybe. But, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, the game slayed itself right at the end. Even the game was like, I need a break. I need a break from this weeby. I can't handle this anymore. <laughs> I can't do this. Too many cursed ass Kanade sprites. This is too much for me. Thanks, guys, for coming to the stream. It was a lot of fun. Um, I appreciate all the support, um, in chat, and yeah, I hope you guys do some self-care, self-care after the stream, go have a nice cup of tea, play with a cat, your cat or your dog, tell them you love them, <laughs> you know, just some nice self-care, take a bath, <laughs> probably gonna chill out and get some good food or something, oh, that was great though, that was a really, really interesting trial, I mean, Kanadi is super fucked up, but a uh, very interesting character, I gotta say, I, uh, I'm very interested in her and I cannot wait to make videos, like a video about her, man. Like, <laughs> instead of Ka Kanade character analysis, it'll just be Kanade did nothing right. <laughs> or Kanade did everything wrong. <laughs> I can't even, can't even joke about like her doing uh, nothing wrong. Cause it's just, there's too much. There's too much that she did wrong, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I uh, appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Also, yeah, I have a video that should go up this week too. It's a let's play video. So I hope you guys enjoy that. It was sad though, cause I missed the chat. I was like recording let's play and I was like, oh man, I feel so lonely, but it was fun with that. So I hope you guys enjoy that video too. But yeah, see you guys next week. Bye.